again. Oh, that's what I didn't. That's what I didn't do. What didn't? That's you what do? I didn't do. I didn't. I didn't plug. Oh, I didn't plug in the cable. I gotta plug in the cable, hey, everybody. Uh, <laughs> welcome to welcome to Cyberpunk. Although. Welcome to No Signal. That's pretty Cyberpunk, isn't it? You can kind of hear it though. <laughs> oh wait a minute. I was like, wow, this will this will be the first time that I have to be like, are you are you live? Are you live? Yeah. Are you unplugged? I was live. Are you unplugged? Uh huh. What? No, we're good. We're good. I just forgot that my monitor was on, so that was probably a audio loop, which was also pretty cyberpunk. But okay, now I gotta gotta plug some cables. But anyway, Steph's here. This was a kind of a flat tire of a start, but yeah. There we go. All right. We're almost there. Hey, everyone. It's me. I'm Lawrence. Uh, I'm here with Steph. Hey, Steph. You can see her elbow. Oh, wait. There she is. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. This is the most... You're a, little, you're, a little, you're, a little, you're a little spooky back there. <laughs> just just slowly, slowly and creepily peeking in. Trying to, I see Steph's mic was just, maybe, maybe you're a little closer than before. We'll back that off a little bit. Trying to. Well, I think because I, yeah, I was like chilling out before. Uh, yeah, you were all mellow before and the second. Because I was talking about Universal Studios Hollywood. You got really excited. City Walk Plaza, Shopping Extravaganza Plaza. Okay, I think. Okay, I think I've thrown enough, enough limiters on your mic now. <laughs> you should be, should be not blowing things out. Uh, Was I blowing things out? A little bit, a little Whatever. bit. Nay, it's okay. Who the fuck cares? That's what we do. Hey, everyone. Hey, it's time to play Cyberpunk, or is it? Uh, in fact, it's time to do an unboxing. That's right. Um, oh this yeah, that's is right. Officially a Twitch stream now because uh, I was sent a free thing. And I get to show off in yeah, front of everyone. Yeah, he gets his fucking free thing. His free thing. You know it? You know it. All right, let's his look at a free thing. free thing. Why do you keep saying that? What? <laughs> because I haven't gotten my employee free thing. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Maybe you should have done uh, a weird recurring bit on a podcast for a few years. And somebody <laughs> may have sent you a free video game. Oh, wait, are we going we gonna to play the, the best opening... Good morning. Good morning, Night City! <laughs> she was so quiet. Like two seconds ago. Alright, I think I, I think I got the audio I got I got the volume balance on it. Netrunners are at it again, poking holes in the power grid! While over in Westbrook, trauma teens scraping cyber psycho victims off the pavement. And in Pacifica. Oh, yes, my pants are very cute. I love Pacifica Mario Pants. Pacifica is still Pacifica. This has been your man. I fucking love this opening. For another it's so good. I would make Lawrence watch it every dream. once in a while. Although, the one in game is also really one of my favorites because I would also go the graveyard. <laughs> oh, we'll get there. You'll have your opportunity. <laughs> so this, uh, whoa, this is the collector's edition. Yep. For Cyberpunk 2077. I don't know what's in it. I actually don't. I, uh, I, uh, despite being kind of surrounded by this game for the past, like, six months, um, I tried to keep certain things uh, completely unknown, and whatever's in this massive thing is one of those unknown things. Uh, it'll be interesting to play the game, actually, and Steph was commenting on this, given that I have seen a lot of it already, but, like, different versions of it, um, so, and well, different, fa like, stages of completeness, it's kind of interesting. Well, cause, like, so, there, I guess this is, this is when we do some of the disclosure. Okay. So, Lawrence has, Lawrence has seen different parts because I have played some of it at home. So there were times where Lawrence didn't stream because he was watching me play it at home. Yeah, uh, and I, I couldn't... Oh, game volume's a little loud? Yeah, I turned it way up. I mean, I know that you guys want to hear that, and I, I love... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what? Oh, sorry. And I, I, love, our, I love our composers. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. are composers who have created some very, very amazing custom music for this this game. All those wonderful, all those wonderful tracks. Oh, that sound! Yeah. Oh. All those wonderful tracks that are in here. There's like over eight hours of custom music that are in this game. It's like a really thick cardboard. Uh -huh. Man, you could club somebody out with this thing. So, okay, so when I went to Poland for my interview, yeah. So, so we... <laughs> this is what's sad. I didn't get to have my, my signature. Because this was all made before before I started. This is classy as shit. Uh, Holy hell! When when I went to Poland for my interview, I saw the packaging. I saw the 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 packaging that they were gonna make for the collector's edition because they took me on a tour of the studio and they were like, it's gonna look like one of the buildings in the game, and they're gonna you're gonna like be able to take it apart. And you're gonna see like all the pieces, and I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" Like everything, I was like, "Fuck, all the shit is so fucking cool." Holy fuck! Um, I was, I was very, I was very excited for everything that I was going to see. Um, so it's pretty amazing. Um, there was there was entire teams that focused specifically on advertising in the game, um, on on the building architecture, um, specifically on uh, packaging and logos, like all of the things that you you kind of see that have come out for all of these things, uh, they're all definitely labor of loves. And this is coming from about 550 people total. I just want to let you know that is the total amount of people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's an interesting thing to say. Oh, Steph's audio is kind of echoey. I knew it. I told you. Um, there's two mics. Uh, I don't know that there's going to be any getting around that. Uh, I tried to I tried to time them, but um, getting double mic input from Steph. Y'all are both echoing. There's two mics. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I thought I had timed it so that it wouldn't be so echoey. Um, hmm. So there's not 550 Steph's employees. Steph's just projecting total. like twice as much as she was a couple of minutes ago. Okay, wait. I'll be quiet. No, I, I just have to figure it out. Um, I can I I can be quieter. <laughs> That's what I balanced it for. There's there's 500 there's there was 550 employees that worked on Cyberpunk. There's about there's a little over a thousand employees at CD Projekt, but that also includes GOG people that work on Gwent. Um, so there's the, there's 550 people that worked on Cyberpunk, but that that's not the entirety of the studio. So it's, it's more than that. Um, I just like want to make that a bit clear. But we also have employees around the world. So like there's myself, um, there's the people in the North America office. So there are five of us that work in North America. Um, myself, uh, and four other people that focus on North America marketing, uh, two people that work for GOG, uh, and then we have, um, uh, two people that help to represent, uh, Brazil and Latin America. We have an office in Japan that helps to represent, um, of course, like the, the Japanese community marketing, we have an office in in South Korea, a team there that helps to represent those folks, uh, an office in Shanghai, an office in um, an office in the UK, an office in um, an office in Berlin, an office in uh, where else am I forgetting? There's, I've, we have reps in Italy, reps in, there's like, I'm trying to name off all the places. We have, we have <laughs> reps like in so many places. We do have a rep in Russia. We do, we actually just also hired somebody in MENA. So somebody from Middle East and Northern Ooh. Africa. Um, and then of course we have Poland. 
uh, that that also do that. So we. Most of the people in the studio have not even met in person, have not spoken to them. Oh, okay, it's the B figure. Yeah, which uh, technically we have. Okay. Diving, diving and smashing. Yeah. Cool. I don't think such a weird, like, weird action for V to be doing. I don't think you ever really do something like that in the game. But that's. Uh, I guess you could. And that's the the motorcycle. We have that statue in real life. In the front. Oh, that's right. There's a giant one. Yeah, they're in the front office at uh, the front area, the lobby at CD Projects in Poland. Mm -hmm. um, I have only seen it once because I've only had the opportunity to go to Warsaw once because COVID has prevented me from going back. All right. Which so. also means that I have not had the opportunity to, like, our uh, launch party is going to be virtual. Dang. Which is very sad because... Ugh. Because normally, uh, Lawrence and I would be going to Poland for the launch party and for the holiday party. Ooh. Okay. What an, uh, that's a lot of stuff. I'm actually looking forward to looking through the, uh... And we get a full... That, there's a full music CD that was in there. Uh, really? Yeah. Wait, where was it? It was one of those CDs that was in there. It was a music <laughs> CD. Oh, mm -hmm. Well, there wasn't a... It should have been. Wasn't a CD... There was the D, there was the PC copy of the game, and then a steel case that didn't have any discs in it. Either that or, should, or there should have been a code. There may have been a code mm. for a digital code mm. for download. Mm. Maybe I'll have to get back in there. Um, how's the, uh, I know I tend to obsess about this stuff, but I'm going to ask anyway. How's the audio, guys? A little echoey? Maybe a little, maybe a little not echoey? I do, I, I mean, I do see some questions in chat. I'll try to answer some questions in chat. Uh... Uh, I see a question that asked if I was headhunted or I applied. I actually, I applied. They actually had the role open for a long time and I, I applied and I told them that they needed to hire me. <laughs> and I said, I, I, I have a lot of experience in game dev. And I said, you should talk with me because I actually really wanted to work in cyberpunk. And I said, you should talk with me. And uh, I had multiple interviews and then I got hired. I see, okay. Yeah, Steph's, um, my audio is, okay, yeah, no, it's fine, um, it's, it's, yeah, it's Steph getting into my mic. Maybe I'll, I'll lower it, I'll make it a little more, make it a little more intimate here. Maybe that'll block more of the sound when I'm in front of it. Then here does it help? Going I got a little less, I got a little less crazy. <laughs> I got a little less excitable. I might get more excitable when we get back in the game because I get I get excitable <laughs> Are you when crazy? we when we when we get into the game. I'm trying to no, I'd have to turn. Hmm, I'd have to turn my mic down. I guess uh, is there a way I can do that? Hmm. Anyway, yeah, it's a, it's an exciting game. Uh, I got to get my um. I gotta get my, uh, uh, yeah, Steve, I've been way too busy. <laughs> Sorry to, to even acknowledge that. Um, I would say don't worry about it. Upping your noise gate? Uh, no, no. Um, somebody sitting behind you talking is louder than any noise gate you're gonna hit. Otherwise, you're gonna sound like a robot. There's really just no way if somebody's behind you talking, in, like, into your back. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a crazy week. I just, yeah, maybe I can take a look at it tonight. Um, Amgram, thank you for gifting subs. Well, I, I do feel like I have to say that, like, Lawrence has had to put up with, uh, a lot, a lot of shit, because he's never, he's, I mean, Lawrence has had to deal with, we've been together now through me launching multiple games, like, he was with me launching Sunset Overdrive, uh, with me working on other other games, but and like Sunset was was I mean was a big game, but nothing like this. And I think we gotta we gotta we gotta give a big shout out to Lawrence here for having to tolerate the the amount of uh, interestingness because I think that he had to. He he did. He also had to experience what, what what the big show was like. <laughs> this this was the big show. 
<laughs> yeah, I guess that's a that's a way of yeah. This a way was, of saying it. This was this was the giant AAA big leagues, big 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 leagues. Okay. So I love him. Thank you, Lawrence. Oh, uh, I love you too, Steph. I was glad to be a part of it. Um, it was my way of being a part of it, I guess. Uh, and I felt. I felt like I. Uh, I don't know, I was I was blessed to have that opportunity to be able to to contribute to the making of something that I thought would be super cool in some way, even if it wasn't direct or uh, like a, a material creative contribution. This way at least I could like cook or clean or make that, uh, enable that part of it to whatever degree I could. Yeah, it, <sighs> it, even if it meant that Lawrence did, I mean, Lawrence did many behind the scenes things that I think that most people have no idea that uh, he got to do. Um, at this point, so. Not cryptically hinted. Well, I will say this. I had a moment that my boss referred to Lawrence as part of the family. Oh geez, oh geez. This is, okay, now, now, now it exactly sounds like I told you to say all this before the stream started. No, but that's, <laughs> like, but that's, but that is 100. <laughs> he, he said that. He, he said this. I, I want, this is the moment where I want to be, that's, that's what I want to be on camera. He said that, and I told Lawrence that I said that, that that made my heart warm because I was just like, that that was cool. Because I was just, because he, he appreciated that, that I was, because I, I always feel like I was like, okay, I hope that that was okay. That like, I'm, I'm glad that, you know, I'm glad that Lawrence is appreciated and that everybody is appreciated. So it's, it's important. So no, I did not. Lawrence did not ask me to say this, but I do want to make sure that it was noted. And if anything, the times that Lawrence was not able to stream or to do those things, a lot of times he was helping me and it was very, it was helpful to me to do those things. And I appreciate it. And I want, I want his audience to know that that, that, that was why. And I am grateful for it. That was extremely sweet of you, Steph. I wasn't expecting that. Ah, <laughs> I just got glowed up real hard. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, Steph. Love you a lot. I love you too. Uh, somebody who's asking to rotate the camera to get both of us? Could do that. I don't know. Sometimes Stephanie likes not being on camera. It's, uh, it's very liberating. But who knows what's going to happen as she gets more excited. More, uh, well, we're also we're having some celebratory drinks as well. Uh, because Stephanie's just been working her absolute ass off. Um, and uh, hasn't really been had a moment to like take a beat and celebrate. Because uh, she's, she's just been jumping from one thing to the next because there's so much to do. Oh my god. The, uh, man. The second anyone who's never made a game thinks they know what it's like, they're wrong. They're, <laughs> they've never been more wrong. Uh, there, there are just so many like... 500 people make it for a reason because it takes 500 people like working every day uh, There's a lot of work that goes into it and so much of it is invisible uh, Because if it if they didn't do it, it would be very visible. I understand the uh, The uh, the, the irony of saying that when the game launched in a, a bit of a buggy state But luckily I'm playing on PC the uh, the lead platform and I got all I got all the ray tracing turned on so this is gonna be a, a, a super uh, cyberpunk ride. I think I've, yeah DLSS is on thank God Oh, uh, I kind of lost my point. Anyway, I'm really excited to start. I should get a, I should get a drink, though. I should have a drink. I see Peepo. There's a little Peepo. He's dancing. He's ready. He's ready. Uh, Reverend, thank you for the sub. Yeah, I should thank everybody. Uh, Kizko, I, I hope I'm saying that right. Thank you for the sub. Damn it, kid. <laughs> Thanks for the prime. Glavin Chris, thank you very much for the prime. Leet Neat, thank you for the sub. Dutchie, thank you for the ten gifts. Uh, uh, Andy, it's very good to see you. Um, yeah, I'm. I will get up, get up here and there to get drinks um, for myself and to and for Lawrence. Um, also, just to be clear, I will not be answering questions about anything that involves uh, any sort of state of game. What is future content? Anything that is going on? I just will like to share anything that. Anything that is anecdotally interesting and or things that 
that have happened or things that, uh, I mean, I am a PR professional. I, I saw uh, at least a couple of folks that have asked, like, what I do. My role is the uh, head Sorry. of communications for North America. I'll get a drink while you're explaining this. Sure. I'll be um, right back, everybody. Yeah, so I'm the, I'm the head of communications for North America. So my job is basically just to make sure that uh, uh, I'm, I'm just a representative. So anytime that somebody has any, uh, like, the, I'm the first per point of contact for any content creators, media, uh, influencers, anybody for North America, so Mexico, Canada, America, uh, if they need help, codes, interviews, any of that stuff, that's I'm the first person that they reach out to. So I deal with them, uh, I get them what they need, I set up stuff, I have been setting up preview events, um, making sure that they get the things that they need, they get the stuff that they set up. Um, I know that a lot of people have been seeing people doing their early streaming, uh, seeing the kits that they've, like, uh, early preview kits, seeing the, the kit that Lawrence just unboxed. I put Lawrence's name into a spreadsheet so that I made sure that he got his delivery, even though I still have not gotten my kit as an employee which i still <laughs> i'm still just gonna give him shit like that because uh, it's still it still is funny to me and i still will like i was like really really motherfucker are you kidding me <laughs> i'm not gonna get my fucking shit um and i think it's it honestly we were we were joking about that in the company because i was like everybody else got their shit except the north america office like and a lot of our stuff got sent out late just because of COVID. Like, I had, uh, I have a lot of things that need to get sent out, and they haven't been able to get sent out because COVID has f has fucked a lot of things for me in many many ways, and it has been a very very difficult year because of that in more ways than one. But I do have to remind myself that I have my health. Lawrence has his health. We, we are okay, you know, those, the, the, the worst thing that has happened to us is that I have late shipments. So, I, that's, that's the worst thing that can happen. Doing all right. Yeah, like, that's, that's it, yeah, so. Our yeah, our millions of Twitch dollars, <laughs> our multiple Twitch mansions. Yeah, where the fuck is my, where's my fucking <laughs> Twitch beach mansion? Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Um, so yeah, so. If that's really the worst thing that can happen, then that's the worst thing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to take it on the chin. But it also does not mean that I can't, I can't still have my moments of bitching about it. Oh, Kanang, thank you very much. Uh, Jenny Kimmersona feels that you have grown and come so far through all these years. I was reflecting on that, uh, basically that, like you know, passage of time. You think about it. I was thinking about like basically, I turned. Or I moved back to LA when I turned 30. But so much living has happened since then. So much growing. It's been really cool. All right, we're gonna get started real soon. I need to use a restroom because I took too long to unbox. So I'll be right back in like one minute. See you guys in just a second. Sure. Okay, let's try this. I uh, choked up, I'm choked up way more on my mic now. So Okay. you should not, uh, hopefully you won't pick up as much on it. Okay, and then um, I know I did see someone that had asked an ex yep. for ex an example of what Lawrence something that Lawrence did. Uh, Lawrence was actual some technical support help for me occasionally. He did things like even swapping out hardware for me when I was doing virtual virtual previews because I had to do those. So Lawrence Lawrence was one hundred percent. An amazing fucking helper, for, helper for me, like legitimately. But yes, let's let's fucking start this. Yeah, we haven't IT. started this game. Let's it fucking start IT. this shit. I'm in her mic now. That, I mean, I'm gonna be because I'm in the room, but I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna be there to some degree, no matter what. Okay, um, definitely going very hard because I'm gonna do like a, you know, like a, a, I don't know the, in in. There's been some debate over how much environment sim is actually in this, but uh, I I have a vision of playing like a 
stealth hacker character that revolves around information and communication and subterfuge. Uh, and I feel like very hard, our harder difficulties kind of help you play more in that regard because you can't really just get into open combat, especially if you're a weaker character that specs. The game isn't very hard on hard. Yeah, no organic beef. I was, uh, I feel like this is going to be like Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, which is one of those things where it's like, well, you know, it turns some of the knobs, but it doesn't actually substantially change that much. Ooh, little numbers lighting up on the sides. Ooh, there's one on the bottom too. Cool. I love superfluous bits flying around UI. It's the best. This is basically Deus Ex with funner hacking. I've heard so many, so many takes across the board about is it is it Deus Ex? Is it not Deus Ex? I guess we'll I'll, I'll find out. That's mostly I guess what I'm mostly excited for is I have sort of seen the biggest beats of the story, but I haven't actually played any. Well, I played a little bit of it, but I haven't gotten very far to actually play it myself. So I'm super curious. Like I I did see Steph playing through some versions of the game. Um. And I could kind of see things that I might try to do. And the huge question is, is the game going to actually acknowledge and react to those attempts to do things different ways? Or is it just going to be, well, you got to go down this hallway. And there's mans in that hallway, so you're going to have to shoot the mans no matter what. That's what I'm kind of curious to see. Um, my character archetype, though, feels more corpo than anything, you know? Kind of operating more on intelligence and subterfuge rather than direct force. Uh, using politics and leverage and, uh, I guess, relationships. And also, I just want to see what, what Corpo Headquarters looks like. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna, like, you've, I've seen it, so I know, but I also want to see no, it again. No, but so. Corpo, <laughs> I, Corpo is my, is, is my motherfucking gem. Yeah? It is, it is 100% my fucking favorite. <laughs> uh, also, um... The little the little touches for Corpo is also is also something that Mike Pondsmith really liked because I will tell y'all I showed showed this game to Mike Pondsmith and uh, name dropping now I know I'm I am 100% name dropping and he he liked he liked some of the stuff when we were talking about about things um, and there it like. There, there were things about it that we both agreed with because he's a person who used to work at Microsoft, um, oh, and really? I used to work at Microsoft, so we had conversations about that. Huh? What did he do at Microsoft? He used to work in games at Microsoft. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we, we had that kind of, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it, it was just the like, yeah. I, I recognize a lot of those things, and I relate to it more than I, more than I care to admit. So I Although when I used to when I used to work at uh, when I worked on Microsoft campus in Redmond, uh, they have uh, so you have all these buildings, uh, you know the Xbox campus, and there's just uh, fridges full of sodas everywhere, um, and I've told Lawrence this before, uh, just fridges fridges full of sodas everywhere, and my favorite thing was filling my backpack full of sodas because I would like to liberate them. That's what I refer to as liberating sodas from Microsoft's campus. That's what I liked. <laughs> I was liberating sodas Ooh. as often as I could. <laughs> I mean, that you're fighting the corporations. That, that's what I did. I was liberating them. It was very, it was very French of me. <laughs> Ooh, bangs. Oh, Alana's hair is 30. My she has a specific hair type, or is it like her NPC it. hair? I, uh, I'm going with female V for this character because I feel like the, I don't know, male V voice sounds a little more like brash, rowdy, and confrontational to me. Um, man, there's some good hair. That looks cool though. I like the bands. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this. Oh. Yeah, apparently Mike Pondsmith worked on like a flight simulator at some point. Hmm. Huh. Well, I guess that would probably just be Microsoft Flight Simulator, right? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Many, many years ago. Hmm. Female V is pretty sarcastic. That sounds like it fits then. Masculine V sounds like a nerd, you think? 
she's good. I love her. Her voice is so great. Yeah. Both of the V's are really good, I thought. But they I just said, have kind of different flavors about them. Yeah, they're they're both really good, but I in particular love love female V so much. Damn. Those are cool looking eyeballs. Hmm. Can match the hair though. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Dr. Sinwar? Welcome. Hmm. Yes, must have the special eyes. Oh! Oh, okay, so they can be, like, white or a little red. Hmm. Should I go- should I go for crazy eyes? You should go for whatever eyes feel they grab you, Lawrence. What- which ones grab you? Oh! You know, Ooh. how many times did you see me pick hard eyes? Yeah, yeah. Kind of like this. It just looks, it looks a little inhuman, but that's kind of the point. But it's, you know, it's calculating. But I, I mean, I still think that the best part is every time that somebody's reading information. Hmm. Their eyes Their eyes just, go hackery? Yeah, that their eyes turn to like blue. Blue or red, like they just change. I'm like, oh god, if only I could do that in real fucking life. Ugh. Don't have sparkle You're eyes. Killing me, killing me. It's the equivalent of like looking at your phone. Yeah, but I want, but I want it to happen. Like I just want to fucking take a chip and just slip it right behind my ear and just be like, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, I got it. Don't I have to actually read anything. Yeah. Oh, Bruce is raiding. Hello, Gooses. Hello, Bruce's. Yeah, I uh, called an audible last night. I wanted to, I wanted to spend some quality time with Steph because it had been a long time. So it's just like yeah, we got we got real drunk. It was great. Yeah, watched a Gene Gene Kelly film, which was pretty amazing. Turns out, uh, wow, blinking on her name, Wizard of Oz. You're just not going to tell me? Uh, Probably because... Because... Because I can't think of... <laughs> Judy Garland! There it yeah, is! Judy Garland. Judy Garland. Turns out she can do absolutely everything. I haven't seen the, like, utterly tragic documentaries about her, so I'm not quite sure... Oh, yeah, it was... How bad I, it gets, I but. told her just... I, or I told Lawrence just how sad she gets. Or just how tragically broken of an individual that she is. And the fact that so many people just used used her and that she was just such a talented wonderful individual and man that that fucking sucks sure does it just makes me want to stab people that there are so there are some people so talented and that people just they just they just take advantage we gotta destroy it we gotta find beauty and wreck it assholes Ooh, this is coming together Hmm. Is my audience a little echoey? Yup. There's really no way around that if you have two mics in the same room. Um, and, and one person is behind the other microphone. Um, yeah, sorry. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be a little quieter. <laughs> um, there are options actually, Steph. Let's see. If you were over there, but I don't know if you want to, if you want to be over there. Should I, should, can I move this? Should I try? Sure. Let's give it a crack. See if maybe I gotta move everything then, like my phone. We can get you a little side table over there. The echo's fine. I know it is. Um, it's not a big deal. I'm um, I'm just I'm kind of curious now. This is honestly me sort of figuring out uh, how to how to solve this problem. Oh shit! We finally got an Arby's tweet. That's <laughs> what I've been waiting. Quietly move that. Ooh. Oh, I'm dragging it for it. That's to the vibe. Yeah, th there's always going to be, it's always going to be there a little bit just because there's two mics in an echoey room. So, like, you talk directly into one mic and then audio, like, bounces off the wall, comes back and hits the other mic. 
Um, I tried to solve the phasing as much as I could, but you know, when there's two hot mics in a room, there's just so much you can do. Um, that actually might help you see chat a little more too, since you're a little more, a little more okay. angled on it. Uh, do you want me to get you like a little side table? No, I'm right. You sure? Yeah, just I'm right. right. Now. Okay, okay. Mics are hot, hot mics. Da, 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 da. Ha, cha, cha. <laughs> ha, cha, cha, cha. All right. Let me know if that solves it at all, or helps at all. It's probably going to be about the same. Or it's like ASMR. We're here for cyberpunk. Oh. We're going to go ahead and we're going to pick some cyberware now. You better be careful, Seth. That might actually work on some people. We're going to pick some some different ears. Ah, oh, different cyberware. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not even hearing that, and it's freaking me out a little bit. I'm just in the room with it. Everybody getting tickles? Oh, the echo's making it way more grandiose. Yeah, stuff's a cyber a cyber mainframe. I can't tell what that. What's that? What's that? We better be careful. Oh, it's, oh, on the chin. I like that. I like that a lot. Ooh, BS leaving Las Vegas. Thank you for the cheers. Big love from the East Coast. Cool. Thank you for. Thank you for joining. Sounds like it's pretty. Might be pretty late for you. Typecast. Thanks for the sub. You graduated college. Oh, it took me 10 years of fucking around and two and a half years of hard work, but I finally did it. I'm really happy for you. You've made me very proud. Congratulations. You've won a diploma. Oh? Hmm. See, you, if you're going to be, if you're going to be Corpo, your tattoos have got to be hidden. Yeah. You can't, you can't. You can't have facial tattoos. It's got to be like real life. Your tattoos have to be like hidden because you have to have a job. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe there's just zero stigma about it in the future. I mean, no. No. I mean... You would know, wouldn't you? I do know. The lore master. <laughs> I feel like I do know. I don't have a facial tattoo for a reason. I want that bar. I have a job. <laughs> I know that's a shitty thing. No, I don't mean no, it. it. I don't mean it like that. That does communicate but. something, something about you though. These days. Although I, I did. No, 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 no. When I got the tattoo on my, on the inside of my wrist, that's when I decided that I, I knew video game was my, my chosen career because that was probably the most visible tattoo that I was going to ever get. I was like, well, I've decided, because there's not really going to be much hiding. Hiding that. I do like that stripe. I might just go with that. Man, that's good. No, I, I, I should be very clear too. So I, I mean, I have bright red hair. <laughs> I, I have visible tattoos. When I worked, when I worked for the Walt Disney Company, and I, so I worked on Marvel and Disney, or I should say, Marvel and Star Wars. Uh, mobile titles uh there was at one point they wanted us to go and demo stuff at uh at downtown disney and at disney springs in florida uh my boss was like oh we're gonna send you we're gonna send you down there so that you can go ahead and go uh you know demo and i was like there's no way. There's no way that they're going to let me demo at Disney Springs or at Downtown Disney. And I told my boss and she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And I'm like, they're never going to let me demo. Have you looked at what the rules are to let let a person that looks like me <laughs> demo a game down there? And she was like, there's what? Like she, she could not believe it. And sure enough, I said, I told them, send, send them, tell them to go look up my picture on like the internal structure that they have at Disney to, you know, your, to see your employee picture. And uh, sure enough, once they saw what I looked like, they were like, oh, she's not allowed. Um, because yeah, like there's no way that I can have um, wild hair color. <laughs> Unnatural, I think is what they referred to it as. Um, there's there was no way and then my boss felt so sad she was like she kept profusely apologizing i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i didn't know <laughs> i thought there was a lightning bolt 
Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure there. I thought there was. Hmm. Maybe I, is it only on men? <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. There's I like could have sworn there was a lightning bolt. That's pretty cool. I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take that. I know everybody. Yeah. So I, uh, I could not go work at Disney Springs with, with visible, with my visible tattoos. You're only allowed to wear like khaki pants and a white shirt and have normal hair color. Also, I would not be able to be topless just like V is right now. <laughs> yeah, you can kind of let it, you kind of have to let it hang out in the character Pink creator. Nipples. Huh? Pink yeah. Nipples I went with on Disney Springs. They Max don't Rack, like Max it. Areola. Spending all of my skill Maximum points on Areola. Areolas. <laughs> so that's for spells. It's technical. <laughs> Be Remove the nips? No, no. I've lost the future. The make them blank. The cyber future remove is already so nipples. inhuman. Are we really going to remove make nipples too? It's the one thing we have going for us. Let's see here, that's crit resistances, stealth probably. <laughs> Bodies, yeah. HP. All right. You, know, I want. I want to point out. I had to watch press. I had to watch multiple people from video game press have to pick their nipple size. Hell yeah. <laughs> or their dick size. <laughs> Firefly, you're over hornied? Think about that, everybody. Is your horny tip out? I'm sorry, bro. You gotta you gotta be careful about that. It's it's on all of us on Twitch to not, not get too horny. Why are all the body types skinny? That's yeah, that's good. There's no you can't be cyber yeah. fat. I'm gonna. I'm not going down that route. Mods, baby. Mods, mods, mods. Um, it, it took a lot of downloading to make Geralt a plus size hero. You better believe I'm gonna do that for Cyberpunk eventually. All right, here it is. Cyberpunk's happening now, for real. No. The first one. Okay, so uh, I've playing seen on this opening a lot. <laughs> yeah. Steph has, Steph has seen this a lot. I kind of have to. V, you there? But, uh, goals for this playthrough. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Read all the things. Um, right. I guess try to get good endings and good <clears throat> outcomes. <clears throat> Just <clears throat> try to rely more on um, Sorry, story like developments <clears throat> rather than combat. Uh, yeah, I barf. <laughs> hey, Nick, thank you very much. Uh, a chamba te va a matar. Reflections, though. Look at all this ray tracing. Don't worry, I'm not dead yet. Uh, Tree Flugel, thank you for the sub. Sorry, there's there's been a lot of activity. I'll uh, I promise I'll catch up eventually. There's always a weirdo. Always a weirdo coming to watch. Is there a problem? You're 30 hours in. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, we nice. A leak. I'm, I'm like, I'm like two minutes in. We had to intervene. Everyone at Night City HQ is on it. But no way you're fucked, right? Jackie is the, the ultimate chew. He's a big time chew. If you work in Arasaka Counter Intel, you're always fucked. Yeah, I'm on a 3080. Don't worry about me. I'll manage on my own. Buena suerte. Oh, oh. First I don't know if anybody nice realizes scene. this, but my license plate is Chumba. I, I actually changed my license plate to Chumba when I started at CD Projekt Red. My license plate says Cyberpunk. That's right. Lawrence's license plate is <laughs> it's Cyberpunk. And it's on an electric bike. <laughs> oh, chromatic or uh, lens flares. <laughs> We're pretty cool. We're pretty cool people. Chumba Wumba bro. Exactly coming. <laughs> Can I use it again? Oh. I get knocked down, but I get up again. Are they ever gonna keep me down? It's the anthem for all time. Oh my god. Oh, fucking Arasaka Tower gives me the biggest dick. <laughs> oh man. Look at it. It's so fucking great. Uh, Here, let's uh. 
Let's try it. Let's it's, try it. It's the biggest boner. Seriously. Look, it's really good. I'm curious. I'm curious. Here, sorry about that. that was my computer. That wasn't yours. That was my dingle. I'm curious. Uh, hmm. Still looks pretty glowy. But man, it just looks like really like, like kind of hazy. Like everything just kind of has. Hmm. I don't know why. It just kind of plays on your eyes differently. And so they, it's the 800 bucks <laughs> that that makes your eyes see it differently. There's just something about the glow around lights. It just looks so much like warmer and fuzzier. So much more Blade runner -er. Film grain is on. Um, I kind of like it. I kind of like the way it looks. It reminds me of Mass Effect 1. What resolution are you playing on? I'm on 1440p. You guys are seeing 900p. What are the DLSS settings? They're set to quality. Um, which, is, which is adding some fuzz to the video as well. DLSS just kind of makes it look like a Stanley Kubrick movie. Which I don't mind. Um, kind of fits. Yeah. Uh, actually, what do these do? Turning internal resolution, change in energy, function of any scenes, or sending up skill and resume. Yeah. Oh, it's AMD tech. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't have that. DLSS had some noise. Yeah. Yeah, it just makes it look like a, you, you, like a like, 70s movie. I feel like like it, there's there's something about the way that, that it looks when you're in... Um, when when you're here in the opening and then when you when you get to the secondary fancy tower I don't want to name it because you don't know the name of that tower the yet <laughs> there's a small leak a few hours later we lose lunar base licenses have they bolted already they're about to that's Jenkins problem if he fails to handle Fucking it, Jenkins. Hey, what's up, Andrew? Don't touch What are you doing? You have to get on the elevator, Lawrence. Yeah, I know. I'm exploring. No, you you have to get on the elevator. It's an it's a game, and I can do whatever I want. No, you have to get on the elevator. I'm gonna start a family here. No, I'm you have to construct ha a house. You, do you see the little yellow? Know your place. Exactly. Know your fucking place. Get it's on the goddamn. Place, Get on the <laughs> elevator. <laughs> can it go boom? Thank you for the sub. Get, get, get on the elevator. Why is elevator. the slash on the wrong side of the W in the title? I don't know. Get on the elevator. <laughs> oh. Cool. Does that just pretend I'm one of your game journalists? No. You, you have to like, you have to make me feel important and like I'm doing well. What? <laughs> what? Get on the elevator. <laughs> There's lore down here. <laughs> she got an eye thing? She does. Oh, she got matrix shades. Yeah, that just like rests on the bridge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Goodbye. That's not what he said. I like his gloves. Why is, like, the back of the hand exposed? Because he doesn't need them to be covered. He's got to have some breathing room. Or maybe those are just his... Maybe those aren't gloves. Maybe that's just his hands. Hmm. I really like that lapel. Like, that little cut-in. That accent. So, all of the... All of the clothes can be made to be, like, wearable. Hmm. Like they're like designed that they can be wearable. Like these shiny pants. Mm -hmm. I don't know you, so let's keep it that way. I'll just keep staring at your pants, sir. Those are some shiny pants. I think you can probably accurately judge the technological advancement of a society by how shiny their pants are. Which kind of means that we were more advanced back when everybody was wearing plate mail. Now I'm wearing Mario Mario jammies. That's not very shiny at all. There are, there are some things that I really want to figure out how I can get made. Christ, Lee, you were supposed to be here an hour ago. Got held up. I'll be right there. Fucking Frankfurt. That Abernathy bitch will probably dump it in our laps. Ugh, hanging up. I'll be in my office. You hurry up. Yeah, I think... The Japanese is coming through on the mic. 
by the age of 23, like right he had already achieved a Maybe a little bit before. I backed you off the mic. Well, when bit, I was so. like here yeah, and probably. I was doing the. <laughs> now we're it's back. a very sensitive mic, so. What's the They're dead. I'm sure that's helping. <laughs> a tragic accident during How many times? Wait, Steph, how many times have you watched journalists do sex scenes? Um, way more than I think that you guys ever need to know. Mr. Jenkins asked for you. Do you think you've watched more game journalists have digi cyber sex than game journalists have had sex? I'm never going to answer that question <laughs> in any sort of funny or serious way ever. Yeah, Please that's don't true. ever ask me that. <laughs> Yeah, that's... It's me, Frank. We met during Icefall. East Coast. I can't be baiting you like that. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep doing that. I didn't know you were in Night City. Have you been? Uh, you know how it is. <laughs> I heard you're in Counter Sorry, Intel. I can't... Must have a shit show on your hands right now. I can't help Frankfurt. it now. Now I want to do Jenkins it. is your lead, right? Is he what everyone says he is? Hmm. What does everyone say about Jenkins? Sim for heavy breathing, sir. <laughs> That's how you know she's she's living. She's hearty. That's how you know she's alive. Hey, he's in sorry. Now I just keep I keep doing it. I'm sorry. It's just funny to me now. I will stop. I promise. <laughs> yeah. D Doom Eternal did get kind of hosed at the Game Awards. That's okay. Like. I, I think this year reinforced more than anything that now the the game awards are kind of like the Oscars. So an Oscar bait game yeah. won an Oscar bait okay. award. Um, Doom Eternal's not a not a game award bait game, so it didn't win. And I think that's really just what it comes down to these days. It was gonna be it was gonna get there eventually, right? Um, to some degree, I think it's kind of a good thing that now there's a pretentious circle of gaming people that value. Yeah. Everything okay? Pretense over over like actual solid games, but eh. <laughs> it's okay. It doesn't matter. She's really good. You know, awards don't matter. The, the announcements were cool. That's kind of the only thing that matters anyway. My boss on the promotion to Spec Ops director. You know how it is. Things happen. Mm. They do indeed. They do indeed. Tell me about the op in Cape Town. Operation Cargo. You know Yuxa about? seven one in my heart. Arming yeah. Did did like a dragon get anything? It was me. We dumped crates full of rifles into the ocean. They had to be pulled out using borrowed. Awards are temporary. Ships. Doom is eternal. Same old circus, <laughs> but hey, that's how wars are won. Listen, sorry, I'm in a bit of a rush right. right now. First we'll optional quest it. objective complete. Sure, sure. That's you again. step one towards 100% completion. 100%. Every item gained. Every lore read. Oh, that looks cool as hell. System security Did you go? Did you go to the room? Did you go back? Did oh wait, back? the peep, the peep room. Where you peep? Where you peep at the people and they they get mad at you peeping? That's not the room. I don't know what the room is. We're pulling people out of Prague. Yeah, because of Frankfurt. Don't wait. Get them out now. Back. Just be discreet. Go back to where you talked to that dude. Shiny dress. That is a shiny dress. Oh, look at those stockings. It like connects to the heel. Whoa. Oh, she's a Cuban heel. That's called a. Yeah, I, I know. Everyone but, knows that. But but it's like her shoes. It's like she's. That's it's... their leg. There's no like seam. I, I mean, I like the idea. Unless of it it's a being... boot that goes yeah. all the way up to her thigh. But there's I mean, like a seam at her at her knee, so yeah. Yeah. So it's like a Cuban heel, but it's a boot. Cool. It's like a leg. It's like a Cuban leg. Screw on your Cuban leg for the day. I mean, I would do that. Yeah. Oh. No, no, I'm just fine. Thanks. Hmm? You again? Ugh. Oh, sorry. Never mind. Uh-oh. Do they grunt when I run into them? Yes, they do. Hmm. Huh? That was a little sexual. Oh wait, this is his peep room? What? What? <laughs> I don't know, I love that so much. <laughs> what are you looking at? 
Joop. Oh. <laughs> want me stealing their corpo secrets, but I will. I love it! I love it! Not everybody goes to go look at it! And they fucking close! They close it! They don't want you... They don't want you looking at their secrets. Oh, I'm gonna get their secrets. Oh, what's over here? Probably a door that won't open, but... Oh... What? What the fuck? Oh. Dang. I got brain scrambled for a second. Man, having a cyber brain must take a lot of getting used to. Bastard! He lobbied them hard for it when they flew in from Tokyo. <laughs> Director of Special Operations? With his file? <laughs> the Japanese might buy it. <laughs> Just random corpo speak? Mergers and acquisitions. Action items. The quarterly reports. Whoa, those chairs are cool. He's playing Game Boy in there. Don't look. Trying to catch his Pokemon. Jenkins girl. What? I'm looking. Looking over your shoulder. Yeah, you better keep an eye out. I'm going to be wearing your solid gold jacket. Yeah. Uh, greetings. What's he doing? What are you doing? You, you look, can't. You can't look at his phone. He's looking at some emails. No. We got some banner ads up. This is gonna be the slowest playthrough of Cyberpunk ever. <laughs> God, that's a cool haircut. Oh, you're going you're going in early. Hundred percent. You're gonna Oh, you're opening that drawer for that first little peek. What is that? Do I see a Witcher magazine in that drawer? <laughs> References. Why, that's the first Easter egg I do believe you see. Well, that means that that means that CD Projekt exists in the world of cyberpunk, right? But it's a retro gaming magazine. Indeed, it is. <laughs> it came out a long time ago. Oops! Dang it! Oh yeah, the Milfgard reference. I don't think we can get to Alana's character. You have to be a nomad, right? Uh, I believe you can get to her mission even if you're, uh... Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, because she's... It doesn't matter if you're... What you start out with your life path. You just have to be able to get out into the Badlands. Hmm. I think I can do that eventually. Wait, what's up, Wombat Dog? There are Hello. many, many Easter eggs that exist in the world of Cyberpunk. Yeah, I've seen a few of them. Uh, people have been posting them on Reddit and stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, Costa, thank you for the prime. Cannon, thank you very much for the prime. Leaving Las Vegas, thank you for the sub. Strapped Wolf, thank you for the sub. I think I missed a ton of people. I'm gonna here. I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna read some names. Uh, Anna Nana Banana, that's a fun name. Thank you very much. Roy Handsome, thank you for the cheer. Yeah, Steph's Steph's really leaning into this ASMR. I like it. Uh, <laughs> Lucidge, thank you for the sub. I'm I'm tr I'm trying to not cause as much echo. I think that's what oh, it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. I appreciate that stuff. Uh, I don't know. Can you guys... One more bit of feedback. How's, how's the audio sounding now? Is the, is the echo minimized or at least stylistic at this point? Um, ooh, Nick. Thank you for gifting a sub. Thank you very much. Radical Randy. It's good to see you. Okay. Echo's gone. All right. Great. Much better. Good to hear it. Good to hear it. Hey, what's up, Austin? Hello. Good, but there's been a lot of ASMR. Yeah. Sorry. No. <laughs> don't apologize. This is what Twitch is all about. ASMR and games. Uh, have you been to Thailand, Morocco, and Alaska more times than you could count? Looking for an adventure that isn't just another tour around Europe? Do you want to see how the world's biggest film and brain dance stars relax and party? Do you want to see the stars among the stars? Now you can. The Crystal Palace is offering a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to book an Earthview apartment along a cos cosmically gargantuan selection of vouchers for any of our award-winning restaurants and casino comps to get Lady Luck on your side early. And don't worry, we do everything to assure your stay is heavenly, but your bill isn't astronomical. Sounds like pretty a pretty good email to get when you're a high money earning corpo employee. So I think that that's also one of those things that is truly important to note is that 
Corpos are the only only people in Night City that really are able to afford things like the ability to travel, the ability to access things like plants. Like they don't they, Oh they yeah. Only, they only get to see things like animals. Like nobody gets that shit. Nobody gets to see it. Like unless they are part of the wealthy. Um, they only get health coverage because they're wealthy. They get that shit because they have money, because they get coverage because of who they because of who they work for. That's it. Um, otherwise, they wouldn't get it. The Crystal Palace promises no extradition, and it's been 234 days since the last murder. <laughs> awesome. Ten casinos, five pools. A cutting edge brain dance studio. Muzzy Wizzy's on tour. Buy your ticket today. You can't even work there. Cool. I didn't know it was a I didn't know it was a space station. Alright, I'll have to pace this out. I, I can't read the entire internet in one sitting. Alright, alright. I've read my email. I'm caught up. That's good. You saw the Witcher mag? I did. I need your stamp on something. It's possible one of our assets was exposed. Oops. I'll handle it later. Mouse, mouse too sensitive. We'll discuss it whenever you have a spare minute. Maybe he'll let me talk about it now. Oh. Nope, you fucked up. Is there... 100%? 100% 100 run. Too late. Next time I show up to work late, I'll say it's because I was trying to 100% life. Yeah. I found some, uh... I found some, like, potato chip wrappers in the gutter and I had to read them. Please There's lore on those. Wizzy Wizzy is Grimes? Yep. Yeah. Oh, brain scan again. She's so cool. Well, her her lore is like, she was the first artist to like die and have her consciousness transplanted into a full exotic like uh, body live in a set, right? You should go watch this. Mm. Yeah, just as we thought. You know what to do. Start now. I love that that shot is in the trailer. Uh. Director Abernathy. I watched the vote. What the hell was that? A deep clean after the shit Frankfurt dumped on us. As we agreed, I got rid of the problem. I told you to resolve the problem, not massacre the European Space Council. Do you understand what the cover-up will cost? We would have lost the license. Now we gained a week. That's a win. Path of least resistance always. No nuance has you written all over it. We're not done talking about this. Got that chair. I hate that bitch. I always have. Fucking Abernathy, bitch. This isn't the first time Abernathy set you up. No, not the first. Smeared me in front of Japanese execs, so she'd be the one promoted to director of Spec Ops. A cunt. I can't say grown-up words. Now she's holding a gun to my head to make sure I don't try it. I just want to stare out this dude's window. She won't pull the trigger because she needs I do what she Whoa. the guts to do. Divide and conquer. Effective strategy. <sighs> Effective. What would you do in my position? I'd look at flying cars. Neat. Can you fly cars in the game? I don't think so, no. You have to defend yourself. Remind Abernathy you're not her doormat. Flying cars are still a luxury. They exist, but it's not like everyone has one. Most cars are still on the ground. Seems we see eye to eye on this issue. Wasn't that the name of the song in the Goofy movie? Take this. Oh, I didn't... Oh, no. I missed optional dialogue. Oh, no. It's what I've collected over the past weeks. Biometrics, trauma team card, 100%. names of her closest associates, driver, 
Yeah, this is the beginning. I'm still in the uh, origin story, basically. Everything. Use it and make sure Abernathy won't be a problem anymore. This is you all said it. prologue. I need to defend myself. We are prologue, yeah. prologue, prologue. Anyone who finds out we even talked about this, I'll go down with you. That's true. But everyone knows you. Oh no, I thought it was just eye to eye, boombox. So it's not like they could ever believe you played no part in it. Okay, good. I don't know, I, I'm... In my, in my march through all Disney animated features, the Goofy movie was pretty recent. So it's, it's top happen? of mind for some reason. Don't ask stupid questions. This isn't a request, V. We seem to understand each other. Take this, too. Stack of non cyber physical Friction money? Transactions are traceable. Caveman dollars? Paper disappears as soon as you spend it. Paper eddies. What can I say? Paper eddies. Use this money only. Find the right people for the job. No corporate affiliation. And for the core task, Jesus. use someone you know inside out. Are we clear? Yeah, I think we're clear. Good. In that case, I'll await your report. And good luck with it. I have my AV waiting outside. It's yours to use. And don't disappoint me. Yeah, AV stands for Aerial Vehicle, right? Yeah. Ooh, Neurologic, thank you for the Prime. Yeah, no, this actually works out. I kind of, I kind of prefer, in a weird way, kind of playing behind most people. You asked for. So, uh, people don't have to choose between spoiling a game or, or watching it. What path should I take when I finally play this? I don't like fighting or stress. I like boring and tedious. <laughs> um, I don't know that the path changes that very much. I would guess just probably play on easy then. Uh, Tom Fox, thank you for the sub. Ah, God, I nailed it. I don't have the time. Just send him my way. Hey, v, you alive? Automatic <laughs> vagina. <laughs> Viper pit. Oh, hey, what's up, Ace? How you doing? Said it better. You in some trouble? Not yet. Just need a soul I can trust for now. That kind of sounded like a yes. Meet me at Lizzie's. Be there in an hour. Man, I want... I need a program that just fills my monitors with scrolling stuff. Ad for Netwatch, huh? Tracking down Netrunner renegades, combating daemons, rebuilding the American net. These are just some of the daily tasks entrusted to the special agents at Netwatch. If you'd rather lose eyes than... Hmm? If you'd rather lose eyes than your deck, if an encounter with Mephistopheles is just another walk in the park for you. Maybe it's time you joined our team. Here's what you can expect to contribute as a Netwatch agent. Patrolling all public access levels of the net. Tracking and eradicating illegal Netrunner activity. Hunting down dangerous rogue AI. Exploring and neutralizing threats in the oldest parts of the deep net. Prohibiting the movement of people and AI across the black wall. Assisting in the expansion of secure net space for public use. Thanks to Netwatch, thousands of people can freely use a... Pr Use approved search engines and other net services without fear of falling victim to nefarious daemon threats. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, we serve tirelessly to eliminate corrupted data for forts, safeguard our information, and arrest dangerous cyber criminals. Do you have what it takes to apply today? Yeah, that's part of the lore, too, is that during the corporate wars, they invented all these crazy viral AIs that just would go out onto the internet and attack and destroy whatever. Um, and it got so out of control that they just had to kind of physically wall off the internet. So there's a giant wall that separates the usable part of the internet from, it's called, yeah, the black wall, from the old internet where all the old, like, militaristic AIs are just going around annihilating everything and fighting each other all the time. Pretty cool. And that's, uh, so it's like if you're, if you're just popping around on the internet and you do the wrong thing, an AI could actually get into your brain and kill you. Uh, so the internet is actually legit dangerous, and they have to kind of like quarantine a whole section of it. Uh, Ian's Cold Gaming, thank you for the sub. Old internet, new internet, yeah, basically. I gotta check my reports. Where's my report? Oh, it's my file. 
After assessing data collected from contact reports in Utah, Nevada, Arizona, and Montana, we did not confirm any active... Uh, oh, yeah, the new USA. Noosa efforts against Arasaka assets or operations in federal territories. However, the same conclusion cannot be drawn regarding potential threats from, threats from Militech. Although the corporation has obvious close ties to the Noosa government, we were unable to obtain valuable intel due to much tighter control and internal procedure and, or, yeah, and information flows. We must rely on unconfirmed circumstantial evidence obtained by our own field agents for the time being. Conclusion. Further human... Human... Human intelligence, I guess? Human gathering required. Current data, uh, current data are circumstantial and do not allow for indisputable conclusions. Aha. All right, then. Does USA include New York? New New York? I, I guess so, yeah. Uh, the new USA includes pretty much everything except California. Um... Wait, Northern California, because Northern and Southern California split. Northern California is staying independent, and Night City itself is also kind of its own government. Um, did you play the tabletop this game was based on? No, I never did. I never did, but I absolutely would. I don't really know anything about the system of uh, Cyberpunk, and I know they're putting out, or they put out Cyberpunk Red, the like latest iteration of the tabletop. It's a city-state, basically, um, except the state is, is corporate governance, um, with Arasaka being the largest corporation. Um, essentially, there was, a, there, was a, there was a, I think it was like 10 years before the game takes place in the timeline, there was essentially another civil war or a unification war where New USA was going around annexing whatever was left from the disbanded uh, independent states era. Uh... And basically, the like there was a flotilla that had blockaded, or was sieging Night City, but then Arasaka showed up with its own like fleet, and basically forced the New USA Army to back down. And then basically, independence was recognized at that point. So, Night City, Night City is unique uh, in the world of cyberpunk because it is governed by corporations. There's still a, a police department, but the world's going to basically the corporate. Uh, Corporate security forces are the actual governing governing body and law, law enforcement body. What does Night City have to offer over their new USA? Well, um, basic opportunity, essentially. Um, if you, since it is such a, a kind of like the the law, the rule of law, and the concept of morality in Night City is so much different. Um, so it is it is a city for hustlers and sh like people that just don't care and want to get ahead. It is essentially like. Underhanded tactics are okay. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and you can do a lot of illegal stuff. Because who cares? Like, if you're not fucking with anyone's money, no one gives a shit. Uh, so it is essentially... It's, it's governance through capitalism. Mm -hmm. uh, very literally. Uh, which it makes it a really good setting for the game where you play as a mercenary. So it is, it is essentially like... It is, it is the exact uh, cradle for... This type of story or this type of game—that sort sort of Scarface rags to riches, grabbing power or grabbing money through power, uh, and basically taking control of things by playing the game properly and using connections and, and getting ahead and all that stuff. True libertarianism, a little bit, yeah, a little bit. Um, you are not wrong about that. That's part of the, uh, the the mind space of cyberpunk and some of the stuff that it uh, it, it deals with. Ah, review. So yeah, somebody, somebody way at the beginning of the stream asked, asked about that, and I apologize for not quite answering that. I didn't plan on doing one because I'm, I'm, it's impossible to be unbiased about this game. Because I love Stephanie very much, and it has kind of become a, a more of a part of my life beyond just being a fan of it lately. So there's no way I can talk about it without that influencing that. That said, uh... Some people have said, hey, if you disclose that, uh, we don't care. <laughs> so I might end up doing it anyway. I actually need to do a review for Witcher 3 now that I've, I've closed it all out. And I actually probably will do that in, in a couple of days. But how's so the performance basically been? the review is give us all of your money. Give us all your money. Because CD Projekt Red is great. And that's it. That's the review. That's it. Sign over all of your... <laughs> All, all of your dollars to us. Every last one. Verbatim. That's it. That, that's what it is. 
fair thank, and balanced. Thank you all. Yeah, by we, Cyberpunk we like TM. It. Thank you. Thank you. Please provide thank your you. destination. That's the plan. Bring up district analytics. Increased NCPD presence and activity has been reported in Haywood. No official statement has been forthcoming. Intercepted and uh, yeah, I can't remember who said it, but there's going to be a little echo in my voice. Two mics in the room, trying to figure it out. The other way to do it is to put one mic where it picks up both of us, make it really sensitive, but then it'd be picking up echo from the game. Uh, and it's probably doing that a little bit, but there is just no getting around echo without like really closed in lavalier mics or something like that. Ah. My champagne delivery has arrived. Cheers, Doug. You gotta turn. Make sure you look. That's the important part. God, the best fucking part. You gotta drink now. Oh, I, oh yeah, you're right. I didn't even hit the button. Oh, sh shit. She knocks the whole thing back. Christ. I can't do that. Cheers, everybody. To Cyberpunk. Um, which is, uh, you know. This is N54 News. We, uh. With a breaking story for you. A conference. This is, this is the very definition of a conflict of interest. Uh, if I were to review this game. I'm gonna have to. The only way I can. Because, like. There's a bonus structure. So if people buy it. We actually stand to literally get money directly from that. So, uh, I couldn't in any way, like, review the game and, and tell people to buy it, because they're I'm telling people to give me money. I guess if I hashtag add it, who cares? Buy, buy G Fuel, everybody, by the way. 30% off this weekend. Oh, I didn't change my... I didn't change my command. Dealing with a temporary nuisance. you should worry about Just think back to our last session. The neuromotor relaxation exercises three times a day, they'll soothe and lift your spirit. I know this. Sure, okay. See you later. Hello, oh, how does it work like copies sold in a month? I don't know. I do not know. Uh, but... There, there is a, uh... There is a, a direct line to, like, more people buying the game and potentially us getting <laughs> us getting money. So, I'll, I'll make one eventually, but I think I'll, it'll wait. Like, I'm not good at YouTube because I wait on purpose for a lot of things. Um, but I'd probably wait at least a couple of weeks. So, if somebody was going to make a purchasing decision, they would have already done it. Um, and so... My review would be more just commentary or analysis, which is kind of what I prefer anyway. I really still love this city. Like, the first times playing, like, just being in Night City still, is still impressive. I still tell this team every time that I speak to them that I'm like, look, it's still really pretty. Mm-hmm. That's something that, even when the game was bust, even. This looked like a landing pad to you. Could have fucking crushed us. Jesus Christ. Okay, no, no, hey, we, we ain't looking for no beef with you. That was a bit out of character. This be probably would not have done that, but that's also the coolest thing to do. So, give him a little, little clam, oh, clam hey, scrape. What is happening? Yeah, you don't. There's many options. You don't have to. You don't have to beat them. Look at those shoes, though. Is he dead? Maybe just a clap, collapse windpipe. He'll be okay. Maybe. That's what you get when you don't have insurance or a trauma team uh, hey, subscription. Hey, uh, what's going on? Seems trouble wants in. I don't want any trouble. Just here on business. Good to hear. Welcome to Lizzie's. God. Like pink spikes on her elbow? Man. Everyone looks so, so 80s cool. My, what a sweet. 
little face you have. Why don't you lick my ass, hey? <laughs> I see. <laughs> Another day in Night City. Ooh. Oh, I can't use this one. So in the in the bathrooms at well, I should say in the bathroom at the Venice CDPR office, because we only have one. Uh, it's a singular bathroom because we, our office only is one big room. Uh, the mirror in the bathroom has like no future in graffiti and everything like written all over it, just kind of like like it's a night city bathroom. Yeah, yeah I was about to say I remember that it was gonna get real loud. It did. This part gets gets real intense. Okay. Die. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Steph's mic is is not lower off. What's going on? The game got loud. We but I've turned it down. Huh. Steph's mic also doesn't have ducking on it, sidechain. I might be able to I don't know if you can have a source sidechain from two mics. Yeah, you got something to say? So much to learn. So much to learn. You guys are having a good time. Man, I want to drink here. A nice little, like, overhang room with circuitry on the walls. The mic is doubling. There are two mics. So you will hear just a tiny amount of echo, and there's really no getting around that. Gonna, you get when somebody talks, you get their voice in one mic and the echo of their voice in the other mic. The closest thing I can do is make it quieter. Looking for your doom. Already here. Dapping his fingers, waiting for you. Hey. Hey, that dude's that dude's shirt. Something you're gonna go nomad? I'll probably, I'll probably do an. I mean, I'll definitely do a nomad run eventually, but. I think that for the first one, Corpo just makes more sense. For the kind of run I'm gonna try to do. Get out of town before it's too late! I like how he has a cyber cowboy hat. There's just a little chip on it. You'll come here often, do you? <laughs> it's good to see you, Chica. Now sit down and tell me what's got your shorts in a night. It's good to see you, too. Yay, Jackie! How you been? Yeah, you got Jackie sparks knows. flying between the Valentino boys and Maelstrom. Eddie's there for the taking. As long as you don't get flatlined. You know how it is. Can't complain, but a cowboy hat has an IP address. <laughs> I can get an email on this hat. <laughs> I mean, post on Twitter from my hat. Jackie, before I start. Oh, Prosper, thank you for the sub. Uh, Yipper, thanks for the sub. Skinny fat man, thank you. This thing, it it could ruin me. So could I. You do really. Yeah, they did re a really good job making Jackie lovable. He's very much the like. Remember what happened? Charming older brother. The border. I peep one word. I know. You saved my ass. The word about the cartels had gotten out. But it didn't. And this won't either. That's why you came to see dear old Jackie. Data shard. Take it. I was one of the thick Hawaiian friend. Man, Jackie's hair is so cool. Is this Act One? This is like Act Zero. This, this is still in the um, the prologue. Yeah, it's. I'm about to get out of. Well, no, I guess the uh, the uh, scavenger hideout is still part of the prologue, huh? Mm -hmm. I, I think. The, and the all foods. Like when is when does prologue end? The piece I'm missing. Now, what you need from me? Probably after all foods, right? Finger to zero, this lady. Technically, I guess technically, <sighs> Shh. 
like Act long. One actually starts before that, but we still call. Well, I don't want to name names as to when, like, Act One, when Act One really begins. The situation. So what they call it in terms. That's why I need somebody I can trust. But this ain't um, no delicate situation, Emma. Man, it's a hit job, plain and simple. Like you it's just there, there's there's just parts operates. when they consider when like, okay. the shit really really okay, gets Okay, maybe real. you don't. This yeah, isn't a professional request. I can. Well, because I don't. I, like, there's fucking I dialogue can. happening. And I am. Now, no, I won't worry about it then. See, we look her up and talk life. That's his mommy die. God. I would take so many shots if somebody that looked like that was pouring them for me. Better for drowning nerves. <laughs> go Spartan. I watched uh what? Yeah, you were mentioning that. You can actually go through without drinking. Mm -hmm. There's like specific dialogue to turn down alcohol. Let's drink. Uh, I I did watch Mind Jack the other day to prepare. Do this. The cyber cyberpunk seminal hallmark film keystone moment mind jack i realize it's called mind jack because he's gonna jack your mind but also there's a giant physical jack that they use to transfer minds at the end like a literal jack like a kid's toy it's so dumb i love jackie so much also it made me realize emilio estevez actually not the best actor actually not a great actor Today, they got you to zero somebody. Tomorrow. Yeah, I, I see this when I have one shot of tequila too. You. I think I have a choice. If I refuse, they take everything and leave me nothing. Now we'll let them. They'll also take the fist they got gripping your balls. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty picky about who I let touch my balls. The audio got so much better. I mean, I think if only one of us talk at a time, and also if we're not, if we're being a little, a little more subdued, helps a little bit. Oh yeah. You lost? Got a problem? V, is that right? You're from Arasaka HQ. Uh, is there a problem? Are you here about Frankfurt? We're here for you. Jenkins assigned you a task today. You'll share all the details with us. <laughs> no, don't believe I will. No, That's I don't think I will. That's between me and Jenkins. <laughs> Fuck! How you feeling? Pretty sharp dive, huh? <laughs> Your access to company networks is hereby revoked. He sparkle-eyed me. Minutes, any company cybernetics in your possession will cease functioning. Give us the data you received. FYI, the Happy Hob just beat Jedi Fallen Order. No hit. Oh my God. How the hell did you find? He's hacking me. I'm getting hacker manzed. The data now. Will. Maybe you can't. Maybe you can't reveal this. But if there's dialogue, we're doing nothing. We're doing nothing as an option. Will there always be a timer bar? She's just <laughs> sipping on champagne, making full eye contact. Wait. I feel like I will. I will put up the smart choice. Where's my picture? We done with the formalities. Yes. After the scene, I think Abernathy would gladly up our fee for ridding her of a piece of rot like you. Stand up. You're coming with us. Oh, yeah. oh, thank you, Stabilize. Yeah. I think you fellas might have forgotten just how far from home you are. It, uh... I don't know. I'm really excited to get into this. I'm really excited to kind of poke around in its mechanical systems. Um, it's interesting. I feel like, uh... I I feel like I feel like Wild Hunt was a game that was so ambitious that they didn't really have time to make sure that all the mechanics were super dialed in. But then by Blood and Wine, like it was actually a mechanically amazing game. They just they really kind of locked in all the systems they had going on. You all right? So based on some of uh, some of the reviews I've read and some of the commentary, it sounds like it might be similar with Cyberpunk. That like there's so many systems kind of interplaying that they're not all just hey, you still with me? hyper tuned. 
yet, but so it'll be. I think it'll be really fun to play through the game um, on a hard difficulty and then experience it and then see like how they tune it up with the patches and then like what further content looks like because they're gonna get better at making it. Well, and then I like. Turn off mic. And then okay. I will tell you, like I told Lawrence that there were things that I even kept discovering the more that I kept talking further, further with the devs. Um, I feel like this is the appropriate, <coughs> this is the appropriate image that I found out as I continued to discuss certain things sure with some of our breathe. devs when they would tell if me I about certain I story things. Oh, I think the, it Nasty got dark. Chills. Where I was just like, what? And like, I would yeah. post that image into Slack when I would find out about things. And they would respond like laughing when I would say like, wait, that's a thing? So I feel like that's that's an apt description to describe like how I would react to it. I mean, they seized my bank account. Frozen, seized. Jesus, these fuckers move fast. You sure you feel okay, though? I mean... Yeah, I'm getting getting the cyber shakes. They're cutting off my cyber. Give me a minute. Get my shit together. Yeah, Red Nomster, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Jack. Again, I, I, the... I guess, I guess where my head goes is like... Wild Hunt was really, really, really good. And that was even with um, so they said it to some of the actual systems and, and mechanics and stuff being a little rickety. You'll see. Uh, Besides. Because that wasn't really the reason you played Wild Hunt. Like, you didn't play Wild Hunt because the sword fighting was just like... It wasn't Sekiro sword fighting, you know? It wasn't trying to be. Its, it's value was in something else. The sword fighting was just there to be kind of fun. You know, something to, to give you a little chop-chop in between uh, dialogue and cool story beats. The real cyber was the friends we yes. made on the way. <laughs> no, dumbass. Oh, see you, Jess. Thanks for watching. Probably some. Did you turn off copyright music mode. No, I did not. Cena buns. Because I have yet to get popped for DMCA. I don't know what the deal is. Either I'm. I think my channel's not big enough. Like my. That would be my theory that my channel's just not big enough. But I've heard other people with much smaller channels by most uh, metrics getting hit. So I don't know what's up. I don't know what's up. Maybe my mics are loud enough that it, like, the audio mix covers up the waveform and I don't get hit. Who knows? Hello there, Night City. Oh, man. Yeah. The sequence is so good. Fuck. Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her. Every new day here means a hundred. This is a really cool sequence. Great way to like fill in the gaps and kind of kind of make the whole narrative at least connected. Like it may not be a hundred percent realistic or believable, but at least they kind of show you all the beats of like you're doing shit jobs, you're kind of getting contacts. Uh, you're kind of you're kind of messy about it. Like you're not very good at it, but you get it done. Also, it's all in an engine, which blows my mind. Um, something like this would would have just been a pre-render cutscene because of how many jumps it's doing in like settings and and character models and textures and stuff like that. The graveyard. <laughs> You're moving out of moving out of Jackie's place. Got your own apartment. How much did you see of the game already? I've seen. So Stephanie played through the whole thing because she had to. Like it was her job to know what's in the game. She's communication. For somewhere in this building. So there was a particular weekend with the the where she she basically had to to grind through it in like two to three days. And uh, I didn't want to. Well, for one, I wanted to watch, but also for two, I didn't want to like take the risk that um, I'd be live with like her playing this in the other room, and then there'd be something that was like loud or something we get overheard. And so I just was like, ah. So there were there were a few there were a number of days where you know in the past six months that I 
just didn't stream at all for extended wow. lengths of time. Some of that was because Stephanie was working on some stuff or, or just playing a build of the game. Um, and then uh, some of it was because there were some... Either like Stephanie was working a lot and I didn't want um, streaming to get in the way of her. Or I was I was like kind of cleaning up or cooking or trying to help out or pitching in with some projects. Yeah. Carrying boxes and things. Uh, yeah, that's that was what the cyber secrets were. That was what some of them were, yeah. is just me hanging out on the couch. I was doing other work, but yeah, just watching Steph play through. So I've seen Steph play through it. Um, but that was Steph's playthrough of Steph making Steph decisions and doing Steph things. So I'm curious to to see where my playthrough goes. That was yeah. I Mil- I finished the game yeah, in we're an talking classified military weekend, grade tech here. And that was a real that? that was a real push. And our girl made a couple adjustments. That was a that was a real Why? thinks she knows better? That was nah. a real not said it didn't sleeping. Suit her, uh, style. It's a real not sleeping <laughs> weekend I mean. and my team being like, "Did you did you really fucking finish sure. the game? Why the hell sleep? not? And I was like, I didn't finish. I didn't finish most of the side things, but I finished. <laughs> and then I'm like, all right, I'm going to go back and do everything else now. This is it, guys. <laughs> Steph's a real gamer. I should have never, never doubted. Subsequent evaluation. Ooh. This course is designed to reinforce your fundamental combat abilities oh, thank you, Metal and hone your reflexes. The skills you gain here will help you survive, even excel on the battlefield. Yeah, it does look a little Vex-like, doesn't it? Funky you mode. To be effective with firearms to use stealth tactics to advantage and to hack into enemy networks. Because at Militech... Man, Militech can't encrypt for shit. But they clearly got drilling jarheads in their blood. Hey, what's up, now. OC? Station one, you maggot! Move, move, move! Thank you for the resub. Hope you're ready to bust ass through this fascist playground. Let's yeah, T Bug is the best. Also, Doctor, we have we have pretty similar characters. Are you? Did you go Corpo too? Ooh. What do you say we crank it up a notch? One has to For a lot of the for a lot of the commentary around about like cyberpunk and the things that it's done well and the things that it hasn't done well. It's more realistic if the target I do think that like one of the things that's gone a little bit invisible is this is the first first person shooter CD Projects ever made. It's the fourth game they've ever made. Well, I guess if you count Thronebreaker or Gwent. But to get the like to get the shooting mechanics right it's pretty impressive, I think, for a first outing. There's a lot. There's a lot right. You took a hit. Use a reanimator to patch yourself up. Um, with just the core, the core fundamentals of like how the shooting and mechanics work. But it's almost expected that that stuff had, like, that stuff has to work to even head to the training area when you're good. To, to even be considered to be a good game, right? Oh uh, look, brought some chills for this time. You know what? I'm curious, um, people have been playing it a little bit more, can you guys, uh, let me know, like, how, how do the shooting skills work? Is it just a bunch of skills that make you do more damage when you shoot, or is there a bunch of stuff to, like, reduce recoil or increase reload speed? Stand on the platform and we'll move on. I was, uh, I was hoping that it would be something like Deus Ex style, where the skills you get fundamentally improve the mechanics of how you shoot. Not just the numbers behind them, so... There's recoil and reload? Okay, faster everything. Okay. Back to your training, recruit. Just getting the gas escaping the gun right is a step above most others. Really? Oil? I didn't, I didn't even notice that. Ooh, Dill Dozer, thank you for the sub. Okay, great. It's like day sex. I love that stuff. Uh, Matt Knott, thank you for the prime. Uh, there's been so many action RPGs where, like, the skills just make the numbers go up, so... Shooting feels the same whether you have zero skill, your character has zero skill in shooting, or has all the skills in shooting. It just it's identical. You just do more damage. I like it when they actually directly influence the low-level uh, mechanics going on. Uh, 
Most mods will boost stats while lowering other stats. Ah, so it kind of forces you more into a build? Oh, it's... Oh, guys. Ooh. Scan two objects highlighted in gold. I did it. This training module will teach you how to apply technical see you, tools to combat situations. <laughs> Jesus, Corpo speak can even make hacking sound boring. This is a game. This is a, a game with aimbot guns. Oh, that's true. Yeah, the there are guns that let you lock on to people to distract the guard. Okay, scopes give you well a scope. It raises ADS speed. Oh, all right. Installed. Okay. Q and E. Alright. Okay, and then F to execute. Alright. Corpo trash. Style over substance. Good. Now take him out quietly. Alright, all yours. Take him out. Snapped his Never cyber smart to leave behind any trace of your handiwork, especially the dead kind. Now pick up the body and hide it somewhere. Man, the game has body hiding mechanics. You know you're in for a good time. <laughs> Dur, I'm gonna look at a wall. No, he looked. He looked at the okay. screen because I cyber hacked it. Now try to take him down in one slick move. Hey, what's up, Drake? Not the rapper. Hello, 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 hello. Think you're ready to try hacking some gonks in real time? Have fun. New quick hacks have been uploaded to your cyber deck. These are good things to hear. Take control the camera. More complexity. Reach protocol on one of the guards. Oh, it's time. Uh, yeah. Now, detonate the grenade. They, uh, they reworked those tutorials, huh? Mm-hmm. Smart. Er, I don't know what you're talking about, Lawrence. <laughs> those tutorials are perfect. <laughs> Needed to shut your Some brain down. Some kind of 3080. Uh, Julio, I got. I had a. I had a total mix of like, actually doing the right thing plus getting really lucky. Um, EVGA has a Q system. Oh yeah, her nails are kind of poking through her gloves. Hell yeah, that's good cyber nails right there. That actually looked kind of neat. Yeah, Cubos. Sightseeing. It means I can I can get a little bump of coke if I really need it. But uh. Not too shabby. But yeah, yeah. EVGA has that queue system, so apparently I signed up for it like back in September, which was awesome because my point in the queue came up, but I actually missed the email. But then EVGA did me a real solid and let me uh, jump the line. So I did wait through the queue. I missed it, but they actually let me get a card. So, and as it, it turns out, my last card was EVGA too. So I'm I'm pretty I'm I'm pretty glowing about EVGA right now. Not that you can, but I'd recommend buying an EVGA card if you if you can. Their Q system is was really good, and it worked perfectly for me, um, with, given enough time. There are people that complain that they like signed up on day one and their Q spot still doesn't come up. So the specific model that I signed up for did come up, and they sold it to me, and so it was all it was all pretty straightforward. Um, I'd recommend it if if you're annoyed with like bots beating into the punch every time, which was me for like two weeks straight. Um, yeah, no, Evil Frank, uh, I'm reverbing because my girlfriend Stephanie's back here. She's on a mic too, and it's kind of picking me up as I talk, so. There are two mics, yeah. So it, I'll sound a little cyberpunky. 
Uh, kid with the brawler? Kid the brawler, my bad. How you doing? It's good to see you. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick break, use the restroom. I've been sipping on this champagne, the cyber champ. So, things are full, I'll be right back. See you soon. All right, we're getting back into it, guys. Stealth training. Dun, 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 right. dun, dun. So first, let's shape up those stealth skills. I'm gonna be so good at stealth. This is, I mean, it's gonna be how I'm gonna try to play the game. We'll see. Usually with most games, you can like, you can kind of figure out all the aspects of the stealth and then if there's things like one hit kills or even skills that you can unlock like one hit kills, it gets to the point where it's pretty easy to breeze through things, but. It won't let me go to the hacking tab. Hyper Sloth, thank you for the sub. <laughs> Dildozer, what was that? It was Cyberpunk. Tag all the guards. Uh... Oh, there we go. There we go. Alright. Can you lean? Oops. I've been playing off the God Galaxy launcher and know why the play button for 2077 goes gray and unusable sometimes. Um... I would guess, Kaylee, that that's probably it sinking cloud saves? Probably. I feel like now's a good time to mention that I am, in fact, a good old games affiliate. It doesn't really mean anything, though. Um, they're not paying me. They did give me this game for free. I should have disclosed that a lot earlier. Uh, so I got this game for free, but... Nice, nice. Given that I have slowly towards duplicitously entered into an illicit engagement, a tawdry affair with a CD Projekt employee, he probably could have assumed as much. Oh, it's sinking. I had to turn it off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> blood, trying to get your message highlighted. I believe you can do it eventually. How can we find what clip you played while you were away? Uh, you can't. It's, uh, it's all mysterious and random. Uh, it is that way by design. If you enjoyed that, though, I will, uh... Ah! Um, because I, I do something weekly called Media Tech, which is my version of G4 Cinema Tech. Um, which is also kind of my version of doing, uh, imp uh randomly generated, f like, found footage montages and stuff. Nova, well done. Um, I'm gonna do one tonight, because I didn't do one last night. So, it's gonna be an all-cyberpunk-themed Media Tech... Cyberpunk clips played randomly. Uh, that'll be at the end of the stream. Who knows how long I'm going to go, though. Uh, sometimes during Media Tech, I will tell you about the clip. Yeah. So, um, I will tell you that it was from a computer animated music video compilation called Beyond the Mind's Eye. Um, there are a couple of Mind's Eye compilations, and yeah, pretty much all of them are rudimentary computer graphics set to, uh, set to, like, 90s new wave music. Um... Well, you put Mindjack clips into Media Tech. That's a really good idea. I should. It's um, I it's a it's a delicate balance. Um, until now, Media Tech has largely, like theoretically, DMCA should be a real problem, right? But it just hasn't been for whatever reason. So one would one would assume that uh, it would be a problem uh, to put now wholesale clips of uh, camera. wholesale clips of a film into MediaTek, but I kind of already do it, so whatever. So your hostile cameras that detect you have orange scanning beams, while friendly ones have green beams. Cameras will detect you if you enter their field of vision, but they do not register noise. Okay. Drinking a nerd Back sour and happy to be recruit. here. Ooh, is that like a whiskey sour but with nerds dumped into it? I'm so excited, you guys. Cyberpunk's happening. It's here. It's real. Like Skittlebrow. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Did you do it? Did you do the thing? Stephanie's giggling and eating, eating a dumpling. 
She was pretty she was pretty invested in her phone for a while, and I understand now it's because she was impulsively ordering Bao delivered. That's okay, Steph, you've earned it. You're allowed to have all the dumplings you want. Just stand on the platform to exit the sim. All right, some advanced combat. Oh, it's okay. I'll, I'll have some later. Then we wrap this That's party right. up. Okay, I don't, I don't really want it yet. Wow, bow. Ooh. Are you worried that if I don't eat it, you will? Mm, maybe you should. Well, we doing this? Maybe you should. Okay. Yeah, Jan Hammer uh, wrote a lot of electronica in the 90s that was the future of music. Oh, okay, thank you. Time to get down and dirty in close quarter combat. Take him down. Yes, I am playing on PC. Looks tough. This is PC with all of the Artex features. Wait a minute. Maybe not. Actually, I think Global Illumination may have been off. One second. Yeah, look at that. Bang. Psycho. All right. Global Illumination is actually the good one. Um, It won't matter as much. Well, may not matter as much inside, but... V, yeah, you're no, not a so. gonk-brained Militech recruit. Get moving. Okay. Okay. Stuff, stuff will be back in a moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just doing a tutorial, and it's the scavenger hideout. Like, Steph has seen this eight million times, so. But I'm doing it now. I'm not gonna lie. I've seen it a lot. <laughs> I actually, man. Okay, so I've thought about this. I've, uh, I think what I need is like a foot pedal that I can then tie to like a keyboard shortcut so I can have like a mic for Steph where I can just like put a foot pedal down, turn it on, and then let it go and turn it off. Almost like push to talk, but for my foot. And then eventually I want to become like a like a Dick Van Dyke, Mary Poppins one-man band. I guess, no, what is it? What is that That dude? Ah, damn, something dragon? He already does that. He is, he's literally like Dick Van Dyke on Twitch. It's incredible. Uh, definitely watch him, but, oh, Sushi Dragon. That's the one, thank you very much, Slightly Soggy. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a fucking poet. <laughs> he's, a, he's an artist. Ugh. I do appreciate that there are like, they're very explicit about the barrier between enemies you can stealth kill and enemies you can't. Uh, enemies at much higher levels than you marked with a skull icon are able to free themselves from your grapple more easily. Defeating them is extremely difficult, so proceed with caution. Okay. I'm gonna beat his That'll ass. Oh, never now mind. maybe we find someone closer to your weight class. Uh, the Ender, I went, uh, I did Corpo, so my character's like Corpo, Stealth, Hacker, Information based, and I'm also playing on Hard, so we'll see, uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's bump things up from easy like to normal. This, this next be, yeah. can block your attacks. One of those... One of those moments, though, where you do actually, I mean, you did kind of make a comment of, oh, there are some things you've noticed that have changed, <laughs> because you have seen the evolution of things. 
things, um, which is not normally a thing that everybody everybody gets the chance to see. Um, because that's what happens in game development. Things change. Um, you kind of like the the end user. You guys get to see what happens uh, as things change when end users give us feedback. Um, when we see something that, um, okay, maybe something's not working. Like, okay, we need to change and adjust. Uh, we need to make something better because we've gotten feedback that like, oh, okay, that's not the intended use that we need to do. Um, we, we need to fix this. And we do. Um, so that's kind of like, Game dev is a constant iteration process. Um, it's never necessarily you put something out and then it's done and then it's finished. Um, that's kind of always software development. Uh, so I feel like this is kind of and and I know that Lawrence, as a software developer in general, in general, because that was what his uh, you know background was in after he graduated college. <laughs> yeah. uh, did that already, kind of got to see it, but now also in a in a world where he was very excited for this title um, and now got now to even see pieces of it, yeah. uh, kind of change, where he was like, oh, you changed these things. We're like, yeah, we, we did change these things based even on feedback. Um, that's just kind of how, how things keep going. Um, so... We're always listening. We're always kind of paying attention. Um, and that's just kind of always how things are going to go. And I guess that that's, that's always kind of the statement that I want to leave it at. It's never, it's never a, we publish it and then we walk away. Yeah. The, uh, I mean, the, I wasn't, I wasn't quite there to track it, but to hear people to, to hear people say it, the release of Witcher Three was nearly identical. That it launched with a variety of pretty impressive bugs, but the patches came pretty pretty regularly, and each one was pretty significant. And before before really a whole lot of time, holy shit, before really any uh, a significant amount of time had passed, uh, it would it was like it was just kind of off to the races. Uh, yeah, there's gonna be, there's a little echo. Um, Ziltoid, holy shit. Thank you for the outrageous uh, donation slash tip. Thank you very much for that. Hopefully you're having a great night. Oh, I have a solid yellow sword, so. Yeah, No Man's Sky buggy at first, great later on. Um, that, that seems to be, that seems to be the, uh, I mean, I, I really can't come up with, come up with any authority again because like, I don't have any insider information, believe it or not. And I also didn't really see it play out exactly with Witcher 3, but yeah, that does seem to be the, uh, that does seem to be the, uh, the approach. I defeated him in honorable combat with my Hanzo Steel. Is that a gold sword or a piss sword? Can't it be both? Also, this is a game that I will I will fight to the ends of the earth for, and I will defend this studio to the ends of the earth for, and this development team to the ends of the earth for. I think that they... This is a labor of love. This is 100% a labor of love, whether people don't want to think about that or, or not. It really was. Um, and I, I, I will do that. And I... It's, it's, gonna, it, it's gonna continue to be a process, and we still have so much more. We have time. <laughs> Good stuff. You're shilling pretty hard stuff. I, I, because I believe in it. I really, really believe in it. If I didn't believe in it, I wouldn't fucking be here. No, yeah. I wouldn't believe here. I, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be saying the things that I am saying. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have, uh, I wouldn't have flown to Poland. <laughs> I wouldn't have fought so hard. I wouldn't have done all the things that I did. I, uh, I, I, I wouldn't wouldn't have done all of the things that I've done. Um, 
I really, I really do love this game. I really do love this team. I love this studio. I think, I think they've done something here that is really, really special. Um, and I, I think that uh, even if, uh, good luck, V. Even if we are in a place that. Um, We are at a, a particular section of time where we have so much more to build upon. Um, I think that the world is going to be amazed by the amount that we can accomplish. Hmm. Um, and the thing is, is that it's funny. I I am also learning about how. Uh, Polish game developers for. are very, very work. humble. Yeah. Um, they don't want to talk about the thing. Like, <laughs> I, I come from, I come from America purely, right? I'm from here. Uh, we talk about, we brag about everything that we do because that's that is what we are. That's that is where we come from. We plant flags on the moon. How do you... How do, sorry, how do you turn on photo mode real quick? Uh, fuck, I know it on controller. Oh. <laughs> you have to, like, push it in... You have to push in thumbsticks. Uh, I, I do not remember how you do it on, on PC. Let's find out. I want to take a... Is oh, it it's N? N? Okay. Yeah, I was I wanna, like... I want to take a picture of this, like, cyber dog. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's like a low-poly cyber dog. Just sitting in a little container. All right, let's see. We we boast and we brag, and the people in Poland are still so very humble about everything that they do, but they have worked so hard for so long, and it's hard that I want to scream from the rooftops the amount of things that they've done. Um, and it's hard for me to remind myself that that's, that's, not, that's not my role, because that makes them uncomfortable. <laughs> Hmm. So it's hard. I have to remind myself. So if I'm not necessarily like being very, uh, very boastful or I take pause in my sentences, it's because I have to remind myself that that's not, that's not how they do things. Hmm. Um, they, they, that, that's just not how they operate. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh. No, because of COVID, you never really had a chance to actually like work alongside and understand that work culture. It's been uh, it's been a weird process, man. I want to yeah, it's really... all been oh. digital. My onboarding process has all been uh, me Damn. me doing this via the internet. I want to get some focus on that dog. There we go. Wait a minute. Hmm. Trying to, how do you change? Is the camera always like, no, not quite. You can like shift it, but the focus is always on V, it seems like. Okay, maybe I can like, mm. I want that cyber dog. I haven't, I haven't messed with it really in like on PC. Oh no. So I can't. What's that in your crotch area? Oh no. Oh, click and hold LMB. Oh, thank you very much. In that regard, I do think, I do think my, my vagina might be poking out of my cyber pants. Maybe a little bit. Maybe just a, just a teeny bit. Come on, cyber dog. Why is that cyber dog there? Okay, I'm slowly getting a little bit closer to what I'm looking for. I think there's like, there's collision on the camera, which is good. But it's preventing me from really, really digging in there. Really getting that, that tight on dog shot that I'm looking for. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Uh, damn, I want to like reposition V. Okay, shucks, I have to. Yeah, it's got those cyber grill marks. There's no prone, is there? She's coming for that dog. 
Okay, this is this is what I was looking for. Aliens kidnap kidnap my wife and kids. Help me celebrate. <laughs> yes. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. <sighs> this is exactly what everybody had hoped for when photo mode. When they came out with photo mode. There it is. 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 Right yeah. there. I just wish there was like a light back here. Like under lighting would be ideal. <laughs> it's getting there, it's getting there. Kinda can't make it out, unfortunately. Yeah, we need some light back there. Okay, wow, you can actually, wow, that's great. Okay, I can, I can, yeah, this will, this will, this will help bring up the back a little bit. Yeah, okay. Even more green. Effect. Oh. Got to put my filters on. Ugh. Oh, it's very cyber. Ugh. Cyber dog, 2077. Okay. Space was take screenshot. It seemed to like. Oh, okay, interesting. It may reset things. Yeah, <laughs> full sprint for that dog. That's the lady who knows the dog sh she wants. Yeah, I think it reset some of those filters. <laughs> okay. Ah. <sighs> Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm already I'm already pretty happy with my cyber experience. Cyber mustard? Cyber bottles? Oh yeah. There was a bit of an echo there. It's um it's it's I've just I've cut the other mic, so you should be good now. I uh, I am I am fascinated by the uh, the challenge of having two hot mics in a room, and having them both sound really good. No, it's it's okay. Um, we're not we're not using the right mics for that sort of thing. And and there's like, the the real answer is what would what would solve the problem instantly is if um I just got a different XLR, an, another XLR mic, um. Because if I run them both through the same mixer, it's actually really good about about preserving individual vocal channels. Um, so that's it. I just have to like, I just have to get a different uh, another microphone. Oh no, the shadow play thing is not like background noise. I don't think is is echo, but maybe that would work. Oh, that reminds me, Steph. Um, remember how I was concerned about screen sharing with Parsec and it causing like echo of talking to somebody. Because it would play back through. Turns out Parsec thought of that, and they have echo echo removal uh, by default. So if you just call somebody on Discord, even with Parsec running, you won't double it up. So Mike and SM7, yeah, SM7B. So if I got another, yeah. Make moves, you got. So uh, if I if I just got another one of these mics and another set of cables, um, Steph and I would would be able to talk no problem. Because if we run them both through, uh, I have a Scarlet mixer. Um, if we run them both through that, I'm pretty sure you don't get that weird double talk. It just automatically screens Targets that out. Sandra Dorset. Target's Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Oh, Jason Jitsu. Squad. Thank you very much. Farming. Ooh, Alakazam. Thank you for the sub. 
calm the hell down, both of you. Almost there. Crap phone. Yeah. Thank you for the resub. Oh, Diploness, you're gonna you're gonna punk it up. Time for some cyber time. Ooh. There's already gettables. Cards. Cyber Gwent. Unfortunately, I don't think it's in the game. So when it says something's worth three eddies, if I put it in a uh, drop station, is it actually worth that amount of eddies? Oh, do you want to? Target should be inside. You want me to turn the audio on? Well, you you heard this. Fingers crossed, it's not too late. Oh, I hate this life or death shit. Hurry. Honest. Do it. Is that you? Tell Steph that the team did a particularly excellent job with relationships. I did. Favorite vending machines are the burrito double XL. Yeah. I like how it shows it. Uh, a giant burrito hovering over Night City like a, Try like a. A float, like own? some kind of like giant aircraft carrier. You tell her what? You didn't tell that person to go inside. Oh, I didn't. No. It's too late. Hundred percent run. It's too late. I'm gonna get through this room without alerting anyone. I'll be the first person in cyberpunk history to play through this room without alerting the guards. Okay. I don't care how many saves it's gonna take, cause it's gonna take a few. I'm picking up random bottles of booze. Whoop! Tripping over trash trash cans. Nope, I did it yesterday. Uh, John, I don't think you did, though. I don't think you did. I think it'll be me, actually. I think it'll actually be me. Stretch, you saying you do it? Mmm, that's, that's a lie. That's lying. That's you lying. I don't know why you would lie on the internet like that, but... Kind of shitty of you to do that, to lie. Hammy Dan, thank you very much for gifting a sub. You're probably doing that because I'm going to be the first person to do this without alerting the guards. I do really... I'm fucking late. I do really, really like our composers. Our yeah. Our, our composers... The score for this game is, is something special. Our composers have... Uh, so, our composers actually have special synths that they got in Eastern Europe from, like, random dudes that... Uh, so our, I guess I should explain, our music director, Marchin, uh, he got a 80s synth from a random Russian dude who get, who had these synths that I guess like, this one's packing black market Zeta tech repros, had them like, Either saved or uh, like like Cold War era, mm -hmm. uh, had them in like a warehouse and was a like bought them like secondhand market, uh, so that he was able to actually use them, and that's that's what some of the music from the game is actually made with some of those synths. Yeah, it's it's fucking weird. Like Cold he, War he, synth, yeah. yeah he, synth he, knobs he, dipped in LSD. Just to that hat. He found, uh, yeah, like some of the some of the shit that they found was like pretty fucking crazy. Um, that they that they used for this, um, and then so there's only the all the music in this game was pretty much made from, um. Well, all the music in this game was made from three individuals. That's it. Um, Top me up. A music director, a secondary composer, and a third composer who is not directly, uh, who does not directly work at CD Projekt Red. What a mystery third composer. Uh, he actually works at a, or well, he's a a vendor, but he did the music for, uh, like he he did, works film score composing. So he did the music for Dread. Oh hell yeah. Um, and for some other films, but uh, 
Yeah, he and like a lot of the music that they did, they would send him different areas that he was supposed to do music for. So they, they, they basically communicated digitally, like, hey, you're gonna do the music for these areas, and then he would compose the sections of music uh, based on communications that they would do virtually. Yes, it's correct. See, T. He knows. Paul, Paul Leonard Morgan. Yes, that is correct. Paul Leonard Morgan. Yeah, the uh, the music in this game is is really something special. Um, for reasons... Oh, Christ. Uh, for reasons other than, like, it being good, which it is, and, and also it kind of being tapped into a lot of the uh, cultural mainstays of cyberpunk and all the times that it sort of popped up in, in consciousness or whatever... The soundtrack and the score really does kind of borrow a lot of beats from those moments, so... I think appropriately, you hear a lot of synth, like a lot of uh, kind of mid-80s, late-80s synth. But you also get a ton of like late-90s big beat, late-90s break beat. A lot of like crystal method and prodigy sort of sound. Which of course, you know, I, I love. That's, I'm all about that shit. But, uh... Even the, like, the main title track... Um, a lot of people, I think, when they... Th these days when they think of cyberpunk they kind of tend to think of like the hotline miami soundtrack which is really good um but it's not quite like that late 90s sound mm -hmm. but um the main title track of cyberpunk has that breakbeat uh 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 uh, 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 uh. which like, is which is pt which oh. is which is piat which is uh which is fucking amazing. I've told him that that fucking track haunts me. Like I so good. I love. I fucking love that track. So it's so good. But that's so different it, from like the Hotline sound, which is like dun 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 yeah. dun dun dun. Like it's really grungy and low, but predictable and like solid, like normal beats. Um, yeah, it's it, uh, it's different. There's a different flavor there, and uh, it's really really cool that the people who went into this. Yeah, there, there's some reverb on the mic, Striker. Pretend like it's it's just the cyberpunk flavoring. And the, uh, also, if people don't know, that uh, some of the extra, extra, extra crunchy drums uh, that have been added to the score on this game were done by Elon Rubin, who is, who is the drummer for Nine Inch Nails. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, who is also a very fun individual to chat with, uh, is very nice. Also told me my hair was really cool and liked my glasses frames. Step name dropping now. She got to talk to so many <laughs> famous people. She got complimented. That was, I was very, very tired during that interview. And that was my, that was my bonus moment of the day was when he was like, I really like your hair. Your glasses frames are really cool. And I was like, Man. that's probably my bonus <laughs> <laughs> bonus moment of the day is is Elon Rubin thought that my glasses and my my hair were really cool. <laughs> um, and then everybody, we all had a very great moment of talking about punk rock, which was which was pretty pretty fucking rad, especially as a as a as a goofy fucking old old punk rock dork as I am. That I was just like fuck yeah. There's... Let's let's do this. This is this is exactly exactly what I like. I mean, that was one of the reasons why I enjoyed working on Guitar Hero because I love music. Um, why I enjoyed doing all of the composer interviews because I love music um, and have enjoyed doing all of the composer interviews because I I love being able to hear all the fucking random stories about them making the tracks for this game um which have been really just incredible so i do really 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 recommend everybody you know kind of looking into hearing more about what they did for creating the music for this game since it is all original music that they did particularly scripting for this Yeah, I'm, uh... Huh? Oh, no! Um, I can't wait to be the first person to play through this... Play through that room without getting seen. 
The very first. Can't wait. 100% run. Yeah, there's... Um, this, this, is, this is something that I picked up, kind of absorbed through when you played it. Um, just how uh, really big, like, really intertwined with music culture this game is. Uh, punk culture and, like, rocker culture, specifically. It makes a lot of sense when you consider the framing device of uh, Johnny Silverhand. And the idea that the entire game is sort of a... The way it's kind of like Toy Story for old rockers. It's it's like, does anything about that old ethos even apply anymore? And certainly there have been, I think, a, a number of examinations of the punk lifestyle, uh, and and especially examining the sort of what's the word the like uh, sustainability of the punk ethos and 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 how long can a punk truly be punk uh, and still live any kind of life of meaning. Uh, the, these are like interesting questions that I think this game actually does explore in really interesting and cool ways. And uh, I was, I'm excited to, to kind of explore it more fully myself and, and put some of those, uh, some of those ideas to the test. <laughs> Plur for life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Yondo, it's funny you bring up, you got to put the punk in cyberpunk. This game actually is, is very punk. It's super punk. Um, Maybe maybe not so much in the sense that it is a, a very expensive entertainment product put out by a huge team of people that all work together to collaborate and make a big thing. But uh, I think it does understand that um, that mentality. Or at least uh, it, it looks at the punk mentality through a lens of somebody that has, uh, I think, explored it themselves. I think there's a lot of knowledge of that. Ooh. Ooh, and a tank top. Am I already getting gear? Yeah, none of these are probably better than what I've got. But it's gold! Making me miss industrial raves. I always wanted to... I always wanted to go to one of those. Maybe maybe someday I will. It'll probably be virtual at this point, though. Cyberpunk means different things to different people, and some of them get really up their own butts about what it is. Yeah, GD, I'm, I, I won't put a flag in the ground that hard about it. Um, to me, the things that I resonate most strongly with in terms of what it's called cyberpunk, um, do ask those big questions. Um, and I think there's, I think, I think science fiction is, it actually pairs really well with, with some of the, uh, concepts of traditional punk culture in, in dehumanizing people, uh, I think that pairs really well with with sort of the freewheeling and pointless nihilism of, of punk, uh, and and it allows you to sort of examine some of those thoughts, especially in a longer time frame than just I'm gonna burn some stuff down because I'm pissed off and I think it's cool. Yeah, high tech, low life. That that is essentially the 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 governing. That's the governing idea behind the like the aesthetic of cyberpunk for sure. You know that like the first Christmas Lawrence and I were together, I got him a magnet yeah. that is on his com yeah that he has on his computer. Okay. Well, you asked me for like what was a phrase. Yeah, what is that the what is the me? phrase that matters to, to you the most? And it's high tech, low life. Yeah. At the time, it was high-tech, low-class. Mm -hmm. I think it kind of means the same thing. Low-life is a little more punchy and yeah. pure. But yeah, you got it in an earthbound window, which yep. also is means a lot to me. Okay, that's... yeah! It is interesting. They do actually tell you, use the path that T-Bug marks. If you go this way, then you don't get seen. Before, I'd, I'd always just tried to use like hacks and stuff to distract people. Oh, he gets the other guy. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Wait, what does evasion do? But yeah, it was a wonderful gift. And I've, I've had it on my PC ever since. Speaking of you guys, I did some fucking cyberpunk shit today. I should have streamed it, but at the same time, I thought it would have been weird to, like, 
go live with something other than than the game. But I uh, I soldered a new replacement USB port onto my or into a board for my uh, my PC case. So shortly after I got this case, I remember I was like, I think I accidentally hit, like just dropped my arm on a device that was plugged in and it like broke the piece, the USB port off inside of it. And I was like, well, that's broken forever. Um, so I just made do with the one. But as I've gotten older and wiser, I was like, well, shit, man, I can replace that. So I just bought some replacement USB housings off of like some weird electronic supply website where they're like, if you buy 5,000, we'll give you a bonus. And I was like, no, I'll take two, thanks. <laughs> so they sent me this like tube of USB ports and yeah, it was time to solder. Uh, I actually did manage to get one off the board and the next one back on without destroying anything. Very crazy. You know, I, again, I feel like I'm reminded. So you're, many, many years ago... I didn't have a heat gun either. I just I had was, a solder I gun. dated someone who told me that they could... Uh, they could take my, my PS1 oh. and modify it so that I could play burnt discs and then they fried my PS1. And I told them, motherfucker, you're going to give me your PS1 because you're not going to leave me with a fried PS1. And then I never truly trusted any man I dated ever again <laughs> when it came to electronics. I no longer feel that way with Lawrence. Uh. <laughs> Lawrence... The, the very first, I think within the first few months of Lawrence and I dating, he fucking soldered a lamp and he fixed it. And I've never been more sexually attracted to a man than when he soldered a lamp. And he was like, I'll fix that for you. And I was like, what are you talking about? I'll solder that lamp. What do you mean solder a lamp? What the, what the fuck are you talking about? A lamp? You're just going to return it to a store. Like, that's what you do. He's like, no, I'll fix the lamp. Fix the lamp. Like, I looked at him like he may have had a giraffe growing out of his face. And he fixed the lamp. And I looked at him and I was like, you didn't fix this, did you? And then when he did, like, I just still kept looking him at him incredulously. And he plugged it in and he turned it on and it worked. And I'm like, like, I still looked at him and I'm like, you fixed a lamp. And every once in a while I would tell Lawrence that this is... Or there are certain things that he has done in our relationship that I realized that I I will love him forever. That was one of them, was that he fixed that fucking... I was like, you fixed the lamp and you have earned a level of trust in me that I never thought that I would allow. Um, by not breaking things? By not breaking things. By like allowing me to trust technology. Um, and I 100% trust Lawrence to do that. Even when my brain tries to tell me that person's going to fuck this up. Like that's, it's just, it's just going to break. It's just going to break. And then you're going to get upset about it. And you're going to have to replace, like anxiety brain within me wants to do all of those things. But you know, like I think about, no, Lawrence, Lawrence fixed that lamp. Lawrence can fucking solder like a goddamn motherboard to add shit into it if i gave him a task to do something he would do it um and i'm like huh it's it's a comforting feeling to know that that is possible and that that can happen um he would definitely be in my cyber bunker to make sure that you know i would trust him to do those things i've wondered about that i feel like Everyone needs to know they're like apocalypse skill or whatever. I think I could probably be the guy that would go around town like harvesting solar panels and would find a way to wire them all up to like charge cell phones and stuff. I'm pretty sure I could figure out how to do that. Yeah. Oh, there's a little emoji. Of course there's an emoji. All right, go, go save Sandra. Jungle. You, I can't believe Wait, the, you, you, uh, you know what? Is gang recruitment message? No one played stealth. No fucking person that I ever ever watched play this game. Played, exactly. Played yes. that that's what I'm saying. I'm the yeah, first. No one. No one played it. So I'm Everybody, the first person to although, ever make also it through that myself, sequence. I don't have fucking patience. I was like, fuck this. I like hacking everything, but I also will just be like, bim, 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 bim. I am the first human to ever <laughs> pass that room without being detected once. Never got detected a single time. World's first. 
Got another. There was some. There was some. There was some interesting lore there. Oh, uh, this one's about yeah, the silver hand bombing of Arasaka Tower. In early August 2023, a single event would change the course of history. Although it fell against the bloody backdrop of the Fourth Corporate War, the global media still fed on the story for weeks. And could you blame them? A group of terrorists detonated a nuclear bomb, blowing Arasaka Tower to pieces. The terrorists' warning came too late. Not all of the tower's employees could be evacuated. The blast itself killed and wounded thousands, while countless others died from radiation sickness. How did the biggest terrorist attack in the 21st century happen? Who was behind this catastrophe? To find the answers, we'll first need to understand the context of that era. The early 2020s was a period of unrest for Night City, and anti-corporate sentiment was at an all-time high. And the epicenter of the city's lawlessness stood the Atlantis, the Atlantis Club. It was seen as an island of resistance against po the powers that be, primarily mega corporations like Militech or Biotechnica. Though a special place in hell was reserved for Arasaka, the Japanese arms manufacturing Zaibatsu that held the most influence over Night City. The kinds of people who frequented the Atlantis felt that corporations had hijacked the future and turned people into consumer slaves, and ironically deprived them of the two things capitalism loved most, freedom and choice. These people called themselves edge runners. They positioned themselves against the corporate world order. They declared their own freedom in opposition to the status quo, but deprived of any peaceful way to meaningfully change what they called the system, they reached for more radical methods of self-expression. And the people and these people were no strangers to violence. <laughs> so you're kind of you're like that this is some of the groundwork of the examination of the punk mindset of like, man, fuck the system, everybody's a corporate drone. We're just living commodified lifestyles where all we get is like shitty beer and, and white bread and we're we're meant we to be happy got with that. Nothing better to do. <laughs> so uh, you know, if if the system is not giving us a life of value, we'll smash the system. Uh, and that, that philosophy was put to the test when Johnny Silverhand led a terroristic suicide mission to blow up the Arasaka headquarters in Night City uh, 50 years ago. Uh, and here we are in 2077. The corporations still control everything. Everyone's still living a commodified lifestyle. So I think one of the interesting questions that Cyberpunk 2077 asks is, what's the value what's the point in this grand demonstration of revolt when the system's going to bend itself back to that state anyway um and 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 that's the the punk's dilemma is how do you how do you justify caring about nothing uh which is ostensibly what you're trying to do um <laughs> yeah <laughs> i see him <laughs> it's it's uh it's 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 fun because it, it gives you plenty to think about, but if you think about it too hard, it all falls apart, kind of deal. Yeah, you got a city to burn. That's the punk lifestyle. Also, imagine, imagine being that guy who gave your life for something and what you'd hoped would be an act to inspire rebellion, or at least a. Uh, inspire self-analysis and to wake up what 50 years later and see that people are just even more droned out than they were when you left Christ. Uh, Jason they thank you for the sub I got a stomach of steel but this oh, this Yeah, imagine being Keanu. I got her. Imagine. Our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. Man. V, jack into our vital mod. Need to know I remember when Lawrence and I saw this sequence at E3 He's together good. in the Cramming demo. Yeah. Like God, who would have known that With you'd be working there? With the both of us. <laughs> the, we went, Lawrence was the only reason I got to see both of the cyberpunk demos. Well, it was it was mostly um, I mean MPG just being being real chill, being real cool. He was the one that, that got me into the demos. Well, actually, wait, I take it back. Tom Tom actually from Evolve got me into the first one, I think. Um, but by that point, I was I was uh, I think I think all of the tasteful headshots I had mailed to Poland. I can only imagine some of them found their their way to CD Projekt because by then they let me into the other one. 
I, I'll still always remember when when that first Sandra Dorset, NC like concept trailer hit the one of the the lady with the manis blades, who I guess went cyber psycho or something. Um, I always remember where I was when I saw that the first time. Just getting like chills at my desk. Awesome one, thank you for the prime. Didn't realize there were nips on screen. I mean, there are, but mine are bigger, so. Men compare dick size, women compare areola diameter. It's true. It's true. Who's got Saturn on their chest? <laughs> the rings. This bitch. Yeah. The rings of my. Get in my orbit. <laughs> Is that even safe? Uh, crap, folks. Thanks for gifting a sub. Ooh, Brad Stacks. Thank you for the sub. E Compton. Thank you very much for the. Thank you very much for the sub. Rocky Waz. Thank you for the sub. Tofu Boy. Thank you. Image Blur. Thank you very much. Uh, I was a little disappointed, but I hope you get what you want from it. I can understand that. Yeah. El Derpo. Thank you very much for the sub. The Trying to catch up on all the people giving me money. Mystery Bianchi, thank you very much for the resub. Hammy Dan, thanks for the gift. If you are conscious, assume recovery position chest dimes? Oh, come on, no. Chest, chest dollars. Chest plates. I want some dinner plates downstairs. Chest Sacagaweas. That's it. Big ones. <laughs> Cyberpunk is cool, but it's not Yakuza. Man, but imagine like a science fiction Yakuza. They've already done one in the 80s. Surely they're going to do one in like 2050. Jack, look sharp. Not done yet. Don't know who's out there. Locked and ready, V. Do your thing. Jack, look Dang sharp. It. Not done yet. Jack, look sharp. <laughs> Stop Locked telling him to ready. look sharp, Lawrence. I gotta figure out how to. Okay, wait. So, was it... is it really just mouse? Or can you do one, two, three, four? Oh, you can't. Who played like a dragon at all? Yes, I started it, and I love it. I dearly love it. I'm definitely gonna play a lot more of it, but what if I don't air hypo? Oh, they're not gonna make you be a fucking asshole. I think. Oh shit! It worked. But maybe something else will happen because of it. What, because I didn't ask for a hypo? Can I not get the good ending anymore? Jackie's evil twin is going to show up. Oh, it looks so good out here! Has anyone read that Trauma Team comic? Oh, you can switch between E and Q. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, there's... there's Realistic cyber tit jiggle. Uh, what kind of FPS are you getting? Um, I don't know. Uh, it's over 60. Um, maybe around 60 most of the time. Yeah, actually, I take that back. Maybe more in like the 45 to 60 area. Um, but I'm doing with like... I'm doing it with all the ray tracing turned to, to max. DLSS is on because there's no way. Like here, let's 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 try without DLSS for for a hot minute. This wow. is gonna be what? Just in the middle of Sandra's rescue. Poor, poor Miss Dorset. God, that looks great though. Holy moly! Oh shit! There's like, oh, there's um, I don't know. I think there's a lot to be, a lot to be said for the fact that Cyberpunk is a PC forward game those don't really exist anymore and it is the kind of game that was made for a spec that actually can't be hit yet um, unless you're using crutches like DLSS um, man I love I love that haze that like that soft grading of light that uh, that RTX provides just looks so good Blah. Blah. It's like, I know it's not, wait, can you just, hold on a minute. I know it's not everything, like it didn't, it didn't, it didn't do everything, whoa, you can't just fall off, all right. Yeah, that's a little terrifying, I fucking, no. <laughs> no, 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 thank you. The fact that it, I don't know, the fact that it can like, 
there's so many ways this game can justify just 60 bucks. And I feel like, for me, just being able to stand on this balcony and look at this scene by itself, not even that it's part of a larger env environment that you can actually, like, explore, but just this by itself. Like, this is at least a solid 15 bucks by itself. The sound effects, the graphics, like, just standing here, man. I'm just, oh, stand at the door frame? Just to, just to trip up uh, HDR or whatever? Yeah, we got two mics now. There's a, uh, Steph's on a mic over there. Just pretend like I'm speaking to you through your cyber implant in your ear. Well, yeah, right? Don't make me ASMR don't again. Used to it. <laughs> Loud breathing. The game looks a tad different on previous gens. I get it. And the... the Steph, Steph is going to, I think, understandably be very quiet for this. Yeah. I, uh, I kind of get it. If, if the game was said to be on a platform... And the assumption is that it hits certain performance targets and all that. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Man, that, that shit is seven years old. It's seven years old. I'm... There's, there's a point where it's like... Th there's like... It would not look like this. It could not look like this. If it, uh, if it hit targets on a PS4. And would you rather it like run great on a PS4 now and look like ass for the next four years? Or would you rather it kind of grow into how it looks um, for it to look really good now and for it to look even better later? I, I think everyone, everyone would rather uh, a game come out with like some kind of vision of the future, some aspiration rather than landing exactly where it needs to for the past, then don't sell it on that system. I mean, come on. <laughs> like, uh, I know that, so, I don't think I have a base PS4. Whoops. I think I dodged. Um, it would be a fun experiment to try and to try and play it on a base PS4 or a base Xbox One. To some degree, though, I, I have to, I like, I have to wonder, it, it, it runs on that. <laughs> and it's, uh, yeah. I, I can't. I guess I really can't comment on the bugginess of it, or the like. That's something else. If a game just straight up doesn't work or crashes, if you can't play it, um, progress blocker. That's something else. But like, 20 FPS on a seven-year-old system. That kind of sounds about right, man. I maybe I'm. Maybe I'm dumb and spoiled because I like grew up playing games on N64 and PlayStation One, where that was about as good as it got. Um, and those were sixty-dollar games. Uh, so I get it. That's kind of like old man, you know, walking uphill both ways kind of shit. Thank you. Uh, that doesn't really hold water when somebody's uh, disappointed. But how much? Whoop! How much value can you really expect to extract out of a console you've had for seven years? I feel like to some degree, when newer games start really straining, that's because... I don't know, there's, a, there's, a, there's always a value trade-off. If you don't upgrade your PC for seven years, newer games are going to run like ass. So, consoles don't run games forever. Yeah, it crashes, also bad. I agree. Um... Oh, G Xbox One is playable, but it almost looks like a 360 game. Mm, mm, 360 games look a lot different, uh, but you know, people's memories are what they are. I don't know. I, I get it. Like, you pay 60 bucks, the game should work. <laughs> it should not crash. Um, but shit's seven years old. Seven years old. Seven. More than, like, a little bit more than seven years old. I think at some point there's... Like, what do you expect, man? I don't know. I... 
I wonder if your life coach ever answers you again. I'm gonna have to check at various uh, various points in the story. I think. Grilled cheese, daddy. Thank you for the sub. <laughs> Or she's alive and well. It's what we agreed, isn't it? So yeah, I mean, to, I guess to to put a pin in it, like I'm not, I'm not really here to to explain that. I can't. Uh, I really got PS4 Pro and it runs great. That's kind of what I. I don't want anyone to have a bad experience. But seven years. I've I've never, I've never been on a single gaming platform for seven years. You know what? Okay, here I'm gonna I'm gonna actually apply some similar logic here. You know how like uh, the gamers, the core gamers, typically get a little freaked out if a reviewer doesn't seem to have like a bank of knowledge or a skill. Okay, so here's how the logic works, right? You're a gamer, right? That means you played a lot of games, and that means over the course of playing a lot of those games and gaining that like base knowledge about gaming in general that you need to review games, one would think that you've cultivated a level of skill with those games. So when you, you know, you see people like the, the Polygon crew playing Doom or, or something like that, and you're like, something's off here. Like, you should be better at shooters uh, by that point. Let me apply the same logic to this discussion. If you're a gamer, it feels weird that you haven't, until now, bought any of the refreshes of any of that hardware. So couldn't you then apply the same logic and say, like, if you're still rocking a base PS4, I get money's a problem. Um... Why are you shilling for this company? Well, because my girlfriend works for them. But I'm just saying, like... I'm just saying... Uh, one one could gleefully apply that same logic to the people making those arguments. Like, well, it, come on now. If you're a gamer, why didn't you buy an upgraded console? That's what the gamers do. We get the newest and greatest shit, right? Because we want our games to look good. So, is it, aren't you being the non-gamer by trying to run this on an old-ass console? Difference is being paid to review games versus maybe you don't have money to spend on newer hardware. That's a good point. Yeah, okay, fair. It's, yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, if you're reviewing a game, you're getting paid to provide critical analysis on something, whereas if you're just a fucking gamer and you can't afford a console, like, that doesn't make you any less. Yeah, that's fair. It's, it's getting paid for, for your output versus paying money for an experience. Uh, so the expectations are different. You're right about that. Um, CDPR literally said themselves the game ran surprisingly well on the base PS4. Please explain. Please explain. Genesis, what do you think I'm going to say, man? I'm, I'm just some guy talking about it. Uh, sir, I don't think I can, I can, I can fulfill your request. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, when GTA V came out, I remember playing it on a 360 and it ran like shit. I... Like, it ran like I was like, Ugh, I'm going to wait for this to come out on PS, PC or the next-gen consoles. And lo and behold, that's kind of where we're at. Um, this game launched in a weird half-step between generations. There's going to be a patch um, at some point for newer consoles. That doesn't save anyone who's stuck on last-gen or last last-gen. Like, not even pro, but base PS4. But I just, I don't recall people... I don't recall people being this twisted up. Well, it was, I guess, yeah, it wasn't quite as quite as rough. You just made an excuse for why the game shouldn't run well on base PS4, but that seems like a fair request. Uh, I mean, the excuse is simply that it's old as hell. That's it. Um, that's it. And I will admit, I'm coming from the perspective of being on PC, so... I get to I get to be like no I I want it to look good for me so <laughs> I I'm in I'm in the position of them having made the decision that benefited me, which is fo focusing on the higher spec and not the lower one, so like I get to I get to sit here and be smug honestly. Uh, if uh, I don't know man, um, if if you're if you're that super hard up like. Slide into DMs, man. Maybe we can figure something out. Maybe we can get you like an old PS4 Pro or something. Whatever. I want people to play games. I want them to enjoy them. If, if, if you're on PS4 and you're having a rough time, just hit me up. We'll figure it out. 
Did you disable copyrighted music? Nope. I certainly didn't. Because I'm, I'm pretty punk too. Also, consider this. Consider this. Um, they're providing all the upgrades for, or CDPR said they'll provide upgrades for free. So if you buy it and it runs like ass on your PS4, you're not done. You're not done. Someday in the near future, you might buy a PS5 and the game's still going to be there and it's going to have upgrades for you. So it's going to track with you. You're not locked into what you're at right now. Um, so that's something else that's entirely new. Uh, you had to buy, you had to buy GTA 5 again. I bought that game three times. Um, this one follows you. So if money's tight and you have the game and it's running bad on what you're running on right now, you're not stuck. Well, maybe this Christmas, your grandpa will send you some money. You can stack up some bills and, and get like a, get a PS4 Pro off eBay because there's probably gonna be a lot of old PS, PlayStation circ circulating and now PS5's out. Well, not that anyone can buy that either, but. Uh, Mr. Ed, Jesus Christ, that's a very generous tip. That's uh, not much, but I hope you and Steph are enjoying what there is of 2077. Played the tabletop in college, and from what I've played so far of this cyberpunk, I'm happy with how much of the lore is represented. Hope Steph is proud of the product, because I certainly am. Um, I've been trying to convince her to be proud. Uh, she's starting to get there. I think. You proud, Steph? I'm feeling pretty proud. Good. She's feeling pretty proud. So, uh... Runs like shit on PS4 Pro. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. PS5 big, PS4 old. Yeah, it's it's just, it's tough. I, I guess the daring thing to do, the uh, the absolutely silly and stupid business decision, would have been to just absolutely not support past gen at all. Um, that would have been a hell of hell of an idea, um, because they would have had to make that before they even knew when new gen would land and what specs it would have had. So if you think about it that way, like they really didn't have much of a choice, and it was a really hard position to be in. Uh, Dirty Laszlo, thank you for the ten gift subs. Gosh, that's an absurd amount of generosity. Thank you very much, Promoso. Thank you for the prime. There might be cyber ska. Oh, there could be cyber ska. So I, I don't know. it's uh, it's fully justified to be be annoyed about it. Fully, uh, Mecha Arc. Thank you very much for the uh, the gift subs. Think? I don't think you can die in this sequence. I'm at four health. Yeah, out of the way. Boy, I'm not doing very well. All right. Well, I mean, that was pretty cool. Oh, hat wearer, yeah. Stephanie worked on the game. She is over there. I don't know. If, oh, just my arm is visible. Let's just focus on getting home. Kara Wizard, thank you very much for the sub. And Joshy, Joshy Fairy, thank you. Do you agree with some people saying it should be delayed in here? So I think I made a build that would have worked well with the older gens. Damn. Out all the stops. Well. Excuse me, officer man. Sorta. Kind of hard to argue with the results. Oh, you can die in that sequence. Interesting. Officer, ma'am. Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you? are villain. Thank you for the resub. Cyber fisherman. 2077 bits. Uh, heart of gold. Thank you very much. That because injury might need attention with soon. A heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Game was too apt to delay further. It, it was more like this was an important holiday to hit. Um, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. You want to be that piece of software that everyone wants to run on their new hardware. That's a shame. I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it rock. Let them through, but they don't laugh. I did it. Okay, 
On your way. I think you play the X-Bone S, you might feel differently. But if I play the PC version, I'd probably feel differently too, so. Yeah, it's... Oh, Crap Foam, thank you very much for the 10 subs. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. And Anonymous, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the gift. Consider that Cyberpunk is one of the very few games where the console version wasn't actually the lead version. I think that's kind of clear. That makes me pleased as punch. Because uh, I am all about the PC platform, and I am all about developers that try to in incorporate as much cutting-edge tech into their game as possible. That is what the PC experience used to be all about. Um, most developers make sure that the console version is their lead version, because it's typically the one that sells the most. So CD Projekt is, is kind of one of those old dyed-in-the-wool European PC developers. They still, they still target PC. Um, it's uh, unreasonable to expect that anyone would have known that, you know? If you just think Cyberpunk looks cool and you have a PlayStation 4, there's no reason to, for you to know that. But it is a different kind of game from a different culture of, of game making. Uh, uh oh. Oh wait, no, this one got cleared. No DMCA right now. Another thing. This game looks so good. Didn't think I'd work on a music video. This what about you? I'm likely to make it back to Haywood now. A Run the Jewels video? Sure about that? Oh yeah. Whoa. Ooh. Peeling out a little bit there. How much Japanese can you read? None. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, like, I, I know it. Like, I just look at it and I know what it's saying because we're just on that wavelength like that. But, hi, Roller. Thank you for the sub. Oh. Sir Butch Ski, thank you very much. I'm just, I'm just a man trying to play some video games, but it's very kind of you. They did make a build for old gen, but y'all have unrealistic, unrealistic expectations for old hardware and what run runs well means. You would have all hated Oblivion or Crisis. You know what, Meek, Meek's shown us like, you're right. You're right, but you'll never win an argument being like, things used to be worse. No one will ever, ever, ever be like, you know what? You're right. I guess I will be happy with what I'm upset about. It just doesn't work that way. So uh, you're right, but well, uh, I mean, let me tell you, man. It's it's just in general. It can be it can be difficult hearing people complain about the state of games if you existed in any period of games before now, because it's gotten yeah, it's a boomer argument. <laughs> it might be true, but no one wants to hear it. Also, it just doesn't matter in in context and, and in reality. Um, it's, you know, if you went home with Perfect Dark for the N64, plugged it in, booted it up, had your stupid fucking RAM expansion pack installed that cost extra money, and um, and you start it up, and that game runs at 15 frames per fucking second, and you're like, well, I guess my eyes will just bleed, uh, and I'll get used to this. Um, that's, uh, you know, that that's an experience, and I think you go through that when you don't have the internet to like bolster you and, and tell you that you were justified in being very pissed off, uh, you just kind of approach these things a little bit differently. Maybe that's, that's a, a little, a little gamer generation gap happening. Yeah. Gamers are always oppressed. I'm just so, so tired of being so oppressed. Anyway, Throwing a perfect dark because cyberpunk, but also, holy shit, they're making another one. Wild. What build are you going for? Something that's like, uh, I want like a stealth hacker, like crawling through vents, reading emails, getting secret passwords to hack uh, like mainframes and get get secret data that lets me finish a quest without going through an entire dungeon kind of kind of character. I don't know if this is that kind of game. Hey, yeah. That dude is, that dude is annihilating some <laughs> that dude's annihilating some sweet potatoes. <laughs> oh, he tucked it away. Because <laughs> you don't have to eat them all at once. No, you don't. He's got a call. 
<laughs> let, me, let me pile these freshly fried sweet potatoes. I mean, they're probably not. <laughs> they're like synth potatoes. They're synth. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're not real. Anonymous things. Potatoes haven't existed since like 2052. Thank you for gifting a sub to, um, uh, was it Tom Hanks Taint? You know he's got one. Is he gonna fish those potatoes back out? Oh! No, he's got a, he's got a tablet now. And now What's up with you? Gotta check some, uh, gotta check some stats. Oh, stupid so yeah, ah. Uh, I do feel like it's a, a bit of a complicated topic, but I guess I guess welcome to PC in regards to uh, to performance. You buy a game, it runs like shit. Well, all you all all you must do is invest another four hundred dollars <laughs> into the platform you're running it on, and maybe your performance will improve. It was a uh, man. It was a uh, it was it was it was rough waters when cyber or when crisis like when crisis launched on PC back in the day. And there wasn't really any hardware spec that would run it well. People would just like, I can't tell you how insane that made a lot of PC enthusiasts. It was like, no, I must be able to upgrade something. Something that is, this is making me remember how bad Rage 1 was when it came out on 360. There were problems in populated areas where the game was good at one part, then suddenly it looked like a PS2 game at other parts. Well, it wasn't great. I still enjoyed playing it. Yeah, it's, it's tough. I, I'm truly not... I mean, I played Rage on 360, uh, and yeah, it was a, it was a weird experience. And I remember specifically, like, I felt betrayed because that was id Software, who was always a PC first company, becoming a console first company. Uh, Blizzard Blizzard has done similar things, and it was like, hi. So to some to some degree, that's that's something else that's sort of informing my laissez faire attitude right now. Is like, we've had 20 years of the world's top talent. Per, like developing games around hardware that's four or five years old and it's annoying <laughs> it's annoying um and i wish that that weren't the case and, and cyberpunk is one of the games where that isn't the case uh ooh. oh yeah this is all the like is that where all the like pre-order goods are how am i enjoying the game so far it's hard to say i mean i'm just in the prologue so I haven't done anything of, of value or interest yet. I will put on this baseball cap though. Oh, she puts her hair down. Okay. Okay. Oh, I like that. Okay, good. It's the same amount of armor. So, huh. Armor being uncommon doesn't seem to actually do anything. It doesn't look like it has any slots or any, any like attributes. Oh, I saw. I saw a titty. Oh. <laughs> Peggy. I, I am so excited for... It. People have been complaining that, like, if you just chase stats, you look like an asshole. And I'm so excited to, uh, to dig through all the, the fashions. And to just look like a, a gonkety jerk. Didn't get Witcher outfits? I should have. They're, they've got to be somewhere. Because, uh, yeah, I, I got the pre-order bonuses on, on good old games. Again, well, I did get them, but, you know, for free. So. New release brain dances. Ooh. What's up, BD Maniacs? Hungry for a new emo rush? Then check out the latest word from the freshest BDs on the market. Foreign body. The body is everything. There is nothing else. It is you. But it is also just a tool for your mind to interact with the world. But what would happen if this tool tried to live its own life? What if it tried to kill you? Though not a particularly original addition to the thriller genre, this brain dance but this brain dance featuring Luke Pollard is still a solid experiential ride. The fear of disobedient implants has been around since pirates were walking around on peg legs. Well, maybe not that long. As a result, the trope has been pervasive in film, brain dance, and urban legend alike. Still, Foreign Body borrows on some of the genre's best elements while incorporating just enough new stuff to, to the mix to keep it interesting. After all, it's not every day you see the world from the perspectives of a sentient arm. 
I can't believe I missed you starting Cyberpunk. You're going to have a VOD on YouTube somewhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll probably add this in a day or two. Uh, I've only been going for... Oh, oh shit. Three hours. Never mind. It's been a while. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll upload that uh, pretty soon. Oh, it's in the weapon stash. Okay. Too bad the BDs you buy, you can't actually play. Well, there are, there are BDs in the game. You just can't do them all. You can try GeForce now until your PC upgrades. Ah, no, it's it's running pretty well on my, my PC local. I was lucky enough to get a 3080 and like the week before this game launched. It arrived right on time. Anonymous, thank you for gifting to Zach Trap. Appreciate that. Maxwell's Rehab. This brain dance season has been chock full horror. Huh. But this one stands out from the rest. The always phenomenal Maxwell Ramirez is pushed to the brink of cyberpsychosis so we can relive his return to normalcy. The title offers a tone of optimism, but don't let that fool you. You will relive Maxwell's slip into psychosis, the heartbreak of his wife, and the gradual re reintegration into a world that is now different from how he left it. This BD is a must, re a must relive of the, se ha, of the season, but it's not for the faint of heart. Badlands Raid. Uh, playing through on an OG Xbox One, and even with all the hardship I'm facing, I'm very much loving every aspect of the game. Yeah, it's, uh, I think it says a lot about what's there, that people are willing to uh, to get through the, the, rough, the rough chop. But, luckily, uh, from both from the launch of Witcher 3 and from, I think, the fact that they've already put out, what, two hotfixes? Or is it just one? Um, CDPR is pretty, pretty fast. They, they, they get on it. How you doing, Steph? I'm right. Okay. Still here. Badlands Raid. At last a BD for those looking for something a little lighter. Badlands Raid is a remake of the 2023 classic, which was an innovative tour de force of the time. For those of you unfamiliar, the plot revolves around an ordinary, boring guy who accidentally gets tangled up in a nomad ambush on a Zeta Tech convoy. I won't spoil it because, even though the main plot hasn't changed in 54 years, most people these days probably don't know the ending. What I will say is this. The remake's creators have introduced a few modern twists into the story that should make for a pleasant surprise to classic lovers and newbies alike. Nice. Sounds good. If I were, if I were in Cyberpunk, I'd probably be a BD reviewer. Or a, a disaffected, bitter BD reviewer. That's really cute. Why is it holding a little... Like, is that like an Arsaka rum barrel? Little demon guy? It's very cute. I want to watch a movie via BD. We're getting there. We have, like, movies in VR. Is that like the Gwent troll? Wait, what? Going through control on my OG Xbox One? Oof. Oh, okay. Huh. I think, uh, Malcolm, yeah, everybody... Con I think the base PS4 was the thing that... That control was having the biggest issue with. But I could be wrong. Oh, dear. This is the power of ray tracing. The light has been too reflected. Uh, cyber's too strong. Too many rays. That's what happens when you over ray. In Cyberpunk, everyone takes showers with all their clothes on. Too many hacks, yeah. I hacked my hair! Come on. I thought I explicitly gave myself a vagina in the character creator. And I'm gonna I'm gonna use the restroom standing up. I guess technically ladies can still do that. We just gotta kinda dust till don the pee into the toilet bowl. Oh yeah, it's in the stash, that's right. Somebody told me that. There we go. Let the drips fall where they may. 
God decides where the drips go now. Cool. Oh, that's really cool looking. This game is perfect because I get to see a little nipple every time I change. I change armor. I'm going to ch change back to this so I can look at these shirts. Oh yeah, the God Galaxy logo. Jeez. You know she's a gamer because she's wearing a black t-shirt with a video game logo on it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Reduction... Damage reduction over time? <laughs> oh, okay. Office slacks, pants... Damn it! Why are the athletic shorts so much better? Office pumps. That's kind of cool. You get to keep all of your, uh, all of your corpo attire. Oh, wait a minute. Cool. Decked out now. All right, time to sleep like a normal human. Just crawling there and thump. legs dangling on the floor. <laughs> Sleeping on the bed is the worst part of the game. <laughs> it makes me so mad. It's the best. It's the absolute best. I mean, she wakes up like that. Her legs are dangling off the floor. Whatever, V's a weirdo. People sleep weird. That's just how it is. You see your, your you see seashells? No matter. Huh? Time you got up. Your, I think I might have your toilet. Something. When I jacked into that corporate. Are there seashells? Oh my god, there are seashells. Oh no way. No really? Need to see Vic. I didn't even notice that. Oh my god. My stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I guess yeah, Demolition Man is cyberpunk. Yeah, it is, I think. Let's see if my head still, or my, I still have a chrome head. Okay, well, you know, I got my cool video game shirt now. Yeah, I guess that's a gawk. Still no hair, but that's all right. Man, I want a cyber mirror. Why seashells? Oh, it's a, it's a reference to, um, Demolition Man. The... Uh, I mean, it's Wesley Snipes, uh, Sylvester Stallone, and Sandra Bullock. There we go. And Rob Schneider. <laughs> Scene stealer Rob Schneider. Oh, shit. Let me drop my phone. Mega Medicine. Buy two tickets, get the third for free. Thousands of prizes still available. Drugs, reanimators, primary care appointments, surgery vouchers, blood screens, cyberpsychosis vaccines, ripper doc referrals, and a grand prize of one year trauma team premium package. Hurry while supplies last. Your neighborhood, your neighbors already have their tickets. Buy yours now. Penis nanogel scam alert. Do not click on any emails with ads for a penis enlargement nanogel. This is a scam. Ordinary gels cannot stimulate new cell growth. The only tested and proven method for penis enhancements is still the Aerosex home hormone treatment. Our scientists at Aerosex have developed a formula that will dramatically increase the length and girth of your penis in only seven days. Join seven the, days. To seven days. Join the thousands of other satisfied customers and order your kit today. Quote, I didn't believe it would work, but I was desperate. I only had a week to get my penis big, and I knew Mr. Stud wouldn't cut it. Fortunately, Aerosex did the trick. And I've still got the nail marks on my back to prove it. Thanks, Aerosex. Richard Towers, a real customer, verified penis growth. So what, what did you just, he like, have to do in seven days? Does it just grow that skin he was like, outside fuck, your fuck, dick? Fuck, 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 I need, I need a bigger dick. God, God, I only have I've one only week. week. Like, like his family was going to get murdered. I'm going to have sex in a week. It's going to be good. Like four inches. You, you have one week. Unless your dick is bigger, we will kill your whole family. 
It's got to be bigger. Hey, Peta, how's it going? Oh, it no. sounds like the worst summer blockbuster. Seven days to dick. I could do it. That'd be a fun reality show. You've got one week to double the length of your penis. Man, people blowing me up. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. Okay. How'd you even know my name? Whoa! We got some party boys here. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Sir? Is he wearing like his sandals and daisy dukes? Are you judging? No. He is living his best life. Yeah. Who likes short shorts? We like short shorts. There goes my hero. A bit of a lean on this one. What's going on here? Oof. Rough day. The fuck you smiling at? This one doesn't even have shoes. You doing okay? Yes. What's up? No, uh, nothing. Got nice undies though. Damn. They partying too hard? Yeah. Get those cyber drugs. Before you know it, you wake up in your underwear out in the street somewhere. There's gonna be hidden items over here. I know it. Ooh. The man's got a gun iPad. What are you looking at? We've got another dry, sun filled week coming your way, night city. But soak in that sun while you can. There's a cold front moving in. Prepare for cooler conditions as we head into the weekend. Man. <sighs> Imagine the zoom you can get on that gun pad. <laughs> Just, I just tip tap some uh, coordinates into an app and then this gun takes care of whatever I need it to. Looks like an embassy suites. <laughs> <laughs> the best holiday you'll ever live in. Hold on. Got no home, sick kid, and cheating wife. Need booze money ASAP. You're just going to waste it anyway. I mean, yeah. But I'm going to waste it on booze for me. What slash who is Steph? Ah, that would be Stephanie Bayer. The lady I love. Something the matter? Got another drive. She's she's pretty chill at the moment. Hello. Get an honest job. Is it nap time stuff? Steph's been working really hard. I'm just wrapping myself up in my very soft blanket. Steph's getting really cozy. Oh, the yeah, the wide open ad, the snake crawling up between the booty cheeks. Yeah, most of the ads in uh, in Night City are, I guess, what would be the word, tasteless, utterly tasteless. <laughs> but that's by design. It's a uh, kind of kind of uh, playing into that idea of of Night City kind of being this libertarian paradise. You can kind of read that into the utter lack of regulation about the ads, or rather. You can kind of tell that there are some lines that are are not to be crossed, but they go right up to them as often and as as brutally as they can. So it seems like pretty clear that you can't just straight up show genitalia, but they get as absolutely close as they can all the time. Uh, the ads are pretty pretty incredible. <laughs> I 
piece of shit. Come on. Well, good morning to you. It's big. <laughs> it's like dropping on the city like a bomb. A burrito bomb. Oh, so many times I try to un uncrouch and skip dial like I didn't mean to skip. Yeah, that's actually hit me a few times already. Yes? What's up? That should probably not be the same button, huh? Or maybe like hold to skip dialogue uh, and then tap to uncrouch. That feels like the kind of thing that, you know, hotfix quality life patch kind of deal. Ooh, Nick Laffy, thank you for the prime. I had to confess to my real-life girlfriend that I had a girlfriend in Cyberpunk and that's why I love this game. And also all the children look like shrunken adults and it cracks me up. That's just, that's just life in the future, man. That's just what kids look like in the cyber future. It's that time of year again when we present our list of the biggest and best corps to work for in Night City. Who offers paid vacation? Who pays employees trauma team insurance policies? Who provides discounts for daycare and child bodyguard services? Have a look at our rankings below. Arasaka, coming in again this year in our number one spot, the Japanese Zaibatsu Juggernaut. Employees can expect to be fit with the latest cyberware technology with a loyalty obligation of only 20 years. Mili number two, Militech. The American arms giant provides its employees with up to 50% discounts on all Militech weapons. With a deal that good, you'd be able to put a Mark 31 heavy machine gun under the Christmas tree for everyone in the family. <laughs> Number three, Biotechnica. Our 2077 bronze medal goes to Biotechnica, who offers up to six, yes, six paid vacation days a year. That's only one more than most American companies offer now. Oh, it hurts. Oh, the commentary hurts. Four, K Kong Tao. China's largest tech and arms manufacturer treats its employees to gold membership with Trauma Team. Never spend a single minute of your 50-year loyalty pledge worrying about paying for health coverage. Oof. Five, Night Corp. While this hometown product can't compete with the biggest international players in terms of budget or ambition, they certainly know how to spoil their staff. Now, Night Corp snuck into our Big Five after a recent announcement to reduce the mandatory work week to just 80 hours. They are a must apply for all your family focused folks out there. <laughs> yeah, if you have a family, you can only work 80 hours a week. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Fair amount of bonks going on. Uh oh. Oh, that dude looks cool. How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping. He did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of me. So how about it? Where'd you get him, Fred? Off the street. Saw him looking up at me with these big, sad eyes. So I took the poor pup in. Have you decided how you're gonna play? Uh, Funk Turtle, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go mostly stealth. Like stealth, subterfuge, hacking, find again foe, working angles, trying to get the like non-combat solutions to things. I I get such a boner off of that of like finishing a quest and leveling up off of picking the right dialogue options. Oof, feels good. How's it going? Fight's about to start. Not gonna watch? Take notes? Malone versus Hernandez. <laughs> nah. Our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk, neither. The only way he communicates is with them fists. Let's do this. 100%. 100% run. I can't. What? Ah. Whoa! A punch. I got it. Uh-oh. Somebody in the background's like getting alerted. That cop is getting mad that I'm fighting. Come on, that's a ring out. I should win. You can't kick. What do you say? You go in the ring yourself. 
Not anymore. Skull's taking too much of a beating. Reflexes ain't what they used to be. There's ways of fixing that. Karenza cops should do the trick. Rather dish out my eddies for something else. It's time I started taking it easy. You mentioned something about fighting? Hmm. I've seen you landing blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far. Is the USSR still around in Cyberpunk? I do remember seeing some mention of the USSR in a lore entry, so I think so. Lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. No, I get a small percentage of the total winnings. You know Man, this game, the way this game writer's lighting on skin is really, really impressive. Oh, I get it. Want to get rich off my blood, sweat, and tears. Oh, love this song in this world, Eddie's. Yeah, uh, Eddie's is, is short for Euro Dollar because that became the de facto currency of the world after the United States imploded. Man, it wouldn't be in a, like an open world action RPG unless there were a string of melee fights you had to do got to do witcher 3 had the same thing blood and wine had the same thing too except that had all kinds of crazy twists in it it was so good what have you got for sale only top shelf gear oh sounds like you're about to buy a lot of stuff from me so junk i do want it so Hmm. <laughs> About those fights you mentioned. V, V, V. If you don't have a titanium skull lining, you're going to have memory problems in no time. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go. Put down your eddies and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. Start. I believe in you, V. Yeah, Nick. That's stuck in my head now. A lot of the, a ton of the quests have references to songs, which, you know, plays into the musical culture of the game. Uh, but I gotta go use the restroom. I gotta take a cyber piss. I'll be back. See you guys soon. Alright, welcome back everybody. Welcome back everybody. Whew. Everything just looked a little skewed for a second, but... Alright. Steph has, uh, Steph has retired for the evening. So now it's us. Now it's just us. We're just, we're just out here. We're just out here doing it. It's just time for the gamers to live in cyberpunk. Had enough of punks like you. Back it up. Now Does that mean the ASMR whispers are over? Nice For now. Just hanging out. Where are you from? Ugh. Macroware. What you got there? Comically sized hamburger? Man. Wanna hear a joke? Huh. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that man got a big cyber burger. I guess they'd probably be that big in the future. Nature comes first. From the very first 
Five's waiting for its mommy. Hers after every shot now. Give us some ASMR. I don't want to because the second that I do, this will become an ASMR channel. And I want to keep it on the games. I want to keep it focused on the games. The Dying Knight. Sounds like a... That actually looks like a really cool pistol. Huh. What do we got here? What do we got here? Is ammo everything you have to worry about in this game, or do you just accidentally always have all the ammo you need? Looks like it doesn't have weight, so you can just stack as much of it as you ever want. It's about the games. It's about the games. It's not a rate if it's one person. No, it's three. Talk well, I don't know if the, the viewer counts, but hey, Turbid, how you doing? Uh, do I play? Did I play Control? Yes. Borg Ninja, I love Control. You can craft it. Oh, okay. All right. Is there like specialty ammo? Hmm. Second you start crafting, it's literally never an issue. Okay. Interesting. I'm excited to, to dig into the crafting a little bit. I have no idea what's going on with that. That layer in this game. My understanding is like that's kind of... That's kind of it tying more into uh, the pen and paper. We'll see. Wasn't expecting the crafting. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I am. Oh, you didn't see the rate ticket chat. Okay, Malcolm, it's just unfortunate timing then. Sometimes unfortunate timing can make the mess, the best and also the most vicious jokes. Like accidentally cruel, but amazingly hilarious. Uh, hey, Tony C, thank you for the sub. Glad to see you finally playing this. Seeing your excitement for the game over the years has been fun, especially Cyberwatch. Have a blast with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it. I'm, I'm going to like... Most people can beat this game in 30 hours. It's going to take me like 150 I am like, well, I mean, mostly because I'm going to be streaming it and I enjoy kind of slowing the ride down a little bit, but it's going to be that Shenmue shit of me poking through every single, every single drawer and cabinet for every possible thing. Uh, Zach Cannon, thank you for the sub. Um, Anonymous, thank you for gifting again. Hi, Roller247, thank you for the sub. Pesser, thank you for the cheer and the, the prime. I appreciate that. Anonymous, thank you for gifting again. Zombie Cop. Thank you for calling me the man and also subbing. Appreciate that. Super Blast X, you're very close to two years. It's good to see you. You still around? Chat's moving. On. Chat's a little brisk tonight. Did you see the Easter egg in the toilet? I did, actually. Stephanie pointed it out to me. I didn't notice it, but... <clears throat> yeah, that was, uh, that was nice. I need to watch Demolition Man again. I feel like Demolition Man... It, it's kind of like Fifth Element of like this kind of gleefully silly science fiction that I could just watch anytime. Like, it's, it's just always, always a good choice. Uh, Nick Laffey, thank you for the sub. Misakian, thank you. <clears throat> and KDOT, thank you for the prime. Any glitches yet? <clears throat> Sorry. Some very minor ones. Um, like some reflection glitches. Uh... I think somebody went through a wall at some point, but it's been pretty straightforward, I gotta say. I'm on PC, and my understanding is that that's the most, the most, like, uh, stable platform. So, I think, I think I'm probably getting the best version of this game, which does make me feel smug, because that's often not the case. Well, it is and it isn't for PC players, I feel like. You get the best experience in that typically frame rates are better and resolution is better, but l m almost nothing else is catered to that platform. It's like whatever you get for free, just because you have tons of overhead and resources. Gee, Adam Ellis' shadow glitch. No, no. Do hats make you bald and mirrors on PC? Yes. I had, a, I had a hat on and I was bald, yeah. I was looking at 1440p frame rates, even 3090s and hitting 144. Yeah. And with like DLSS off, like it just can't do it. And that's awesome. Like it, it's, it has been so long. Maybe Star Citizen is the only other game that's ever hit. Well, I mean like right now where it theoretically has a performance spec that it computers just can't hit yet. To have DLSS off or like running this in native 4K with a uh, global illumination ray tracing turned on. Like there, there's a new white whale. That's, that's it. That's going to be the new stress test, and it's Cyberpunk 2077, and that's fucking awesome. 
Is that part bad optimization as well as future tech? No, it's just future tech. Um, the red engine is actually pretty fairly well optimized, but the tech they have in this game is is pretty advanced. Pretty advanced. Um, so, you know what? Let's break it down. Fuck it. Um, there, there's a lot of different kinds of ray tracing. Um, well, that that's an obvious statement, I think. Um, ray tracing is a rendering technique that can be used to render a, different kinds of lighting effects. Um, this game has global illumination ray tracing, which means that basically it can ray trace the sun, um, which is complicated and expensive. So let's say that there's a light. Um, there's this light, like, do I have a cursor? Hold on. Let me get a cursor. Also, let me read this, this before I forget. I'm getting sidetracked, but maybe if I, no, there is an overlay. Ah, oh, it's not running the GOG overlay. This is a better quality version of this item. A new version of Iconic Item is crafted. The original item is destroyed. Iconic Item be real. Okay. Okay. So it's like Witcher, <laughs> Witcher gear. Um, Thanks a lot. Can I? Uh, okay. So let's say you ray trace this light or whatever. Yeah, you got to escape. Um, that would require like shooting a beam through the monitor into that light and bouncing it off various things. Or rather, bouncing rays off various things until they hit that light. Um global illumination is out into infinity and working with infinity is very hard when it comes to math so figuring out how light comes from infinite away at a universal direction and not radiating from a point is tough the math of math is tough but that's kind of the well wow. that's what makes rendering outdoor environments difficult Especially when you have to mix uh, shadows. Shadows from point sources and infinite sources and have like two or, or blend them. Ray tracing fixes all that. But that math is really, really complicated and uh, just takes a lot of math to crunch. This game, as far as I know, no, Quake 2, I think maybe, Quake 2 RTX may be the first one that actually had native global illumination ray tracing. But this game does, and it's not a remake of an old game, or it's not a retrofit of an old game with open source code. So, like, f for for the absolute nerds, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. Yeah, it's a ton of linear algebra. It's so much math. And to run that at 4K, uh, that's, like, that's going to take years. That's going to take years for PC hardware to be able to fully tackle. But when it does, it's going to look outstanding. I cannot wait. Um, so, coming from the PC point of view, it's so exciting that there's a game that, like, hardware has to grow into. Uh, those moments were always super exciting. Because, like, something about the PC nerds, like, there's something exciting about something that's not perfect right away. That means you have something to fix. you got a problem to solve. You have a, a puzzle to, to figure out. And I feel, I feel like that's, that's what we've got again. Real life has ray tracing? That's true. Real life is indeed ray traced. There's no guarantee that will ever happen. What, like, good, better hardware will come out? I guess there's no guarantee, but... Hey, that's life. That's life, baby. There's no guarantee of anything. I think we can take it as a given that hardware will improve. And that the software will improve as well, but... Also, man, this game has, like, just wild lens flares. I wasn't expecting that. Like, it, it is actually kind of Abrams level lens flares. And not that, like, for a while everyone said Abrams when it was excessive lens flares, which this, you know, the opacity is pretty low, but, like, the kind of lens flares. You can turn it off if you want. I don't want to. It looks really good. But it also, interestingly, looks like, I don't know, it's got a, it's got a wild effect. Especially because you get you get flares off of things that are also ray traced, so it's it's pretty cool stuff. What do I say? Like you can get those flares off of reflections or off the haze glow from lights. It gives it such a different look than what I remember back when like Battlefield Three came out, and the Abrams look was just hitting because the Star Trek reboot had just landed, and that was a game that had like dumb lens flares all over it. But it was just a PNG that would, like, scale. It was just a dumb decal that would smear across your screen. This actually looks different. And I guess you could... 
Maybe you could argue it's because of your cyber eyes. Like light is refracting inside of your eye and creating coronas around stuff. That's what always bugged me about like Battlefield 3. Is, is you, you're, as much as I've always hated that video games do like motion blur to look like a movie, it makes zero sense that a video game would try to replicate a lens effect when there's zero lens in virtual space. You, me, and I keep seeing this, so I would like to point out. Some, hold on. Uh, optimization in regards to what we as the end user sees is not what you might think. Think about it this way. On CDPR's side, the slide for X thing goes from 50 to 150, but most tech can only do one to one, or 0 to 100. The game runs at 50 to 150, so anything that can't hit the minimum of 50 can't do the thing. That also means that current tech cannot do the thing to the max, but we'll get there. I think I, yeah, I think I understand that. How do you, hold on, how do you holster? Uh, yeah, no, you're right. Um, that, I think that makes a lot of sense for, uh, for where the game landed. Double tap, alt. Huh, okay, thank you. Bloop! Ooh! Okay. But until then, you keep your head down and listen to me. That understood? Keybinding options are really lacking. Yeah, I've I've seen that as a pretty uh pretty common complaint that uh you can't bind all the functions. I uh Hola, beautiful. Some of those things is a bummer, but it also feels like it feels like those are the things that can easily be patched in, and that CDPR is exactly the kind of developer that will patch those things in, I think. Uh, I think I think they've demonstrated in the past uh, that they do treat single-player games as service. I think the patching schedule and, and content flow they have for Witcher 3 uh, should buy them a, a decent amount of faith. Um... Not to mention they are slavishly devoted to, like, this idea of, um, of, of providing value for purchase. And this game is very bad. It just has to be good enough. <clears throat> Did I say, yeah, slavish, slavish, whatever. Maybe you can excuse all the... <clears throat> excuse me. Maybe you can excuse all the bad AI because they have... Malf they all have implants that are malfunctioning or something. Good God. Sorry, I'm working on my, like, fourth tiki drink? So, yeah, back alley implants. Easy. Out of curiosity, and I don't mean this in any sarcastic or aggressive way, but a lot of people complain... The fill-in NPCs only say a few one-liners if you walk up and talk to them. What is the game that people hold as a measure where you can walk up to anyone and have a full-fledged conversation? Uh, Animal Crossing is the only game that comes to mind. And even then, it's pretty obviously like a Mad Libs mix and match. Which is itself an improvement over what Animal Crossing used to be. Um, oh, Red Dead? Red Dead did have some pretty interesting like just NPC interactions. Red Dead 2 is probably the only one. Oh shit, there's a train. Oh, you can see the reflections of the train in the building, man! Oh! Aye. Oh, Hades? Yeah. I mean, Hades has at least... Hades has a bounded cast. Like, there are characters, and each one says certain things. It's not like there's an, an, a theoretically infinite amount of randomly generated NPCs in a living world kind of deal. Yeah, Hades is more bounded, exactly, Wombat. I don't know, I think, um... Cyberpunk never purported itself to be an environment, like a, a living world. Sort, well, I take that back, alright. Cyberpunk always offered a, a narrative fantasy 
And part of that narrative fantasy was a living world, I think. But I think that living world pertained to your actions and the, the strings of your particular plot line. Um, it... I don't know. It, it didn't... It didn't ever seem to, like, really promise that experience in the way that in the way that Rockstar Games trailers kind of will and do but maybe I'm misrepresent I'm misremembering it can be tough man with it with a game that can like grab a zeitgeist like this to separate what was said and what was promised versus what was delivered and kind of figure out the wash between anyone have issues with certain quests reappear or appearing last cyber psycho quest on show up on the map huh there might be a uh, there might be a different kind of objective you have to fulfill. I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me. It sounds like quest bugs of that nature are still kind of living in the game. What about the claims there's a lack of side activities? I don't know. Uh, were side activities ever promised? Are they necessary to make this experience better? Like GTA has tennis and yoga. And bowling. Wait, GTA 4 had bowling. Those are fun. Cu those are fun curiosities, and they do add value to a game. But were they promised? Were they expected? Doesn't brain dance count? There's no Gwent. Yeah, I guess. Oh, they were. I don't remember that. When when when, would, when did that happen? Was there like a, a gameplay preview or whatever where there's like, there's going to be so many side activities to do. Maybe this is lame, but I, I feel like a side activity in this game could just be driver, driving around on a cool cyber bike and looking at stuff. But that's a pretty shilly apologetic thing to say. Didn't figure you as the type for Asian. Who thought you'd find it too exotic? What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles? Check. Synth sirloin? Check. Get some more chile action up in here and you're looking at Mama Well's signature sopa de fideos. <laughs> Bucko says for the current bugs in this game right now I've had like 10 crashes. It's pretty significant. This game is still the most fun I've had with a game in years. I can forgive some wonk in a game like this. Uh huh. It'd be awesome to have arcade games or gambling and shit. It would, yeah. I, uh... I guess all I can do is, like... Like, appreciate what's there. Appreciate the ambition of it. Or the, the fact that it's entirely catered to exactly what I want out of a video game. Enjoy it for what it is. And also appreciate the fact that the people who made it have demonstrated a deep commitment to supporting products and upgrading and improving them. I feel like this game is Witcher 1 all over again. They shoot for the moon in some places and do some really cool stuff but fall short in other areas. At the end of the day, I'm very impressed with what they were able to do since this is their first time having to deal with traffic, shooting, and everything else that comes with this kind of open world. I can't wait to see what the next Cyberpunk game looks like after they learn from this game's development. Gadfly Jim? That's a, that's a, I'm really glad you put it that way. I found that... I don't know, I feel like there's, there's two kinds of approach too like creative expression one is to have such an amazing idea of what you want and not settle for anything less and derive to perfection in all aspects and work your ass off and make this beautiful beautiful thing the other is here's a fucking awesome idea that we're just just goddamn amped about and we're gonna we're gonna dive right into it and burn hot on it and work really hard and put out whatever we put out and we're gonna take our knocks and we're just gonna roll right into the next thing just like just like constantly barreling forward, just shoulder down and tackling through cool ideas and cool and making mistakes and embracing those mistakes and rolling forward. And it does feel like that kind of dev. Uh, and if you think about it, like what? Wild Hunt came out in 2015, 2016. There aren't many studios that could make a game like that 
They announced it earlier than that, which I think is also another reason that it kind of hurt them. They announced it well before they even started it, but... Uh, I think also when you consider them as a studio and their talent and their efficiency, um, the amount of content they've made and the amount of years they've had is is something really breathtaking. I've the only thing I've seen similar to that is, and I reference this a lot, but I really think it's 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 remarkable and unique. The fuck? No right. Remarkable and unique in the world of games development is uh, what Yoshi P has done with Final Fantasy fourteen. Yeah, I'm, uh... Detrimental instru- or... Detrimental in Detrimental instrument. There we go. Yeah, I'm- I'm going really, really slow. Tons of asides. Just- just shooting the shit with chat. To- if I'm gonna be real, man. I'm- I'm crushing some drinks. I'm hanging out with people. I'm in a cyber city. This is where I've wanted to be for so long. So, this is, uh... I'm taking my time because I'm savoring the ride. I've been a bit not disappointed, but more so surprised. All the non-main quests have been real bare and felt checklist-like. Which, with Witcher 3 in perspective, perplexes me. Because they already did a game where almost all quests were really well thought out. Lempos, that's interesting. I So, all I've seen is is what has Stephanie has played before. And, uh... Something about a surprise. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? And it seemed like a lot of the side content was super well thought out. So I'm excited to look into it myself. I think I'm out of bag this a sweet ass J O B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that he's fronted by a little known. Oh, thank you, Pop Tart. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Yeah, Stargazer, I guess you're uh you're playing on the PS4. Dexter Deshaun. We had any performance something? issues. No, you got I mean, I cranked it up, and it's it's not running at 120 hertz, but Word on the street was it's running pretty well. Then again, two years. I have the luxury of, of buying the most expensive shit, so. Uh, guessing he shoved pizzas in his mouth. I am the I am the most privileged. Important thing is PC hardware speaking, I'm like one percent, uh, which I I hope does. I realize now it sounds like I'm I'm uh, I'm boasting. I'm just trying to say more like, I feel like I'm not qualified to speak on performance because I'm allowed to overkill it with my PC. Looks better than my 1440p system. I'm I'm playing on 1440p, but I have DLSS on, so it's like, I'm kind of cheating. <laughs> oh, yeah, you said you were going to frame that. Hold on, let me look. Hup. Ah, cute. That's awesome. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. How did you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? Uh, no, we're not the type to get a Luden guy who tested positive for the Rona? Ooh. Sorry to hear that. She's the one that hooked us up. Yeah, I hope it clears soon. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Come on. Nobody who can resist. This is actually a good time to float this out there. Right? <laughs> sure. Uh whatever you say. I know shit's real bad, but I got that holiday spirit. Launch PS4 fucking blows. Yeah, I figured you were playing on PS4. Uh, Stargazer, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you to unlock those caps if you can. But uh, shit sounds like it's ready to go to the fucking stratosphere. I mean, look, I'm chewed up. Pretty if you wanna if you wanna enter an F1 broken. race with a with a so car built in 1979, it's gonna it's gonna be a little rickety, right? Here while you still can. I don't know. I feel for you. I feel for you. That sucks. That sucks. Like it, it's worse because. You have a vision of what it could be, except it runs like shit right now. But Stargazer, I I believe that in your near future is a is a better PlayStation, maybe a PlayStation 4 Pro, maybe a PlayStation 5. Maybe. I believe it's in your future. And when that happens, you're gonna download Cyberpunk and you're gonna play it, and somehow it's gonna be all worth it in that moment. But it hurts right now. It hurts right now, and I understand that. I can't I can't make that pain better and I wish I could. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Well, our savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. No pressure, but... Old deal's riding on you now, chica. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back. 
my face is yesterday's news. Our deck says he needs to check you. Talk to you. I'm glad to. 15 hours in, starting to wonder why there are dialogue options. Must seem pointless and lead to the same outcome. Uh, Zach the Sausage Link, I think you might be surprised. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong, don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is a leaf of his own. Don't get me started on fixers. Oh, hey, what's up, Brian? How you doing? I've been killing the Gritney game lately. Wheels. Bacon to my guy yesterday to spill over the dents after our uh, dust up and scabs. <laughs> Just being punished for being on a peasant station. Yeah. Stargazer. Those caps, man, it hurts. You're, blur you're burning people's eyes. You're burning the retinas out. We'll see about that. Are we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. Hmm. Dialogue options do not need and have never needed to lead to completely different outcomes. They are for self-definition as much as choice making. Well, see, that. what's crazy is like, maybe dialogue not so much, but there are decision points that do matter. Like, I, I promise you, people have told me about it. Um... And, and, like, Steph has compared notes about her playthrough to other devs at CD Projekt. And she's been like, I had no idea that, that those things could even happen or would happen or anything like that. So, I have it on, on second hand, I have to admit, second hand, that there are some pretty substantial forks in the story. Now, uh, what I say doesn't matter. Uh, people are gonna People are going to mine this game and they're going to find every branch within days. Um, I'm sure that I'm sure that to some degree that's already happening. There are wikis that are being filled out with data at this very moment. Um, so I could be right. It could be wrong. I don't know. Uh, will like everyone will know for sure one way or the other within a matter of days. Uh, so I'm kind of excited. The trick is like I don't want to know. Like I, I'm just gonna play on my own, and I'm I'm kind of cool with a, a linear experience. If I guess think about it this way. If this were a... For me, and this is kind of how I'm thinking about it. If this is a 35-hour cyberpunk movie that only costs 60 bucks, that's fucking sweet. That's pretty cool. And if it runs on my computer, that's also cool. And if sometimes I get to beat people up, you know what? That's pretty sick, too. So... I guess, I guess so much of the... So much of my internal boxes are ticked just by the setting alone. But that's just me. That's just me. That's because I'm a nerd in that particular way. What are you doing in there? Oh, I gotta drive. First stop, Ripper Dock. Anchica, easy on the gas, eh? I just ate. Yeah, I haven't I actually haven't driven in Cyberpunk before, so I'm curious. Uh, if I can not murder. I got a date. Me and Misty. You don't say. Open fire. She's so. Oh, hey, McCostage. Really? Hope you're enjoying the game. I absolutely am so far. But it's uh, I've I've just been going down the hallway. It's been a good hallway. Hey, what's the... Ooh, Dad Zeke. Thank you for the prime. Yeah, look at both ways. Oops! Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> No! Use your scanner to highlight the connection between you and the Netrunner, helping you locate them. Uh, okay. Oh, don't hack me. Ow. Ooh. what happens that's what happens when you run over somebody 
Last night, Jacob was going through finding all kinds of things happening, very Arkham City-like. Oh, like driving through the city, finding like random generated quests. That was quick. You ran into a Netrunner? Yeah. It makes sense that a Netrunner would be able to just fry my brain because I inconvenienced them. Cops are brutal in this game? They ought to be. I'm also playing on hard. I'm playing on hard and I'm like level nothing. I'm level bullshit. And these are like cops. Or net runners. Like super cops. Slowly now. Don't anger the man in the trench coat. Oh, okay. Come on, v. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll oh, cops are literally spawning behind you? Yeah, it's... It's not quite as... What's that? Sorry. It's not quite as nuanced uh, an open world simulation as Grand Theft Auto. Um, and, and the game certainly, like, it bites off that comparison because it's got the verb. The second you get into a car, take it over and drive it, you're playing Grand Theft Auto. And certainly certain expectations are, are crammed into your head, so... I can't, like, there's a couple of other games that have that, like, Red Faction Guerrilla, uh, I think True Crime had some of that stuff. <clears throat> you scan to see their affiliation. Ooh, good call. Jesus Christ. Net running charge jump overheating. Maybe I can talk to him. On the clock. Fuck off. It's all a shit storm anyway. Well, you said it. Sleeping dogs, yeah. Saints Row. Saints Row, yeah. But even Saints Row didn't even pretend to be like Saints Row was stupid on purpose, so you didn't take it seriously, so you didn't expect like world simulation from them. Uh Oh, it's Co Carnage. Co Carnage yelling. Do you truly Gary? I guess I can't get that quest yet. Like, there's flares on every light. Watch Dogs 2 a good world sim? Yeah? I... I need to give Watch Dogs 2 another shot. I need to catch up on Watch Dogs in general. Ballsy. You look pleased. Cause I am. Always. Makes for easier living. But we got a new job lined up from a big hitter at the afterlife. Oh. Is it gonna be dangerous? Don't you worry, mi amor. We're bulletproof. Do you Hello? Anybody there? Man. Even within us, your joy, your worry, your you let me zoom in here and Can just they say I've got my head in the clouds. Just lean over. From Tinker. Hey, saw that Zen Master again, if he really even is a Zen Master. He was sitting Hello? in front of the subway entrance. Anybody there? Waited to see what ha would happen. He said he'd really disappear or if sweet Peggy was just seeing things, but of course nobody came up to him. And they say he I wasn't even there. The Seriously, though. See a guy wearing his Zen Master's clothes and you don't even bat an eye? Super weird. So anyway, I just stared at him. Nothing happened, so I gave up. Hello? Anybody there? Huh. Alright. Tired of her screaming in my ear. Do you truly believe? Uh, 900p is just for the stream. I'm playing at 1400p. 1440, excuse me. But DLSS is on, so who knows how many pixels are being fed into an AI rasterizer or AI upreser. Man, it's just like... There are certain environments that have a feeling about them. And the way that, like... I, yeah, uh... Keanu, please. I am, in fact, on maximum difficulty. 
Uh, what are the specs of my PC? That's actually in the about section of my page. So you, you can find all the stuff there. Um, there have been so many so many rooms, environments, places you move through in this game so far. And, and it's been very linear so far. Uh, but they remind me so much of like the pre-rendered backgrounds of Final Fantasy VII. The like pops of color with that haze and the glow around them. The like the, the grating and the metal plating and the corrugated steel and the cracked concrete. Uh, man. The like the random smoke pouring out of vents, the steam. What DLS setting are you on? Uh, quality. What does DLSS even mean? That is, uh, it's a technology from NVIDIA that uses, like, predictive algorithms that allow the rendering engine to render at a much lower resolution, but let AIs kind of fill in the pixels to produce a higher resolution image that's a pretty good guess of what those pixels would be. So, uh, DLSS can look a little bit fuzzy. It almost has, like, in my opinion, it's kind of the digital equivalent of film grain. I guess technically compression artifacting would be the digital equivalent of film grain. But, uh, it, it's actually closer to what film grain looks like. I'm seeing drops near the fire. Spare change. Got something to say? You know, in Cyberpunk, when there's a barrel fire and somebody's tip tapping on a laptop that's the size of a briefcase. Your film grain is on? That's true. Well, my film grain is on. But uh, at the same time, uh, even in things like um, Control, which has a pretty good DLSS imp implementation, it still has a similar sort of visual effect for me. Why do devs put film grain in? Because devs love old movies. I think it gives the image an interesting texture. I think it, uh, in the way that like doing checkerboarding could simulate transparency back on really old uh, graphics chips, I think um, film grain can give lighting a softer look that actually gives, I think, computer images uh, a, a nice characteristic. It does look very cinematic. Like, it, it's one of the only things about computer graphics that could be called cinematic that I'm okay with. Because I hate the rest of it. Except that I actually really like how this game does uh, refracting and lens flares. But, for the sake of, uh, for the sake of exploration, let's turn off film grain. Yeah. Good to see you. Yeah, I don't know. It just looks... Like, it looks a little more... I guess, I guess when I think about something like Cyberpunk, the air should be thick. It should be chewy. Like, it should smell. And film grain makes makes the atmosphere look uh, complicated. Makes it look polluted. Yeah, Mass Effect 1 had strong film grain. No, I, I actually liked that. I thought it gave the game a very unique tone. I mean, that game was was basically trying its hardest to be as Kubrick as it could be. Um, and I, that's what I loved it for. And then, yeah, that, that tone kind of faded away. Every Twitch chat loves to tell the streamer what settings they should use. I No, I, I'm just, I'm exploring. You know, without film grain, it looks too clean. I agree. I, I think I think Cyberpunk should look a little grimy. It should look a little fuzzy. It should look, there should be analog uh, trash in, in, in the world. Uh, cyberpunk is like it's still like VHS it's it's still a little old it's it's new but it's also old um, it's still neon it's not like floating it's not AR you know we're, n we're not all looking at the world through cyber eyes and the world as it is is just a bunch of like brutalist concrete cubes that have all these holograms superimposed on them so yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn that shit back on I prefer it. I think it looks good. I think it matches really well with the uh had to jack into a client's neuro socket. The flares. I think I might have gotten spiked. The only setting we demand you turn off is motion blur. I've actually so 
believe it or not, turning off motion blur is a, a logistical advantage because uh, I can get still frames from recordings and use them for thumbnails a lot easier if motion blur is not on. Means nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kitten caboodle. All right, kid. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. Gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. But Oops. something you're not telling me, Vic? I wanted to crouch. Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean. Hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Uh... Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Look, I'm chewed up pretty bad, and I think my leg's broken. Ooh, so you better go on without me. Relax. Get He's yourself out of here while you still oh, can. nothing more to be this man when I'm 50? Yeah, I... So I, I was always fascinated by the... Uh, the introductory beats of this game. They, uh, they introduce you to Jackie, like a dude who's just like real chill and a good guy and, and a, a super supportive friend. And then to Victor, uh, who is like the most warm friendly like great great bedside manner character and if if this were that 90s game it wouldn't be like that there wouldn't be this like warmth humanity and compassion and that's kind of the opening statement of the game is that you're in this weird world and shit's kind of fucked but people are still here and people still have hearts and souls and life still happens and People are still warm sometimes. It's Whoa. life hasn't hey, nothing tops that on the been completely stamped hmm. out. Sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this. Also, his name is Victor Vector, which is the coolest name in the world. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. And he's in hand. Indeed, you thank you for the prime. While I scan, Let's see what's going on inside. Yeah, people are still people. Uh, crab. There's still a soul to the world. Which which I think still plays back to my rants about punk culture before. This idea that, that over-corporatization will eliminate humanity from the world. It turns out it didn't. There's still humanity, and the corporations are still there, and it sucks. So it's like, everything's fuzzy. And, and how, do you, how do you square that with having a very extremist viewpoint? Uh... It's tough. And it turns out that that like it's on an individual to find the humanity in the everyday. I don't know. It's uh I think I think there's a lot going on in the in the intent and the storytelling in Cyberpunk. For some reason I thought he was a reference to the League of Le League of Legends champion Victor. He could be for all I know. Uh, Taco Truck Nuts, thank you very much for the sub. Everyone is still everyone in 2077. Indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. I spent eight hours exploring the city without starting any mission at 17 FPS. It's just fun. Damn, Julio. Well, I... Man, that's that's what I'm all about. I kind of just want to wander around the city. I probably will after this. We'll see. In the loading menu, they talk about the class divide, though. Yeah, uh, I, that's that's one of the more fascinating things about this is that it can exist as a uh, an absurd parody of the modern world. What about chromatic aberration? Not a hundred percent sure what that is. That's when like you have a color and it separates the frequencies on either side, so it like scatters the chroma. Um, that's when you see you see like a UI element. And then a red version of it to one side and a blue version of it to the other side. 
It's it kind of looks like it's 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 been a very popular visual effect in like the last three years, last three to four years. Cyberware. I'm gonna get so much cyberware. I'm gonna get cyber hands. I'm gonna get cyber eyes. I can't afford that. I want a cyber heart. Ooh, sounds neat. Cyber skill. Ooh, carrying capacity. Is that an issue in this game? Do you guys do you guys hit the carry limit often? Should I get the shock heart or the carry joints? Never heard of anyone that doesn't think of Blade Runner or Ghost in the Shell when they think of Cyberpunk. Yeah, th those are very much the uh, the hallmarks of the genre. Oh, you can dismantle? Oh, okay. You can disassemble your guns. What do you disassemble them into? Just crafting stuff? <laughs> Chat says yes. Yeah, spirits, it sounds like you. Uh, I agree with that. All right. Carrying capacity upped. I got titanium bones. One, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your corner. Yeah, Johnny Mnemonic, uh, the Matrix. An external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. The Billy Idol album. Just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. We're in my athletic shorts. 54 news. Your league arm of yours right here. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? Back to the Future 2? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. Akira? It's yeah. fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. I do not happened? recommend getting the perk that One automatically day, dismantles stuff. I'm losing girl. so much money. I'll never be a legend. Can you not turn it off? I've been sleeping hey, what's up, Balzette? I am I am indeed a cool kid because I in fact chose Corpo. That that's the character that, that's this version of V. So to me there are like two V's. The V I'm playing now is like the uh the, Keep me waiting all day. the smart, work on the angles, like sit back and learn, like don't say much, but strike when the iron's hot kind of V. And then the male V is the dumb idiot, like smash the wall down, bash through every problem kind of V. Just like that. Thanks. So to me, like now female V is corpo. I can start cutting. Like hacker relying on uh, information and dialogue. Male V is is a uh, play by play though. Nomad. Really punch punch melee everything. Always going on and on. Male V is a himbo. Well, I like that too. Remember, I'm old. Got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right. Victor seems like the kind of doctor that could like pop on a helmet and still do a kickflip. How big did you make your tits? Huge. Biggest tits, biggest areolas. Pop pop. The one, two, bam bam. Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. Big Ariola gang? Hell yeah. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision. What pubes did you give yourself? The like, the, the like, the vertical slash? The like, claw slash? Well, how's it look? Feel alright to you? Wow, this is fantastic, Vic. Oh, solo. Beautiful. I am I am aware of, of who waits in the hotel. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust. But first time's rarely the charm. <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? 
<laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. Oh, you love the sling in this game? Yeah, Cyberpunk sling is interesting because it's like... Auto work like a jar. It's a little cheesy. It's a little corny. Ammo count and a brand new site. But it's fun. And the the voice actors pull it off really well. They make it they make it f sound effortless. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you Which is it? important. Done and gone. I feel like a lot of that stuff could so easily be really cringy. Sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now. What do you mean, Krumba? Why do you think this is primly cheesy? <laughs> it's it's fun. It's it's goofy though. Yeah. What am I looking at? A mild stem should boost neuro. I was in the short term. I remember in the lead up to this game, wondering how it would go when an NPC had to say the word Chumba. But they do it, and it's like. Damn. They make it sound like it's a thing people say. Even if it's something you're not used to hearing. I don't know. You're the best, Vic. I owe you. They just say biz too much? Go on. Yeah. Show them what you're made of. But I feel like it's it's and kind of like the big leagues. It's like rise and grind, get this bread kind of shit. Yeah, they say biz a lot, but they're also hustlers. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull line. Absorb 75 percent of every blow. It's better than saying pog unironically. I mean, yeah, I guess that's a good point. There are people who who throw in pogs, big pogs. Why is there like a loading bay here? God. There's just something about the color grading and the like the glow of the lights in this game. A free grenade. Not a single person has said Coomer. You're right. It's not believable, is it? <laughs> My life one pog at a time. <laughs> I'm only truly alive when I'm pogging. My life exists in two forms, pogging and dead, and petting virtual cats. Anyone else hate to use the word cringe now? I have, I have always, I have long not been a fan of that word. Um, I don't know though, it, it bites off a really complicated dynamic. How do you, uh... I don't know, a social guidance is such a complicated thing. I guess I kind of wish there'd be a way to, uh... Huh? Huh? Doesn't want his can of beans anymore. Cringe has lost all meaning? Yeah, I... People, I mean, it, I, underst I understand, like, g giving a... A word to social awkwardness, and also the, like, packaging of it, because... You know, Ricky Gervais basically turned it into its own form of comedy, of, of cringe situations being uh, content into themselves. So I feel pretty strongly that, like, I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch the rise of that term is kind of coinciding with it being its own entity in comedy. But also, that wave has come and gone. Um, He's waiting in his ride. For you. I feel like we all got over the to where he's parked, next to burgers. the schadenfreude of seeing, seeing somebody commit social genocide. V, listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city Gilda. is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. Yeah, I'm very early on. And I know Gonna exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy... Yeah, GD, I'm not actually sure what that phrase right. means. Social I suicide, I think, would have been the best... Attack, would have been call. the better word. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. 
Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him Hello. up. Hello. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. You can argue that it's actually fairly in in universe to have somebody ask you a question, but you're on a cyber phone call with somebody, listening to them instead. Cringe is overused and used wrongly a lot of times as well. It really has lost its meaning. I guess that's true, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I guess you're right, Judy. It, it does kind of fit, doesn't it? Um, I wonder. I, I feel I feel strongly sometimes that that people should be allowed to just be themselves, and there is this tendency in groups to to stifle to like stifle the black sheep, right? Sometimes that's also not necessarily a bad thing. The uh, the social subtle or the subtle social feedback that somebody might be a little too being a little too weird at the moment. So I don't know where to finding that balance is, is difficult. I think between um, giving people the uh, the the space to let their freak flags fly as much as they want, but also sometimes to be like, you know, if you're coming to court, you shouldn't wear shorts, <laughs> something like that. So I'm not quite sure where to draw the line there, but uh, I guess that's part of being an adult is you just figure out you figure out where the boundaries are. Hey, how well do you know Bug exactly? That mamita got a soft spot for me. <laughs> no, but seriously, she ain't the type you go out and grab a beer with. Don't actually think she got any soft spots anywhere for anybody. Right. So you have like a. Oh, yeah, he's got like an acu acupuncture needle in his chest. Been with Misty a while, huh? She's right there. Yeah, about a year. Why? Just asking. Never thought you'd last that long in a stable, healthy relationship. Hey, come on, chica. You know I was raised right. How's your mom? Shh. Worried about me. Been for a while. Something happened? Started climbing our way up. Got more and more knives out there. Waiting to stab us in the back. Higher stakes, higher risk, Chica. She can see that. How's biz, Misty? Booming? Hmm. You're the first person to walk in here for two days. And two days ago, it was a pizza guy. Got lost. People in this town, they've lost their spiritual connection. But well, you know, I'm here to serve them, not the other way around. Yeah, that hair looks really good, right? I mean, it's it's very like Daryl Hannah uh, from Blade Runner, but still. There's just like... You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of like... So like, the Fallout games were pretty cool because when you talked with people, you got these like little, like portraits of a detailed character against like a CG backdrop. It almost feels like this, except it's just all an engine. You get this now, like every character has like this scene behind them and they're just put in the world in such a way that when you talk to them, you get this, this really cool scene composition of a, of talking to an NPC. It's really, really neat because like the color composition, like everywhere I look, every scene has like really good composition and, it, and it's done on purpose. So like you walk in here, you're going to see this when you, there's like a, there's like a uh, vending machine here. So you have to stand right here, which means you're going to see this like color gradient from like blues to purples to oranges. And then she's in the middle and her hair catches the like purple and, ah, uh, it's just such... It's such a, it's, it's that mix of like, you're in the world and you can go around and you can look at things. But in this one moment, we figured out that you're going to look in this direction and you're going to see this character. And it makes for a really striking image when you're talking to these characters. Um, 
Ah, I've seen, I've seen, yeah, you get a nice frame shot. Exactly, Voodoo. I've seen some other stuff of like, particularly what I'm excited to see, and I've seen it, seen in some trailers is like some people living in like a high rise or a condo and like a, a, one of the mega skyscrapers is that you talk to them and then it's just the city as a backdrop. And that's not accidental. You know, you could talk to them with a the wall in the background, but no, they made sure that you were looking out of the balcony, seeing Night City in the background. So I'm really, really excited to see to, you, or rather, to see all that stuff. Only to you. Do you truly believe that those who have sold you your mechanical eyes have resisted the temptation to peek through them? Cameras are all around us, even within us. Your joys, your worries, your life. For them, it is all mere spectacle. Let's just say you're right. So what? Should I just gouge out my optics? Ah, thanks, but no thanks. You are beyond salvation, but not the children of the future. Life untainted by certain- You had people try and gatekeep your enjoyment of the game yet? No, not at all. We Just some people expressing frustration, namely people playing on, I think, base PlayStation 4, that are very upset about the experience they're having. But who are those who I totally get that. I totally get it. I totally get it. Why the titans of so. entertainment in Alpha Centauri? Yeah, that one guy was very upset. Well, they placate their weary and oppressed oh, masses oh by putting our laughter, our tears, oh on full display. Get next to him. Uh. Still, if you are resting him for revealing government secrets. Yeah, that. I mean, that. Mind before it is too late. <laughs> that one guy uh, talked in all caps, but. Like this is Max Nova. I just can't. I recognize you. You come here often. Your eyes tell me yeah. that your mind has come well, uh... to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? Open your mind, freak. Use it to get a job. What good will come of it if they bear the fruits of our labor? Radio waves bear the truth. Let those with ears listen and those with eyes behold. Maybe I just did I lose out on a side quest? Uh-oh. For they are coming. 100% run. Probably should have uh, given him money, I guess. Ah well. Three mouths, one desire. The Sasha Devon experience. He won't go anywhere, just talk to him later. Yeah. 100% run intact. Whoa, what's going on here? Oh, okay. That, like that pip on the radar was freaking out. That makes sense that a, uh... Netwatch agent would not be uh, pinned down on any scanner. Uh, that looks so good. I'm just such a sucker for glowing lights. Oh, Whiskey Alien, thanks for the sub. There's no quest with them as far as I know, you just give them money? Oh, okay. Ooh. So wait, once you're in combat, how do you zoom? Right click? Seem to be doing it. Oh, okay. Oh, right, okay. Thank you. For some reason, I thought you had to hold tab and then...
Hold tab and scroll. You have to hold right click and scroll, bizarrely. Don't kill the cops. Good advice. P Funk, thank you for the sub. I wonder if. Like, will they actually die at some point, or is this just set dressing? Huh. NPCs can't kill each other? Oh, okay. They just get down to like 1 HP. Watch the fight for like 15 minutes. Sounds about right, yeah. It's just there for flavor. Ugh. <laughs> Ookie Hooch? Okie Hooch. Man, that dude's got a yaoi tongue. Oh man, suicide door? Oh, you get money and street credit if you intervene? Oh, okay. Hey, it's the good version of this JPEG. Yeah. Right off the bank. Some RTX happening. Oh. Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? You're either somebody or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose to be Mr. Chill. But folk who try to take advantage, well, they see the beast inside. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Hang on, got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Bug sitting here? Could have just done this on comms. I haven't seen scanners, no. Call me old fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Biz. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Hmm. Guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, the rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client. What's her thing? Why does she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. And the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, we'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. Yeah, Hatter, th this game... Sometimes I can only marvel at, at how this game looks. It may not have been the most... It may not have been the most accurate lighting, but, like... The way that, like, the streetlights will, will roll over his character model... 
looks so good. It looks so good. It's so moody. And, and like, it's not just that it looks good. It's that it looks perfect for what the exact moment needs it to look like. Of having this, like, moody, clandestine conversation in the back of a car. With, like, smoke clogging the air and talking about, like, dangerous stuff. With this, like, tense track playing in the background. Yeah, it's got style. It's there for a reason. Oh, Pawn Smith does play a radio DJ in the game? Oh, that's awesome. Man, that's awesome. Keep hearing, like, cyber cars revving in my headset. I thought it was happening outside for a second. You want to talk radio channel? Oh, yeah, like a Laszlo or something? That'd be so good. Wish my GPU could keep up. Yeah. I guess, I guess what I... I, I get the pains now, but part of me is like, I'm glad that there's a game that lands well before where it hits. So like, it's going to be the thing, it's going to be the first thing you install in any new PC build or any new console for the next like five years. You know, it's going to be the first thing you, you it, it is the fifth element of AB testing. It, it is, it is that game. So it's exciting. Uh, I think, but then again, I, I have the liberty of thinking that. Yeah, but can it run Cyberpunk? Yeah, can it do Cyberpunk in in like native 4K, 144 frames a second? And like it, we're for, we're years away from that being a thing, and that's that's pretty cool. Game does still run okay on lower end spec GPU. Looks so good on high settings that it's a shame. <laughs> that's PC baby. Uh, the more tech advanced P PC games have always scaled and it kind of hurts. <laughs> it kind of hurts to see how much they can scale sometimes. Oh, you got a stomach 30 FPS. Woo, Evan. Yeah. Ugh. That's PC, baby. That's PC. Yeah. It's it's just been so long since that has been the case. And and here's CD Projekt holding it down. I'm trying to, like, Crisis. Yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, before that or, or in between. I'm trying to think about, like, all the... All the PC ass PC games. The, the last like PC ass game I can think of was Dragon Age Origins, which didn't make sense. It wasn't tech advanced, but or maybe Disco Elysium, Metro, yeah, Planet Side, oh shit, Tribes Two, Battlefield, yeah, yes. You guys, are, you guys are hitting some very good ones. Witcher Three, Witcher Three actually adapted pretty well to console. It was a good, it was a good half and half, I think. And now, bizarrely, you, you know what's phenomenal? What makes zero sense? Once a, once a developer finds success on a console platform, they never go back. Never. Never ever. CD Projekt might be the only developer in the history of mankind that made a game that was really well adapted to consoles and like sold really well on consoles and still focused on PC as their lead platform. Man, I can't think of... Oh, maybe Valve? Well, Valve never had a hit outside of that. Valve was always PC-centric. Their hits were more in the sense that, like, they had monetization platforms and, like, Dota and TF2. So it wasn't becoming for them to keep making single-player experiences. So, yeah, in that regard, it's weird that Valve then made Alex, but they were trying to build out uh, Steam VR. Um, maybe Doom? Doom never really super hit on console, though. Uh, I guess Doom 3 sold really well back in the day. Bethesda? I mean, they have yet to go back to PC. That's a that's a good example though. Bethesda's games have become increasingly console slanted, and they've never for a second <laughs> even tipped back for back towards the PC era of things. Yeah, Skyrim hit on console, and then Fallout Four was even more down that track of uh of that sort of experience. Yeah, crazy stuff. So there's there's a lot about the context of Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven that has me very happy with what the game is and how it came out and what it represents and what it will continue to represent i think or i guess uh it represents a lot of good things to me and for what i want in gaming but uh i can see why that's not the case for people who are trying to play it on some ps4s is it fun though it's fun for me but i'm having fun just looking around so i'm i'm a pretty pretty easy easy guy to please when it comes to stuff like this uh, all right, I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to get some water. I'll be right back. See you guys in just a second. 
movement. Looking set Those hackers, man. They're gonna hack you. They're gonna hack you. Uh, Whiskey Alien, thank you for the sub. Static Burst, thank you very much. No, no liking things aloud, it's 2020. Oh, but I like so many things right now. There's, I like so many things. I'm sorry, I like too many things. Crap Film, thank you for gifting a sub. P Funk and Grayson, thank you guys for the subs. Thank y'all all very, very much. Ah. What happened to talk to the internet? Uh... Uh, basically like people were getting busy with other things. So we decided to give it a bit of a break, but it's about time to, to revisit that. So, uh, I'm going to ping, I'm going to ping the boys, ping the boys, see if we can get back into it. Uh, Uber Nuber, are you heading to sleep? You're giving me the old good night. Well, I hope you have a good one. Jay Rickle, thank you for the resub. Hope you're having so much fun playing this. I like the new badges and stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bit of a refresh there. I feel like uh, this is becoming enough of a thing that I need to kind of focus on putting some creative punch behind it. Yeah, Cubby Wolf, thank you for the thank you for the prime. It's been good to see you in chat, by the way. <laughs> Can't go back to 1080p after 1440. Yeah, for me that's frame rate. After uh, after seeing above 60, I can't go below anymore. I can't play at 30. Um, there's probably some cinematic masterpieces I would endure it for. I think like JRPGs or like something like that is fine, but man. For a first-person shooter or an action game, or it has to be 60 at least. Luckily, with all the next-gen consoles, it seems like that's becoming the new baseline. At least there's an option to make 60 FPS the baseline. <clears throat> Played Miles Morales and like turned on ray tracing and it put it in 30 FPS mode. And it was just like, oh, good. Why? But don't get excited. No audio, sorry. Single use toy. Thank you, Bosnian. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gentleman by the name of Brick. Ooh, Deonyx, thank you for the reset. Because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, aka Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shipstream, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy. Oh, resolution? If you're playing on PC, uh, you can find that here. So video, resolution. That gives you your numbers. Um, okay. K has anyone, has anyone noticed this on PC? That like your VSync options are, oh wait, holy shit. When, when VSync is full screen, uh, like when, when, uh, when I go full screen, like the, the best V sync I can get is like 40 or 59 Hertz. Ooh, wait, no, I think it's, oh, it's working now. Oh shit. Okay. Great. What's he like? Um, hopefully you guys don't get a lot of screen tearing now. Chrome loving kind. Doesn't look like it. I'll give you that. I found uh, the best combo for both really good frame capture and also really good display is full screen with VSync on. Um, so hopefully you guys aren't seeing any frame tearing or then the rest goes goulash. I need that now. Corpo agent, what's she playing at? Hell if I know. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life to Body games have maximum FPS limitations. She's got zip tied in her trunk. A variety of reasons, Loopbox. Uh, one could be um, runaway processing. So uh, it's not efficient for a computer to generate frames that you'll never see. Let's say that your computer is fast enough to render a game at 400 frames a second. If your, um, if your display can only show 120 of them, why did your computer go to all the trouble of making all the other ones? 
that's truly what it is sometimes um so it, it really is just allowing your computer to chill out when it doesn't need to draw a frame of the video um and that that keeps your computer cooler it uses less power it uh, keeps your fans quieter there's a lot of benefits and it just do really doesn't do anything to uh, to generate frames of a video game that'll never be seen um for me it's very useful to have a predictable set of frames generated at predictable intervals hey because i capture video get eaten by a monster uh, so okay um in a normal video game situation without VSync, your your game engine is just like machine gun shooting video frames at your monitor, and your monitor is just like catching one whenever it's ready, and then it puts it up, and it's like, okay, here's another, and then it grabs one, and then it puts it up. Um, that sucks when uh, my monitor is doing that, but my capture card is doing that too, and they're both doing it at like different intervals, and it just gets chaotic, and that can cause all sorts of problems. Um, there's also an issue where like, the frames land at different intervals than when the capture card's ready to grab a frame, so it gets weird. And and what I've noticed is that if my uh, if my refresh rate is VSync and my monitor refresh rate is a multiple of my capture card, then the frames are temporarily spaced out the right amount and they land at the right time. So that's uh, that's where I'm at. Yeah, I know you can you can do it through control panel. Let's see your customize. Oh no, I don't I don't I have a 1440p monitor. Um so I'm playing with that and then splitting it to my capture card, which is getting down sampled through OBS and it it's it's a whole thing. Oh yes. Also I'm glad you mentioned that. I have a 30% off code on G Fuel right now. So if you want to live the cyberpunk lifestyle, get a vitamin blend caffeine powder energy enhancer in the mail that'll make you game harder. That's the most cyberpunk of all, really. Get fueled at a discount from your favorite streamer. Monochrome in the back's probably her chief suspect. Got nothing from him or on him, so she's keeping him just in case. Damn it, I gotta change that command. <laughs> she needs to find the stolen gear before it's actually 30%. I just didn't change it. It says 10, but it's well, actually 30. That is some impressive deduction. And if you have any uh if you have any questions about the product, ask me. Because I'm sponsored by them. Hashtag sponsored. Because they didn't make that obvious. They're paying me to say these things. But if you've ever wanted to ask a paid sponsor of G Fuel something, now's your chance. Now, in fact, is your time to make your dreams come true. Um, Miss V? Well, it make my game harder, as in difficulty or blue pill type of way. It... If you drink unhealthy amounts of G Fuel, which I do not recommend, it is possible that merely through gaming you can shred the very fabric of reality and expose the f oh. absolute gossamer threads that bind us to this reality. Uh, there are not many mortal people who can endure such a... Mental revelation. But with G Fuel, perhaps you could. Perhaps you could. Might need attention. <laughs> oh, Net, thank you for the cheer. Well, you don't have to buy G Fuel now. Everyone else does, though. Uh, while my nut tastes funny, will my nut taste funny? That's a good question. I can't say that I have. Uh, I have tested that myself. But now you've you've um, planted the seed of curiosity in my scientific mind. What flavor are Sonic's rings? They are peach for some reason, and it's delicious. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. Well, G Fuel changed the color of my pee. One more thing, Miss V. I can't say that it's ever changed mine, which is a bit of a disappointment. Or blaze of glory. Hmm. Later now. I have to admit, too, I gotta take a little bit of beef. I, I did see in a lot of reviews that they just didn't understand what the point of the game was. It's aggravating because they actually just asked you that. They just told you. They just told you what the theme of the game was. Is it better to fade away or burn out? Which also plays into the themes of punk music and punk culture. So... When they literally tell you what the point of the game is. Anyway. If I put G Fuel in an inhaler, will it slow time? I'm just trying to figure out how you'd get it. Jackster, talk to Dad. How'd you get G Fuel in an inhaler? 
Cortito's a big deal. Literally a nug. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clipped it, then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> she gone. Yeah, you don't sound thrilled. Royce. What do you know about him? He's fucking whack, something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Damn. Will you ever snort chrome? You nearly know, a fat joint or blunt with G Fuel powder? I don't know that it's meant to be, uh, combusted. I'm not sure that that would give you the effect you're looking for. I am gonna say that at a recent event that may or may not have been on official channels, which yeah, may or may not mean that I am or am not allowed to say that mixing gin with G Fuel is actually pretty fucking sick. Pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, I have... S gin has a, a couple of very powerful uses and it can be difficult to, uh, to find a home for it outside of that. But, uh, hypothetically, theoretically, happenstantially... Which G Fuel? Um, the, the more tropical, like, fruit, fruitier flavors. Uh, watermelon Mint worked really well. Tropical Rain worked really well. Uh, yeah. Vodka plus G Fuel is crab approved. That shit works, man. That shit will get... That shit is some power. That is, that is some heavy fuel. I'll say that. I'll say that. Uh, so... If you've, if you know, if you've made a night of, uh, of energy drinks and booze, you know the effects. Um, but I think it gives you so much more control over the intensity, the flavor, and the level of the caffeine. Like, you can, you can almost get to a chemist about it. About, uh, the level of booze and the level of caffeine you could self-administer. So that, that's kind of a pretty cool thing about it. Biggest pet peeve is the mini-map while driving. It's too zoomed in. Oh, so you can't, like, plan turns and stuff? I haven't even got there. I like a good gin and tonic. If you don't like uh, a lot of gin stuff, have you tried a Ramos Gin Fizz? Can't say I have. Uh, haven't explored much, Gadfly. Uh, my then there's the other thing. my hesitance in gin is is mostly because of ignorance. I'll say. You? Yeah, the mini map is small. Yeah, it seems, seems to be a common complaint, huh? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. I must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Oh, you get drunk easy, Cleric? What's first? More of a beer kind of guy. It's a it it is a positive character trait to to get to get rocked off of uh off to, off of very little. Hey. Eh. Hmm. Parker. I think I ought to see her first. Maybe I can work the uh, corpo like, angles. God, this lighting looks so crazy. It looks so good. Cruising the streets on an arch bike is amazing. I recommend it for exploring. Or arc bike. Well, that's uh, that's Keanu's bike company, right? That's the like integration bike. Oh my God. Oh, reflective streets. Get behind me, man. Oh, ground so shiny. Everything's cyberpunk and rain slick. God, I love it. Hey, Big Serino. Oh, PK Onet. Thank you very much for the cheer. Caffeine and booze makes you feel amazing. I've noticed when it makes the two, I lose double the inhibitions. Yeah. It, it, it really does take all the negative edge off of alcohol, which is a good and a very bad thing. Like, sometimes when you do something stupid, you deserve to get punched for it. And taking the punch away is a scary, a scary concept. Huh. It's weird that he's reminding me of that. 
And also, like, having seen the demo, I, I know what that means. So I feel like they're kind of telegraphing to you right up front that Dexter is kind of fucking you over because he's lying to you. Like, you know that as soon as you go into the, uh, as soon as you go into the base. But it's, like, plausibly deniable? I don't know. It's weird. What's your favorite flavor? Um, I actually really like watermelon. Watermelon and watermelon mint. I'm a basic kind of guy. I like, I like what fake watermelon things. I don't know what it is. I just like watermelon in general. Uh, so that's what I'm all about. I do like the peach rings, though. Mostly because I love Sonic. Oh, yeah. Let me see if I can... Get some cyber chips. It's weird. I remember seeing this in like the demo and stuff, but it never looked this good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh this like night glow where it's It's like night sky, but it's not black. Like it's it's just that sick you can kind of see stars through it. Oh my gosh. That's actually more stars than you typically see in the city, but that like yeah, that like light haze. Make that a wallpaper? It could be, right? And like all these cables just stretched across. Oh, come on. Oh, light pollution? Yeah. It's just crazy that that's like... That's kind of how it looks. Especially if it's like a cold night, or it, it drops below the dew point, and the the entire air is just kind of hazy, and it picks up the glow from all the all the ground light. Is this your first playthrough? Technically, yes. Yeah, um, I'm in a weird I'm in a weird spot with this game. Um, my my girlfriend partner. Here for a pickup. I don't know. Girlfriend is is not enough. A partner, I guess. Girlfriend's not enough to describe our relationship, but. Uh, she works for CD Projekt, so I've kind of been immersed in it. Um, I've never played it, though. I've, I've been very protective of that experience. Will the YouTube VOD be a higher quality since you weren't restricted by Twitch? Yes! No, I, uh, I specifically set up my encoder so that I could record as close to native quality as I could. So, yeah, I have a, I have a recorder going at a different bitrate and a different resolution than what I'm streaming. So the YouTube upload will be, uh, it's, it's compressed, you know, it's, it's not a, it's not a series of bitmaps, but it's as close as it can get to, uh, to what the game actually looks like. I did that on purpose because I, I'm, I'm such a huge fan of the tech side of video games. I feel like it's the intersection of, of creative craft and then also nerds figuring out how to make math go fast. And that's so awesome. That's so cool that... There can be an entire pastime that that's the intersection of both those skills. Uh, it's, it's like the intersection of every skill set. Video games are just fucking great uh, in v nearly every possible way. But uh, the way that I try to pay respect to that is by making sure that... Oh, God, this looks so good. Oh, it looks so good. Oh. Is by making sure that I represent games as well as I can, man. Ugh. On Twitch, that means like under the that unfortunate bitrate re restrictions, trying to make as high quality of image as possible, but also, yeah, figuring out a way to record the game as under its best po possible circumstances. Eh. Tripping, over, tripping over my words here. Who is this tiny man? You got you a tiny man back here. What you feeding him? You make him so small like this. Everything sucks. <laughs> this kid has been like smoking cigarettes for 15 years. Oh. Stop looking at me like that. Stop it. I miss my sister. Yeah, like... She moved away after her second marriage? What? <laughs> hmm. 
Give the man a sig. Yeah, he's had a rough day. His second wife's hitting him up for child support. It's important. Important that you're good. Ooh. Is that a taco pa a taco pack? A taco sack? That was a gunshot. What? Well, that was a reload. All right. There was a Okay, I'm going to go I'm going to go to this vendor up here. Cyberchip vendor. Sometimes you eat the bar. Sometimes Bar at you. Yeah, violence in Night City. Nah, we just go the other way. Need to find a... Uh, stairs up. Ah, oh, this looks so good. This looks so good! Level up carefully, but you can respec at 100,000 eddies? Jeez. Yeah, there's a... Uh, I, I have a... Uh, I'm a little tossed up on how to approach that. The, uh, the deus ex strat is that you always just carried your Praxis points. You never spent them until you ran into the exact door you needed to hack. And then you were like, okay, I need two points in this, so I'm going to do it now. So you, you basically carried stat points as a, like, get through a door free card uh, for the right door. And you just kind of sat on it. Um, I feel like this is probably going to be the same thing. Like, why would I ever upgrade anything until I get to the exact computer that I need 12 hack points to get into? Um, and if I'm, if I'm trying to play stealth, that goes doubly true. Like, why would I ever upgrade anything if my, my point is to evade all kinds of combat? We'll see if they let me do it. That, that will... I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious about how the game will... Uh, how much it'll, it'll let me min-max. Wild Hunt didn't seem that concerned about it, which is probably the right call when I think about it. Um, making systems that math nerds can't solve and, and trivialize is a very difficult thing to do and to some degree not necessarily worth the effort. Oh, man. Oh, this looks so cool. Hey, what's up, man? How's this work? Any punk off the street can waltz in here, grab some shady running saw? No. Not just any punk. Over the counter, we fix cyber decks. But if you come recommended and you know what you are looking for, I'm sure you will find it. The stats in each tree like cool only upgrade to the level the main skill is. If you leave cool at five, the skill trees in cool stop at five. Okay. Uh, okay. I guess I guess I don't know what that means yet, but I, I should poke around in the skill trees. Seabug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. Your V, right? She had me hold the demon for you. It should work on any third gen deck. Audio balancing is a little weird there. Got a Melitech Caroline. Think it'll do. Mm. Solid gear. For a beginner. Okay. Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some shim soft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. You're going all in on stealth pistol. Uh, stealth pistol. So far, it seems pretty overpowered. If I were to guess, this feels like the kind of game where most things, like, if you like, if you're putting, if you're upgrading things and, and putting mods on things and using quick hacks and like using heals at the right time, like if you're doing the things and you're hitting the buttons, you'll feel overpowered. And it might be that kind of game. I'm kind of excited for uh, rebalance mods that kind of make it a more ex extreme RPG experience. That's one of the things I um I feel like I feel like the point of comparison here is purely just cyberpunk, but the Shadowrun campaigns that came out, like when you played those on hard or or, or difficult, this is maybe difference of them being turn based. 
but it was the sort of thing where it, sometimes you had to plan out turn for turn specifically what to do to stay alive. And that's a cert, that's kind of an interesting interesting gameplay experience. Really reinforcing just how cutthroat this world is and how much you have to really be on your toes to to forge your path here. It kind of makes it feel a little more brutal and makes staying alive in it a little more gratifying. I have a group of friends who are all going for very different paths to compare notes. So far, we have found unique play styles. Is it the sort of thing where, like... (sighs) Yeah, I wonder. I really wonder, Gadfly. I'm really excited for, for the math to come out. You know, when it's when it's not just supposition and like gut shots. And and we'll be there in a couple of days. But it's so exciting to be in this window where like people don't really know. People don't really know. Does choice matter? Does it not? Ah. Uh, I mean we'll find. We'll find out. But like I uh I'm gonna play like silent takedown this way and then I'm I wanna do another uh I wanna do another playthrough on like normal or something where it's just run and gun. And that's like more male V, like Nomad male V, just kind of bash through every problem. To see how different it feels. Oh, you sent me a screenshot from the Series X? Okay, Disguise. I mean, I've been seeing a lot of the, uh... Got anything novel? I've been seeing a lot of the screenshot comparisons and stuff. And a lot of yes. memes flying around. For certain. Uh, how many Eddies do I have? Ugh, not many. Not many Eddies. No, 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 no. Although I should. I mean, I have a better pistol. But I don't have a lot else to sell. Oh, yeah, I wanted to stash some stuff. I say appreciate that when you're presented with this information from people rather than saying, oh, that sounds dumb or OP. Say it's interesting and seem genuinely excited to try these things for yourself. It is refreshing. Uh, you know, I'm not going to... Yeah, I, I'm i approaching this game like that. I've had my moments of, of, uh, of harsh gamer style, but... Ah, oh, man, I'm pretty mellow. I'm pretty mellow. Did you sell your guns? I did. Uh, that's because I have better ones. Uh... But I was waiting for the tutorials to be out of the way. So yeah, I got my super gun. And then this shotgun that somehow got unequipped. So this one I guess I can upgrade. But yeah, that's kind of my approach, man. I just like playing things, like being, like investigating. It's, uh, it sounds so dumb. It sounds so simple. It sounds so like, golly gosh, gee. But (laughs) sometimes it, it really is. So much easier to focus on the things that are good than the things that are bad. <laughs> it's, sometimes it really is that simple. Uh, as as silly as it is. Oh, I think I... Wait a minute. Uh, level 6. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. So, okay. So, by uh, upgrading the base stat, it opens up more perks. Is that what these are called? And they're different. Okay, yeah. Attributes and perks. Yeah. And. Skill progression points. But each attribute has a skill associated with it. That skill levels up through use. And then that unlocks progression rewards. Okay. Okay. Well, that means I should just breach everything, right? So I can grind up perk points? Uh. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So there's three... Wait. There's two kinds of experience. And three kinds of progression? Oh. Uh. Actually, 
functions like running or hacking also contribute to progression? They contribute to this. Is that different than whatever generates perk and attribute points? Which would be this level in street cred? Level up stealth by being stealthy. Well, sort of. You you level up this by being stealthy, but what does that get you? It gets you a perk point. It gets you visibility to enemies. Like, it does get you fundamental stealth abilities, but they're pretty, like, they're defined. It, it doesn't make you better at being stealthy. It gives me 3% evasion, um, which is still neat. And, and I really like the idea of there being an aspect of your play style defines your skill set. Um, but you still need that point of, like, active uh, customization. Which is what this is. That's kind of neat. Movement and sneaking by 20%. Okay. Ah, I like the panther. Hmm. Okay. So leveling up the attribute, oh, it does do, okay. So leveling up the attribute changes your stats and opens up new perks. Okay, cool, okay. Stealth damage by 10%. Speed at which enemies detect you in stealth by 0.5. Huh, on oh, modifier damage, ooh. Loving their skill set gives you access to more perks. It does, but it also increases your base stats. Uh, it looks like. So this gives you more like cyber deck, which is, a guess, I guess, magic. Like it lets you it lets you hold more spells, basically. Uh, oh, armor? Okay, so this is just flat defense. Interesting. Okay, so this is crafting. Get more components of something. Oh, junk is already automatically dismantled. That's that's the bad one. Craft rare items. I can't even craft yet. But I'm buying it. Huh. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's like a whole other tree, cold blood. Stack of cold blood. How do you stack cold blood? Oh, yeah. okay. Whoa, crazy. They have like trees where you gain and spend stacks of a of a of a resource. Huh. I'm doing it. I'm just I'm just spending points. I'm going crazy. I'm going wacky. I'm just doing it. I'm just I'm just out here living. Just out here living my life. Different paths based on attribute skill checks. Yeah, I uh that that's what's so I was talking about how um there's this there's this tendency in these games to make the the efficient choice. Wait, I'm supposed to I'm supposed to do something, right? I thought there was a quest here. Uh, where like you just want to kind of hang on to stat points until the exact moment you need to spend them. Well, the way you get around that is by having uh, impromptu decision paths come up. So you're in a you beat a boss, it goes into a story event, and then there's different paths available to you based on what your character stats are. So if you have the technical ability to hack a bomb and disarm it, then you can do that. Or if you have the strength to like pry open a safe and throw the bomb in there or something, um, that's the way that you like kind of make sure the player doesn't just uh hoard those points is like you have to spend them so just spend them on the character you want to be and then these story beats will come and you'll be ready for them all you'll you'll have the story beat that's tailored to your character uh that's difficult to communicate but that's kind of how you prevent the player from hoarding those points let's see here okay Flip ping to the camera to find the access point. Ah. 
I'm checking in. I'm in. Can I see your character? Sure. Okay. What are quick hack components? There's my character. <laughs> Damn it, they took my jacket off. Hold on. There, I'm much cooler now. Uh, ugh, I look like a Borderlands character. There we go. <laughs> they say I have to wear this helmet or I'll hurt myself. No, to put on... Yeah, hold the other... Hold the katana at least, jeez. Wait. Damn it. Stop. Stop holding that one. Well, I guess I guess it matches my helmet. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Ah, neat. So that's street cred. Okay. It's it's a little it's a little funky, but. I kind of like that all the progression systems tell you very directly what pushing that meter will do. Um, I have no idea if I wanted to target one meter over another, how I would even do that at this point, but don't leave. Wait, why? I finished the quest. Ooh, crafting. <gasps> I can't, I don't have enough stuffs. Did you get the free demon? Yeah, yeah, I just did that. Yep. Damn, that's awesome. More side quests, more street cred? Oh, okay. There's a lot of separation in progress, but it works itself out. Yeah, it's, uh... Yeah, interesting, interesting. I, I guess I wonder. No, it's it seems like they're all pretty pretty separated, which is interesting. Like you would think that if you progress too far in one way, that you would be gated by something else, but it kind of doesn't seem that way. It seems like every meter is its own thing, and it gives you its own distinct and and unique and valuable bonuses. I guess level character level would be the worst one if that just bars you from equipping certain things. Gun O Rama. Uh, hey, how's it going? Scavs give you a lot of trouble around here? Some days, sure. Other days, eh, not so much. But me personally, well, they know better. Looking to buy some new iron. A few dozen pounds. Well, be my fucking guest. <laughs> Doing a cold blood tree, revolvers and pistols combat style feels totally different from my shotgun net hacking character. Huh. Yeah, I... It'll be, it'll be interesting to see the, like, the thought space go around the block on this game. Because I feel like there's... If, if they create a framework that gives you multiple different ways to play, and they all work... Then, then it's tempting to say, well, what does it matter? And and to some degree, you can you go if you go down that spiral, you're like, well, you know, why do you, why are you doing anything? Uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. <laughs> like tasteless again, the definition of tasteless. I love it. I absolutely love it. Ooh, we got cyberpunk vision. craft ammo yeah people seem to say that once you get into ammo crafting it's just not an issue anymore <sighs> B 
bear, bad and bold. Cyber boobs, y'all. I don't think that's what that's supposed to be. You can craft ammo right now. Yeah, it seemed like it. I found the crafting button and now I've forgotten what it is. Am I I'm five percent popular? Yeah. I don't have enough uh, common item components. Oh, okay. This is how you do this. All right. Ooh. Okay, I need uncommon, common. I'll have to do that. Oh. Oh, okay. Huh. You can, like, add rarity to uh, existing items. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, all right. So if, like... If you find uh, if you find fashion you really like, the idea is that you can upgrade it and kind of piece together a an outfit so you don't look like an asshole. What background did you pick? I uh, I did corpo. Not for sale. Delta, you're scaring the customers. Corpo for my first playthrough because of the kind of character I'm playing. I think I'm gonna do Nomad next and then probably Street Kid just to kind of really push the boundaries of the. The decision engine. Wait, open. Huh. So we got a party here. Items are color coded. White sucks. Yeah, that's that's the old Diablo coloring scheme. I just think it's kind of interesting that you can apparently pour resources into any item and upgrade its rarity, uh, unless it's like item tier. There are unique named items which you can upgrade. Yeah, like the pistol. Really big diminishing returns on upgrading. You want schematics uh, to make the item at your base level. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, schematics are like, uh, you get those through quest rewards and stuff, I'm gonna guess. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Cybercar. Buy them, find them rewards, basically everything. Oh, okay. Is there some, like, crazy stuff that's... Is there, like, in-game gear that takes a ton of grinding to make, but it's, like, on fire or pulses me on or sings to you or something? Wait, what's that? What's that bat? What's going on there? Couldn't tell if it was like a, it was like a world event that already despawned or something. Huh? Are you guys doing crimes? Ooh, Maelstrom gang. What's up, Silverhand? Hope you're having a good night. Oh shit. This is probably a bad idea. Oh. There's two of them. I don't know what to do about that.
Saving the NPCs and assaults never gets you anything. It's frustrating. Yeah. Can't believe we actually got to play it. I have 22 hours in the game. Yeah, Silverhand. You liking it despite the bugs? I mean, I'm on PC, so it hasn't been that bad for me. If I'm being honest, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna peace out of there. That is not my problem. Is that the gang, uh, gang gunfight from area from earlier? Was it? Man. I haven't been paying enough attention if that's the case. Ah, oh, okay. You could probably mess them up pretty easily. Yeah, probably. But if it's not like a, whatever, if it's not like a, an event, if I'm not going to get some special reward, why would I do it? Oh, my car's still there. I guess I left it there. That makes sense. They'll get their gear. Ooh, that's a good point. Oh, there's another bat. All right. Oh. Uh. All right. I'm going to take care of this bat. Okay. <laughs> They're so... <laughs> Everyone's so sad. Oh, jeez. Okay. That music is outstanding. <laughs> Even in Cyberpunk, the fucking hustle boys are saying, let's fucking go. Combat becomes a lot more fun as you get new guns, level up, etc. I mean, this music is, is doing enough for me right now. Man. Oh, there's another one. I didn't... Ooh. Oh. Oops. Goodness. Sorry, what? I'm sorry. It sounds like 
Sounds like you had some input. <laughs> Sounds like you had something to say. I gotta, th I gotta slap, slap on my Daisy Dukes though. That's for sure. Oh my God! Fifteen armor. <laughs> They're so short. They're so short. Good God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I look like the most cyberpunk person ever now. Wearing just tiny, tiny shorts. A fucking hot pink faceplate. I look very cool. I look so... I look so goddamn cyber right now. <laughs> this is so silly. Oh my gosh. Oh, how could anyone not, not be in love with this game? I get why. I get why. Alright, I get why. Uh, it runs like shit. Oh. Oh no. I paid $300 for a console seven years ago and it runs bad. Ah, I shouldn't be dismissive. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. But damn, look at these shorts. Damn, also riding so high. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no, come on. You can't let me ride this. You can't let me put on booty shorts, cyber booty shorts, and then ride a dumbass looking motorcycle? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, hold on a minute. I like that light glimmer a lot. Let me see if I can work with that. Hmm. Uh, maybe not. Skyline's not quite there. Okay, that'll that'll work. Hmm. I feel like I feel like I want yeah. No, that's not quite. I want to change the like, yeah, field of view. There it is. That's exactly what I want. There we go. Perfect. Been getting good performance so far. I can't get a stable 60 with an RTX even on my 3080. Um, I wouldn't say that I'm. Yeah, I would. I would say it's um, it's in the like 45 to like 60 area. Um, it's uh, you know, it's uh, it's not, it's not perfect, but I'm kind of okay with that. Or rather, it ha it hasn't been like a hundred forty four frames the whole the whole ride, but I kind of don't want it to be. If that makes any sense? Damn, I want a way to like really accentuate the the lift off from the ground. Uh, maybe this is what I'm looking for. I want to get it close to the ground, but also get that sign. Man, that's a good sign. Yeah, this will work. This this has all the elements I'm looking for. And I want to really, really accentuate those, uh, really accentuate those cheeks. What if you focus on the background? Uh, maybe? We can give it a crack. Probably not what eh, not exactly the effect I think. Uh. 
Uh, also, at this point, like the, my webcam is covering a pretty significant part of it. Put center of wheel and put center of wheel and corner. Something like that. Yeah, that's helping. I wanna, I wanna, I feel like I wanna drop it down. This is getting anime. This is, the, we're we're approaching anime levels of male gaze with this uh, with this uh, camera angle. Need a better fan service angle. Yeah, basically, we're getting there. We're getting there. Got it. Good luck finding a 3080. I got I got very very lucky, or rather, no, it was lucky. I uh, my spot in a, a 3080Q managed to pop basically right before Cyberpunk came out. So I am in fact living the dream. But a scope on a gun. Ooh. You get a little gun porn sequence every time you equip a new gun? I am so into that. I am such a sucker for that. Like just showing off little cl clickety clacks of a new gun. Ugh. Oh yeah, I know I'm supposed to call Meredith. Or I could do a side quest. I'll call Meredith. Have her beat me up and step on me. I'm gonna give him the CDPR made. Uh, I guess in the grand scheme of things, Cyberpunk would be their sixth game. Witcher 1, 2, and 3. Gwent and Thronebreaker in total. Yeah, Witcher 1 through 3 and 2 Gwent games. Yeah. Although Throne Thronebreaker is not just Gwent, right? I think. Control yourself. All right. Uh-huh. Don't forget the mobile game they did after The Witcher 2. What was that? I don't remember that one. Thronebreaker has dialogue and other story stuff, but all the gameplay is Gwent. Ah. I thought it, I thought it had, like, puzzles or something. I really don't know anything about Thronebreaker. Battle Arena? Really? Huh. I had no idea. Oh yeah. Why is she so intimidating? Stout here. Start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up. Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Transport fuck ups toxic for you. I know. So listen carefully. You and me are gonna meet. 
See if we can't find a way to help each other out. Mutual self-interest. Agreed. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm channel under the overpass. Meet you there. Ooh. How's the gun combat in comparison to the hand-to-hand, -hand, given that this is the first shooter-style game CDPR has made? Um, the only gun combat I've done, really, has been the tutorial, but that felt really good. I, I feel like there are a lot of things you can you can just know that a, a developer got right or wrong by, you know, clicking the mouse, pulling the trigger once or twice. The feedback, the audio, the animations, the the, the camera pitch. There's a lot of, like, visual cues that developers can get right or wrong when it comes to just shooting from first person. And it feels pretty smart and snappy and responsive. Uh, the shooting feels good. It, it, it feels like, uh, I remember when I played Overwatch the first time, I was like, how, how did Blizzard get shooting this right the very first time? It feels kind of like that. It feels kind of like shooting guns in Overwatch from like, wow, they actually really nailed it. They super nailed it. But it is like, it's not that that's such a groundbreaking thing. Like they had to, if they didn't nail it, the game would be a bust. Like just, just from the base, base level. <laughs> I, the, I don't know, the more games I play and the older I get, sometimes I, and I, I know developers do this too, but think about games in terms of verbs and the actions you're allowed to perform as a player. And you kind of have to, uh, nail those verbs. Holy crap, the lighting in here is absurd. I guess I'm right here. Okay. But yeah, if the game had shooting as one of its primary, you know, verbs or actions or, or performances from the player, and that verb didn't feel good, if, if they didn't have all the minutiae of that worked out and uh, the responsiveness of it feeling good, then the game would be a, a bust. Meredith Stout. They get you were the one to call? I don't get any, like, super scans on her. Comments to Marikul, charge down. Jesus Christ. I didn't even- I didn't even pick something. They just punched my ass. You could blackmail me, bitch? Set conditions? Got any more for me? Christ, Meredith! Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? I'll tell you who's alone. You. Fail to recover that transport, and you're done. With not a soul willing to help. Not another word. Do a sweep, now. Now listen, folks. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist, is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? Got no ties to Militech. None. Checks out. So how the fuck do you know so much? Come on, all corps use the same playbook. I know the game inside out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I. Uh. Her, you Wakiza, thank you for the sub. What she has to say. Couldn't have been chill from the start. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Tell me what you want. I need a bot, flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment, so I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. 
but on one condition. You pay with our money. Oh. Not the kind of subtlety they teach at Militech. There's no loading screens in this game, even on even on older consoles. That is true. Something goes wrong. I'm the one they'll fill full of holes, not you. Time you were straight with me. What's on there? A tracing algorithm latches on to financial streams. Nothing you need to worry your head about. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. There's plenty of loading on PS4 Pro. Okay, I I figured. Yeah. Oh, loading's are the elevator. Ah, okay. It just doesn't let you out until it's... Ah, okay. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. You're making a mistake. The cubs are any good at dead. The chip will take you down with her. Jeez. Let's take a look at that chip. Uh, let's see. Epic quick hack components. Wait, how are we? said so you were supposed to like decrypt it or something but there's not really an option to do that over over journal and one down to shards ah okay ah there it is <laughs> A copy of the daemon? Hey? It seems like something I might want to do. Time to hack. No, I... It's it's crazy because, uh... Copy could be good. Yeah, it could. Let's copy it. BBD, FF, 5-5. I guess I can do both. Oh no, I can't. Never mind. Uh oh. Gotta do it next time? Yeah, I didn't really plan it out, did I? Oof, yeah. Uh-oh. Huh, interesting. Hold on a minute. I'm going to try for it again. Ninety-nine percent. No, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Probably could have done both, but it's so easy to aim for the lower one. Best option to miss out on those other ones? Yeah. No, I'm going to do it, though. Or wait, I'd like. Okay. Nope. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, oh this has got to be after that. Has the game lived up to your hype? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. It's my first evening with it, and really, I'm I'm still in the scope of content that was showed. Uh oh. Oh, there they go. I'm still in the uh, the scope of content that was sort of shown off at E3 and stuff like that. So, I mean, it still looks fantastic. All right, let me see here. So, let's see. BD, BD, FF. 55 
on CE9, so okay. BD, BD, FF, still have one CE9. What? Eddie's on the cred ship or clean. Okay. Late night stream time. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, well, I guess I copied it and also didn't. What are copying it does? It didn't really seem to do much. Oh, whatever. The un unauthorized pop-up is just the text on the chip. Okay. Freakin', thank you for the prime. Check your deck. Yeah, maybe just the XP reward? Check your deck. Check your deck. Check your deck. Cyber deck. Ooh, synapse burnout. Oh, okay. Hmm. Causes the brain to suffer stroke-like symptoms, paresis, visual and speech disorders, and even loss of balance. Ah. Huh. Yeah, I don't know that I... Yeah. I have two RAM. I can't even cast that. Someday, I'll have those eddies. Actually, yeah, let me go do these. Uh, let me go do this. Ooh, it's getting late. All right. Uh, I'm going to go do this quest, and then I'll probably call it a night. I'll be back at it tomorrow. Pro nah, actually, no. Tomorrow's probably... I'll just probably take it easy tomorrow, but... Um, I'll be back at it soon. I am gonna let the stream go after this. Ooh, nah, uh, maybe not. Never mind. I'm gonna do a uh, media tech soon. But is it hard to earn money in this game? I don't think so. Just do side quests and stuff like that. Shoom. It's midnight. Please take care. Yeah, I will. There's so many cybers to punk. Uh, you're right. He's mostly from doing side stuff around the map. Does it actually reward a decent amount of money? Oh, there's like fast travel. That's right. How to get blue XP more than green XP though? What's the blue XP? Uh, hold on. Oh, the level experience. Overall, first impression of the game mechanics-wise. Uh. That's tough because that's the thing that I probably actually know the least about right now. The beginning of the game is, is pretty tightly controlled and pretty scripted. So you actually don't get a good understanding of how the mechanics work. Um, I feel like all foods, I'll probably get a better understanding of the mechanics. Like the first full dungeon you do. Does it live up to the hype? <laughs> Caps lock. I think depending on what you want out of the game, yes or no. And that's that's such a weasel answer, but um, I think for me it it creates the atmosphere. Like this. This by itself is yes, is an absolute yes. Um the fact that you can walk around in this environment and just hear this atmosphere and see what it looks like. Uh, it's just so good. It's so good. But that may not that may not pay it that may not be a payout for some people, and I, I get that. So it, it's tough. It's tough to answer that. How does it compare to other open world games like GTA 5 or Red Dead 2? What are their limitations? If I see a nice car, I steal it. Can I make it mine? Um, you can take cars. I don't know if you can make them yours. You can buy cars to like unlock as cars, cars you can summon. So it's, it's tough because GTA games like GTA and Red Dead 
offer so many different kinds of experiences to so many different kinds of people that uh, a lot of different people find a lot of different things to like about them. Uh, that's one of the, the strengths of, of those kinds of games. Uh, I think Cyberpunk doesn't quite offer as... Well, it's, it's tough. I, I think it's it seems like it does offer you the ability to get in and like customize your skill sets and, and customize your play style. But it's not quite the same as, as what Grand Theft Auto does, which is sort of providing a lot of mini games and and small little absurd events that replicate life. Here for a fight. Which one of you is my guy? Me. Wasn't expecting a tag team, but whatever, I guess. So, who do I got first? No, no. You don't get it. That body and this one. I'm the same person. So, what? I'm seeing double? I used to be twins, which you could probably guess. The twins had a close bond. They wanted to be closer. Stronger. So they installed neural oscillation sinks. And now they're... Well... Me. me. One, One person, person two, bodies. two bodies. My bodies do everything together. Everything. Really do everything together? Even under the sheets? I have one girlfriend for both bodies. If that's what you're asking. Hell yeah. Shared between both. So, what? One takes waist up and the other's on booty duty? No. She's with one body Monday through Wednesday and the other Wednesday through Sunday. Bitch. Okay. Whatever. Oh, and if another one of you pops up, I don't mind beating a third ass. You got a sharp tongue, no doubt about it. Let's see how that helps you when fists start flying. So, so can, can we, we get, get started? started? Show me what you got. I got these claws. Oh, betting 2000 makes it harder? Damn. I should have saved the money. You had enough like your brother or hungry for more? That ain't my brother. Oh, that's me. Jesus, what's so hard to understand? Here, your winnings. Take my cash. Oh. Don't worry. There's always the next fight. Ooh. Stop talking to yourself. Listen, out of curiosity, you guys can read each other's thoughts? No, no. Same person, same, person, same, same thoughts. thoughts. If that were in the case, I'd be on schizoid meds. Incredible. Well, good to see you transition from circus ring to boxing ring. Give me a break. Hey, sure the Ripper didn't swap anything else out? Felt like I was fighting against four left hands. Fuck you! <laughs> oh, the higher bet makes them double your level? Okay. I just <laughs> didn't have the money on hand, unfortunately. So, well, that's okay. Got a bit ahead. <laughs> but still, like, the fact that they walk over here, so you get this skyline in the background. But yeah, it's just like this dude plucking away on guitar. Don't waste my precious time. Clearly, he's got a lot going on. But uh, you know, 
It's fun how they, uh, I mean, they invent these moments of, like, kind of living. It's the, it, again, it's that sentiment that life is still happening. It's just under this, this layer of grime and it's under the shadow of giant corporations and giant buildings that giant business happens in. And there's a whole group of have-nots that are still... They're still living a life because everything is so cheap and commodified. Like, you can still stay alive on very little. Oh, that's a samurai song? Yeah. I'm not afraid of anything. Oh, was that chipping in? Down, down. Can you feel it? Brown, 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 brown. Yeah, you're right. Can you touch it? I guess that makes sense. That'd be what, uh, in 2077, sure, some dude would be noodling away on, like, an old punk song. Man. Okay, it's getting late. It's 12.05. All right. I'm gonna burn myself out so fucking hard on this. Yeah, I think I am, too. I think I am, too. I'm gonna call it a night there. I'm gonna call it a night there. Uh, I'm gonna pick this up again soon. My god. I was not prepared for how beautiful this game looks on PC, though. Man. Ugh. Ugh. It may not be buttery frame rates, but holy shit. Holy shit, does it look amazing. Anyway. Have a good night, everybody. Uh, I'll be back in the stream game pretty regularly coming up. Uh, I had to... I had to step away from it for a bit. Had some projects coming up. Secret projects. Uh, I took care of them. That was really fun. I'll tell you about it someday. I want to say three years from now. Three years from now, say, Lawrence, what were those secret projects in 2020? And I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Can't do it now, unfortunately. COVID complications. But, uh, yes. Cyberpunk's out. We did it. We lived. Um, I'm going to pretty much play this in nothing but this for the next couple of weeks. I want to really explore the game and get to know it. I'll probably take some, some swerves here and there. Different things. Uh, like bits of the days and all that sort of deal ah <sighs> it's good to man it's good to play video games it's good to stream everything's good yeah and big congrats to Steph on the launch for sure but thank you guys for watching hope you have a uh, a wonderful uh rest of your weekend um look forward to seeing you next time and if not that's fine too hope you find somebody on twitch that makes you happy and takes the edge off the rough days have a good night everybody i'll see you next time